चलेगी ऑनलाइन Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome brothers and sisters we start in the name of Allah bismillah rahman rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin assalatu wassalamu ala rasulil kareem brothers and sisters welcome to the stream today this is going to be a very exciting stream uh, the, as you're aware the brothers last week uh, did a stream it was there was two parts to the stream uh, first was how uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed had insulted Maryam alayhi salam and the second was how he insulted Isa alayhi salam now in the last stream the first part of the case was presented um, and the Ahmadi were given opportunities particularly the clerics to respond and now what we would suggest is you can go back and look at that stream and look at the arguments presented and you can make up your own minds from that today we're entering a second phase so this is second part of the stream and really this is about Mirza Ghulam Ahmed insulting Isa alayhi salam and for the sake of these this is a very vast topic we, we're subdividing this also into two parts so the first part is that and this is what the, the today's topic is about and, and bear this in mind mm -hmm. today's part is the overall character assassination that Ghulam Mirza Ahmed does against Isa alayhi salam this is today's specific topic there is another part of this which we presented in another stream, which is going to be those specific allegations against uh, uh, Isa alayhi salam that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed does. He um, accuses him, for example, of Aldabla being an alcoholic or having uh, you know, illicit relationships with the, with the prostitute. You know, Aldabla, we don't believe in this, but this will be these specific allegations will be covered uh, in the next stream. But today's topic, really, and I want you to bear this in mind because you will be held to the topic, is about how Mirza Ghulam Ahmed character assassinates Isa alayhi salam in his writings. So what I'll do, uh, first of all, assalamu alaikum brother Adnan bhai and brother Imtiaz bhai. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Imran bhai. You guys are well, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mami, how are you? Alhamdulillah. May Allah, you know, uh, all, uh, all, all blessings from Allah, mashallah. May Allah keep everyone safe and secure, mashallah. Ameen. Lots happening around the world. Our du'as and our feeling, uh, thoughts are with the, our brothers and sisters in Palestine. May Allah and, Absolutely. And bless them and, and preserve them, inshallah. And they are a sign of uh, for us to bear in mind of when, when the difficulty comes, how the iman is the thing that carries you through, mashallah. Because the iman is a light in the, in the world, which is darkness at the moment. But this is very. This is why this is very important because we are bringing the light of is of Islam and the true Iman to the people by discussing this very very important topic. So what I'll do, uh, brother Adnan, I'll hand over to you and uh, I'll let you go from here. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, brother Imran. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Ma baad. A'udhu billahi samir ali min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahdim min rijalikum, walakin Rasulullah. وخاتم النبيين وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا نبي بعدي لا نبي بعدي لا نبي بعدي respected brothers and sisters in islam dear ahmadi brothers and sisters in humanity you are all welcome to another stream on this very important topic mirza ghulam ahmad qadiani and isa alay salam in this stream today we will discuss how Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani repeatedly insulted Isa alayhi salam. And we find it ironic that the Qadiani Jamaat or the Ahmadi Jamaat or the leadership, you know, uh, focuses on the life of Isa alayhi salam. They want to discuss the life and death of Isa alayhi salam, not knowing <clears throat> how their false prophet Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani treated Isa alayhi salam who was honored in the Quran. His mother was defended and honored in the Quran in Surah Maryam. Anyone who reads Surah Maryam of the Quran, chapter 19 of the Quran carefully and reads the writings of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, you will have no difficulty in realizing that this man does not believe in the Quran. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani either does not know the Quran or if he knows the Quran then does not believe in the Quran. He cannot uh, believe in the Quran, could not have read the Quran. If he read the Quran then he could not have believed in it after what he wrote in his writings. Having read Surah Maryam chapter 19 of the Quran where Allah defends, Allah defends specifically Maryam alayhi salam against many of these slanders uh, uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani put down in his books and we discussed this 
Some of it we discussed in the last stream last week. A lot of these Qadiani missionaries came attempting to defend, to save Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, especially when he said that, uh, you know, Maryam alayhi salam was hanging around, going around, or she was pirna. You know, the word in Urdu language is pirna, meaning going around. She was going around with Joseph the carpenter with before nikah, before marriage. And, you know, these missionaries could not defend Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani against the Quran. Because the Quran's, you know, verse 13 of Surah Maryam specifically, specifically, verse 20, sorry, verse 20, verse 20 of Surah Maryam specifically states that Maryam alayhi salam, she said, no man has ever touched me and I am not a loose character. I am not a loose character. Mirza went, uh, went against both of these things. He went against both of these points Maryam alayhi salam made in the Quran in verse 20 of Surah 19, Surah Maryam. Today, tonight, we will stick to the topic. And the topic of tonight is Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani and Isa alayhi salam, how he treated Isa alayhi salam, one of the greatest prophets of Allah, the messenger of Allah who was a sign of Allah and will be a sign of Allah upon his return before the Day of Judgment. How did this person, this man called Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani treat Isa alayhi salam in his writings? This is a very important thing. And I can tell you, brothers and sisters, majority of the Ahmadis out there have no idea what Mirza said about Isa alayhi salam in his writings because they don't read his uh, you know, 20 odd volumes, Rohani Khazain. They don't know what's there. And even the missionaries don't know. I can guarantee you, even the missionaries don't know. And if they know, then they are evil. They are evil. If they still defend this man called Mirza Ghulam al Qadiani. So, why are we doing this tonight? Why are we doing this? We are doing this because we love the Ahmadi community as our brothers and sisters in humanity. We have sympathy, we have mercy for you. Okay. We love you as human beings. We don't want you to go to Jahannam. We do not want you to disbelieve. We don't want you to believe in a false prophet and end up in Jahannam. We don't want that for you. This is why we're doing this. Okay. This, this was long overdue. Our scholars, our activists have been doing this work in the Urdu language for a very long time. This is the first time this is happening in the English language on this scale, on this magnitude, whereby Mirza's writings are being put to public from Urdu to English. Because most Africans, most Indians, most Pakistanis who believe in Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani don't read his Urdu writings. They don't, have, they, don't, they don't have access to these writings. And when they do read them in Qadiani or Ahmadi translations, they are spun. These translations are not even correct. So that's why we're discussing them openly, publicly for the first time in the English language and we are scrutinizing his writings. So I will now hand this stream over to our beloved brother, Ustaz Imtiaz. Uh, Ustaz Muhammad Imtiaz will, inshallah, present the case for tonight. Okay. And then after the case has been presented, which will take about 10 to 15 minutes, inshallah, after the case is comprehensively presented, as to what are we talking about tonight? Then, inshallah, we will open the stream for a public discussion. Everyone's welcome to come and discuss with us, inshallah ta'ala. Please pay attention for the next 10 minutes and see the evidence Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, our beloved Ustaz, has to present today for your understanding, for your awareness. Over to you, our Ustaz Muhammad Imtiaz. Over to you, inshallah. You can take over. as alaykum wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Adnan bhai, first of all, uh, Jazakallah khair uh, for this uh, very profound introduction to the stream. And inshallah, it will help people to uh, have the right context in their mind, inshallah, when they are uh, watching the stream and when they are, uh, inshallah, following all of these arguments. So uh, before I begin, uh, first of all, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, we ask Allah to grant us complete ikhlas, sincerity, because 
regardless of what somebody is saying, what somebody is thinking, Alhamdulillah, our conscience is very clear. For us, it is an act of worship. And no, no act of worship is accepted in the sight of Allah without ikhlas. So Alhamdulillah, with Allah's tawfiq, we are doing Allah's worship by presenting all of this information to the people to defend the honorable prophet. One of the five great prophets of Allah is Isa alayhi salam. Ulu lazmi min rusul So inshallah, we are here to defend his honor against the slander and allegations of Mirza Ghulam. Now, inshallah, without any further ado, I want to uh, begin the presentation. And uh, obviously, uh, before I begin, I want to highlight one very important thing. In all of these references, keep in mind one thing. Ahmadiyya community or Ahmadiyya clerics, to be, more, to be more specific, they do not deny these references. They know they are there. They know they are clearly insult, but the cop out, the exit they have created for themselves, and it is given to them through Mirza Ghulam, that no, Mirza Ghulam was saying all of that about a mythical, a fictional character of Yeshua or Yesu of the Bible. He did not talk about Isa -Salam of Islam. So, inshallah, in these references, I have all of this context in my mind and inshallah I'll be pointing out to that that this is only applied to Isa alayhi salam and if anybody says otherwise they are lying to you. So inshallah let's begin our presentation with Allah's permission with Allah's tawfiq. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So this is uh, the book the, the name of the book is uh, Izalai Oham. Okay and I just want to read that uh, this first quotation that why this book was written. It's the Rouhani Khazain, volume 3, and the Roman page number, as you can see on this, is number, uh, I think, 13. So he says that the, the compiler says that Mubahisat, Takriro, or Tahriro me, Aapke Dava se Mutalik, Jo Etrazat, Ya Savalat, Kiege, Inke Javabat, Aapne Izale Oham Medie. Listen this one very carefully. He's saying that. In debates, discussions, and writings, the allegations which were raised from who? Understand the point. From the Muslim scholars, what objections they raised against Mirza Ghulam. In this book, he is responding to who? To the Muslim scholars. Understand this point. He is responding to them, is, is not talking to the missionaries here. Okay, now. As you can see, Ruhani Khazain, the same book, volume 3, page 105, in the beginning, Mirza says, Ay nafsani molviyo, ay khush zahido, tum pe rafsos ke tum asmani darwazon ka khulna chate hi nahi, balke chate ek mesha band rahe. Before he start his response, he said that, oh dry, you know, mullahs, why don't you want, let Allah speak from the heavens? Why, why do you want, let the, the heavens to be closed? So anyhow, the point is, he's talking to who? Clearly, to the Muslim scholars. Now, with regard to the name, that Yeshua name or Isa, Malfuzat, volume 3, new edition, page 367. He says, Kisi mauka pe Isa ko badal ke Yesu bana liya ho. Ye bhi tajjub ki baat hai, ki kisi or nabi ka naam aaj tak nahi ulta. Ulta sirf inhi ka ulta, aur mazhab bhi inhi ka ulta. Look at, look at the language. He says that maybe at one point in the history, people might have changed Yeshua, uh, people might have changed Isa to Yeshua or Yesu. And then he said, it is very strange. It is only him who, Isa alayhi salam, his name is flipped and his religion was flipped as well. Look at the language. This is not the language of a, someone who is claiming to be a Muslim and a prophet. Okay, now any, inshallah, uh, I don't want any uh, delay here. This is a key point. Please pay. This is a key point. Whatever objection Muslim scholars raised against Mirza Ghulam, what he did is he pointed out in his own mind the same problem with Isa alayhi salam. Understand this key point. He is pointing out and he said, look, if you have this objection against me, look, Isa has the same. Right? So this is called in the writing of Mirza Ghulam, Minhajun Nubuwa. People, are you listening? 
Mirza says that you need to check me on Minhajun Nubuwa. And what is that? That whatever fault I have, all the prophets have that. Look at this one quotation to understand this point. Kaash aap logo ne socha hota ke aise itrazat sirf mere pe nahi hai. Ye to, ye sab itrazat to aap ke Islam aur nauzu billah Quran Sharif pe padte hai. Balke ye to tamam anbiya pe hamla hai. He says that when you are raising objections against me, these are the objections against Islam, Quran and all the prophets. People understand this point. This was the strategy of Mirza Ghulam. That if you point out something into him, he will say Quran has the same problem. Okay, all the prophets have the same problem. And this is the strategy he is using here as well. So now, refer, uh, you look at this one. Ruhani Khazain, Volume 3. So first of all, Mirza Ghulam is justifying his abusive language. Right? Look at this one. Ruhani Khazain, Volume 3, page 108. He says that the first objection that is raised against me is that I use harsh language. And now he is going to respond. Look, page 108 is the objection. And now he is going to respond to this objection. Ruhani Khazain, page 109, volume 3. He says that, Kya Hazrat Masih ka Yehudiyon ke mu'azzis faqihon aur Pharisees ko suwar aur kutte ke naam se pukarna aur Galili ke ali martaba farma rawa Herod ko lumri ke naam rakhna aur mu'azzis sardar kahinon aur faqihon ko kanjri ke saath misal dena aur Yehudiyon ke buzurk muktadaon ko joh kaisari government mein ala darje ki عزت اور درباروں میں کرسی رشین تھے ان کے لیے کری اور نہائی دل آزار خلاف تہذیب لفظوں میں یاد کرنا کہ تم حرام زادے ہو مرزا is saying that Isa used to say all of that تم حرام زادے ہو حرام کار ہو شریر ہو بدذات ہو بیمان ہو احمق ہو ریاکار ہو شیطان ہو جہنمی ہو سامپ ہو سامپوں کے بچے ہو look at this one look at the ending he says that اس سے ظاہر ہے کہ موترز کا اعتراض نہ صرف مجھ پہ اور میری کتابوں پہ ہے بلکہ در حقیقت موترز نے خدا تعالیٰ کی ساری کتابوں اور سارے رسولوں پہ نہائیت درجہ کے جلے سڑے دل سے حملہ کیا He is saying here that if, if you say to me that my language is abusive look at the abusive language of who? of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam people please pay attention he is justifying his abusive language by quoting the abusive language of Isa in his own mind, obviously. And he says at the end that if you have this objection against me, all of this was against Isa Islam as well. And note one very important point. And, and that point is, whatever people were saying to Mirza Ghulam, because Mirza Ghulam has abused many uh, in, 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 a, in a vulgar language. And he used all of those phrases for Isa Islam as well. The, he used to say that as well. For example, Haram Zadeh, Bastard, Shaitan. You know why? Because Mirza Ghulam was using all of these titles for who? For the Muslim scholars. And now he's telling to the audience and responding to the Muslim that Isa Islam used to say all of this as well. Kutte. Mirza used to call people Kutte. He said Isa used to call Kutte as well, which means dogs. Okay? I don't need to translate all of that. You get the gist that this is what's happening here, inshallah. And obviously, my brother, elder brother, uh, Adnan Bhai, has, uh, inshallah, more skill to translate. Inshallah, he will translate for you more in his reply, inshallah. Okay. And next one, look at this one. He says that, Rani Khazain, volume 3, page 110. Same book, same book. Hazrat Masih ki zuban, sakh, Hazrat Masih ki sakhat zubani, tamam nabiyo se badi hui hai. Aur injil se sabit hai, کہ اس سخت کلامی کی وجہ سے کئی مرتبہ یہودیوں نے حضرت مسیح کے مارنے کے لیے پتھر اٹھائے اور سردار کاہن کی بے عدبی سے حضرت مسیح کے موہ پہ تماشے مارے لوگی ایڈ اس ون ہی اس سیئنگ دا ایٹ اس اسٹیبلشت پیپل ایٹ اس اسٹیبلشت اکارڈیو مرزا غلام دیٹ ایس علیہ السلام ہیز ا مور ہارش لینگویج دین اینی ایدر پروفیٹ ہی اس کمپیرنگ ایسا این ایدر پروفیٹ Understand the point, okay? And then he says that he used harsh language against the, uh, the leader of the Jews. And then he says that because of that, they slapped at the face of Isa, 
Are you getting it? It is all about Isa alayhi salam, right? Now look at the next reference. Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, look by name, by name, okay? Rohani, uh, Rohani Khazain, volume 20, page 346. Tashmai Masihi, and you can read the book. He is talking to who? Go and read it. Isa alayhi salam ne khud ikhlaqi talim pe amal nahi kiya. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam did not live by the moral principles he was teaching. Is kadar bad zubani mein bad gaye. He was so crossing the limit in abusive language ke Yehudi buzurgon ko waladul haram keh diya. People, are you listening? Mirza Ghulam used to call Muslim scholars waladul haram banne ka shawk hai. And he's saying here that Isa alayhi salam said the bastard child to who? To the Jewish scholar. He is saying, if I am calling to the Muslim scholars that you are bastard. So what is the big deal? Isa al-Islam used to call bastard to who? To the Jewish scholar. And don't forget, according to Mirza, Muslim scholars of his time, they are the Jews. So Mirza is behaving like the Isa and scholars are the Jews. And he's telling people, I am doing exactly the same which Isa used to do, right? He says that, हर एक वाज में यहूदी उलमा को सख सखत गालियां दी और बुरे बुरे इनके नाम रखे इखलाकी मौलम का तो फर्ज है कि पहले आप अपने इखलाके करीमा दिखाएं ही सेड दैट ही यूज टू स्वेयर एट द ज्यूइश स्कॉलर्स ही यूज टू कॉल देम बैड नेम एंड देन ही सेस इट वाज रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ द ईसा टू लिव बाय द प्रिंसिपल्स व्हिच ही वाज टीचिंग टू अदर्स व्हाट इट मींस व्हाट इट मींस द ईसा अस्सलाम माज अल्लाह वाज अ हिपोक्रेट he was teaching something very nice, but he was doing the opposite. Look at the language, look at the allegation, okay? And then Ruhani Khazain, volume 11, page 289. Ha, aapko galiyan dene aur badzubani ki aksar aadat thi. Adna adna baat pe ghussa ha jata tha. Apne nafs ko jazbaat mein, apne nafs ko jazbaat se rok ni sakte te. Magar mere nazdik aap ki harkat jai afsos nahi hai. Because you to give a lot of money and you to a lot of money. He says that all of this abusive language, this harsh tone, this was the characteristic of Isa alayhi salam. He could not control his emotions. And look at that. He says, but there's no problem in that. I, I don't see any problem in that. Why? Because Isa used to swear at them and they used to slap at his face. He said before as well, move to the face. So what I am trying to say is how on earth somebody can say that he was talking to the about the fictitious Jesus. Not at all. Okay. Now there are many more on the same point, but I want to move on to the next allegation. Okay. There are many, by the way. Look at people. Mirza Ghulam was unable to produce any miracle. We know that. How could he do that? He was a false prophet. So now when people were demanding from him that if you are Messiah, if you are a true prophet, show us a miracle. And now he's responding to the Muslim scholars about this thing, about the miracles. Look, same book, Rohani Khazain, volume 3, page 105. He says, Or mushabat ke liye masih ki pehli zindagi ke mojizat talab kiye jate hain. He says that people want to resemble me with the previous Messiah and they demanding from me the same miracles. Is bare mein abhi bian kar chika hon ke ahiyai jismani koi cheez nahi hai. Ahiyai ruhani ke liye aajiz aaya. He said that to, uh, uh, to revive the people physically has no value. The main thing is you spiritually revive the people. And then he says that ma sivai is ke agar masih ke asli kaamon ko Listen carefully. Agar Masih ke asli kaamo ko un hawashi se alak karke dekha jaye jo mahaz iftira ke tor pe ya ghalat fahmi ki wajah se ghade gaye hain to koi ajuba nazar nahi aata. He says that if you separate between two things, what two things? The actual work of Jesus and what people are falsely attributing to him as his miracles. He says if you separate these two, then he says that I don't see any miracle in Isa alayhi salam. I don't see anything. Look at the next one. He says that Balke Masih ke mojazat aur pishin goyon pe jis kadar etraz aur shukuk peda hote hain. Mein nahi samaj sakta ke kisi aur nabi ke khawarik ya pish khabriyon ke baare mein aisa shubat peda hon. 
He says that in my understanding, in whose? In Mirza Ghulam's own understanding. He says that the level of doubt and the level of objection we have against the prophecies and miracles of Isa salam, there is no other prophet against whom we can have same level of doubt and same level of objection regarding the prophecies. In, in a nutshell, he says that we have very serious what? Doubt. And we have very serious objection against who? Against the prophecies and miracles of Isa alayhi salam. Look at the next one. He says that is maqam pe zyada tajub ye hai ki Hazrat Basi mojza numai se saaf inkar karke kehte hain ki har giz koi mojza nahi dikha sakta. Phir bhi awam unnas ne ek ambar mojzaat ka ek tarah mansoob kar rahe hain. He says that Isa salam is clearly saying I can't perform any miracle. And still people are attributing bunch of miracles to Isa alayhi salam. Basically, understand this point. With regard to the miracle of Isa salam, Mirza Ghulam has two approaches. Listen to this point very carefully. One approach is complete denial of his miracle, which you can see in these references. And second approach is to call his miracles trickery and mesmerism. These are the two responses or two understandings Mirza gave about the miracle of Isa. Why? Listen, don't forget the point. Why? Because Mirza Ghulam was put on the spot by Muslim scholars. That if you are a Messiah, why can't you perform the miracle as the Messiah did in the, in the first coming? So he is saying that he did not do anything. Right? And one, one last quotation I want to quote here. It says that uh, read this one. Rani Khazain, volume 11, page 290. Listen this very carefully. Isaiyo ne aapke bohut mojzat likhe hain. He says that the Christians have attributed many miracles to Isa Islam. Magar haq baat ye. Listen carefully. Magar haq baat ye. But the truth of the matter is, this is not talking about the fictitious Isa. He says that the truth of the matter is, aap se koi mojza nahi hua. He did not perform any miracle. And this is the, according to Mirza, it is truth of the matter. And then he says, Or isi din se ke aapne mojza mangne walo ko gandhi galiyan di. Haram karo haram karo ki aulad theraya. Isi roz se shrifo ne aap se kinara kiya. Or na chaha ke mojza mang ke haram karo haram karo ki aulad bane. My brother and sisters, when people were demanding miracles from Mirza Ghulam, he was swearing at them. And now he says that when people demanding miracles from Isa Islam, he was swearing at them as well. Did you get the point here? He is justifying his swearing at the ulama and the people by quoting and by pointing out the swearing of Isa salam. So how can you say he was talking about fictitious Isa? Okay, let's keep moving inshallah. There are many. I'll skip that. So now the next point is Mirza Ghulam is justifying his failed prophecies, right? Again, let me say something very important. I am quoting first which book? Izalai Oham, in which he is responding to the Muslim scholars. And then as a secondary support reference, I quote other books. So don't forget this very important point here. Now, volume 3, page 106. He says that about who? About Isa alayhi salam. He says that Pishingoyon ka hal to isse bhi zada abtar hai. Kya ye bhi ke Pishingoyon hai ke zalzale aayenge, mari padegi, ladaiyan hongi, kehat padenge. Isse bhi zada kabli afsos amar ye hai ke jis kadar Hazrat-e Basi ki Pishingoyon ghalt nikli, is kadar sahi nahi nikli. He says that how can you call these trivial thing that there will be earthquakes, there will be famines, there will be deaths. He said, how can you call all, all of these small things as the miracles? And then he says that the, 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 he said that the sad reality, he says sad reality is that if we compare the failed prophecies of Isa salam are more than his true prophecies. This is Mirza Ghulam saying. Now I want to point out something very important. I wish people understand this point. I wish. You know why? Because Mirza Ghulam was calling as, all, as you all know, earthquake was a prophecy given by Mirza Ghulam. Death of different people was a prophecy given by Mirza Ghulam. And now people were raising the objection 
that how can you call these trivial things as prophecies? And now he is playing a game here. He said that it is not just me. Isa alayhi salam has called these trivial things as prophecies as well. Did you get the point? This is the game Mirza is playing here. Now, next one he says that he says that uh, Rohani Fazain, volume 11, page 288. He says that the Zalzale aayenge, kahat padenge, ladaiyan hongi. Pas in dinon pe khuda ki lanat, jinon ne aisi aisi pishin goyiya is khuda ki iski khuda pe dalil banai, aur ek murda ko khuda banaya. Kya hamesha zalzale nahi aate? Kya hamesha kahat nahi padte? Kya kahi kya kahi na kahi ladai ka sita shuru nahi rehta? Pas pas is nadan Israeli ne in mamuli bato ko pishin goyi naam kyu rakha? Again same thing. He is saying that all of these trivial things, why this stupid Israelite, are you listening people? Why this stupid Israelite has called these trivial things as prophecies? Are you getting this point? And I want to point out something very important here. Look at this one. The previous one was Izalai Oham, volume 3, page 106. He was talking to who? To the Muslim scholars. And in this one, Volume 11, page 288. Zabima Injam Atham. He is talking to who? To the Christians. But understand the point. He said the same thing. That's the point. Note this point. He said the same thing and he used the same objection when he was justifying his problems and when he was talking to the Christians as well. So don't say Mirza Ghulam believed in all of that because he used the same text, the same subject to criticize. Isa alayhi salam, but at the same time to justify his failure as well, right? Now, let's shall I keep moving. There are many. I just want to quote maybe one more. Rohani Khazain, volume 20, page 344. Pishini goyiyon ka hal to ye hai ke aksar juti nikli. People, are you listening? Go and check this reference. He was talking about Isa alayhi salam of the Islam. He said that Look at the state of his prophecies. Most of them were lies. He did not even say the failed or misunderstood. No, he said Aksar Juti Nikli. Most of the prophecies of Isa Islam were lies. Okay, now I want to skip many other. Now let's move to the next allegation. Isa Islam was a complete failure. People, are you listening? Because Muslim scholars, they were saying to Mirza Ghulam that the mission which Messiah was supposed to accomplish, oh Mirza, you didn't. And now he's saying that, so what is the big deal? So was the case of Isa Islam as well. Look at this one. Rohan, uh, sorry, this is Malfuzat, which means the sayings of Mirza Ghulam. Volume number five, latest edition, page 198. He says, Masih alayhi salam ko to fakat yehudiyon ki isla sukur thi. Or ye ke mushkil kaam bhi na tha. Magar zof ki baat ye hai ke koi baat bhi puri na hoi. He says that Allah gave only one responsibility, one mission to Isa alayhi salam. And that was rectification of the affairs of Jews. He says it was not a big thing, but Isa was so weak. He could not complete anything. Are you listening? Hazrat Masih alayhi salam. Right? Now, Rani Khazain, volume 18, page 235. Khuda to bapandi apne vado ki har cheez pe kadir hai. He says Allah is capable over everything. Lekin, but, aise shaks ko kisi tarah dubara dunya mein nahi la sakta jiske pehle fitne ne dunya ko tabah kar diya. He says that, Allah is capable of everything, but Allah cannot, are you listening? Nahi la sakta. Allah cannot bring the, the person back whose fitna, whose trial destroyed the world in his first coming. Are you listening? Look at next one. Malfuzat, 1984 edition, volume 5, page 286. He says that Hamari to samaj mein nahi aata. کہ لوگ اس عیسیٰ کو اتار کے کیا کریں گے آخر ان کے قوا تو وہی ہوں گے جو پہلے تھے پہلے کیا کیا جو اب کر لیں گے ایک زلیل سی مادود چند ایک قوم تھی ان کی اصلاح بھی نہ ہوئی 
He says that I can't understand. Mirza saying, I can't understand what people are going to get out of getting Isa for a second time. And then he says, his organs, his body is the same weak body. Okay. And then he says that what did he achieve in the first coming? So what is he going to achieve in the second coming as well? He says they were handful of humiliated people which were given to Isa for rectification of their affairs, Yehud. And then he says, Unki slabinoi, and he could not rectify them. Are you listening? Who was this? Isa alayhi salam, by name said as well. And you can read the whole article. He's talking about Isa alayhi salam, that he was a failure. Okay, let me give you a couple of more. Uh, 1988 edition, Malfuzat, volume 5, page 188. Ek dafa, Azrat Isa Zameen pe aay, iska natija kya hua? Kai kroor bushrik dunia mein ho gaye. Dubara aakar wo kya banayenge? Ke il logon ke aane, ke il, ke, ke log in ke aane ke khashman hai. He says that when Isa came for the first time, what did he achieve? He made millions of people as polytheists, mushrik. And then he says that, why people are still desiring Isa to come back a second time? Look at this one. He said this was the achievement of Isa in the first coming. That millions of people became polytheists. He said that what he's going to do in the second coming. Who? Isa alayhi salam. Right? Okay, now. Malfuzat, New Edition, Volume 5, page 197. If you believe that Isa has been on the earth, then you will be crying. تو روتے ہی گئے ہوں گے خوشی اور کامیابی کی موت تو نصیب نہ ہوئی he says that even for the sake of argument if we acknowledge or admit that Isa alayhi salam has gone to the heaven he says that he would not have gone happily he would have he would have gone crying why? because he says, he says that خوشی اور کامیابی کی موت تو نصیب نہ ہوئی he did not have any happiness or any success so even if he's gone on the sky, he's taken up into the sky, he went up to the sky crying without success. Who? Isa alayhi salam, right? And then, Ruhani Khazain, volume 8, page 308. Masih to ek mamuli sa nabi tha. Wo sirf ek khas qom ke liye aya. Aur afsos is ki zaat se dunia ko koi ruhani faida nahi pounja. Ek aisi nabuwat ka namuna chhoad ke gaya. جس کا ضرر اس کے فائدہ سے زیادہ ثابت ہوا اور اس کے آنے سے ابتدا فتنہ اور بڑھ گیا سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ listen very carefully he says that Jesus Isa Messiah was a nominal prophet Quran is calling him from one of the great five prophets but for Mirza he is just a nominal prophet and then he explains he came for a particular nation we know Ban Israel right or of so, and he said, it is sad. Listen carefully. He said, it is sad that no spiritual benefit this world has received from Isa. And then he says, he has given us a model of prophethood. Listen, Isa has given us a model, a prototype of prophethood whose loss, whose damage is more than the benefit. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. People, are you listening? He's saying that the damage of the prophethood of Isa salam is more than the benefit we receive from his coming. And then he says that through his coming, we only have more increase in trial and test. Nothing else. What he's saying? Listen, this, understand the point. Mirza Ghulam was a complete failure. We all know that. And now he is telling people, so what? So was the case with Isa Islam as well. You, you're getting the point? That's the argument here. Now, inshallah, just one more reference uh, on this topic. <clears throat> Malfuzat, New Edition, Volume 3, page 327. He says, Maryam ke peer se paida hua, sari umar jaisa ke injil se malum hota hai, karp aur istirab, ki, istirab mein guzari, مارے کھاتا رہا آخر یہودیوں نے اس کو پکڑ کے سریب پہ چڑھا دیا 
اب اگر خدا کا یہی نمونہ ہے تو اس پہ کون ایمان لائے گا اللہ اکبر آر یو لسننگ پیپل ہی سیز دیٹ ہی واز بورن فرام دا ووم آف مریم ایٹ تھرو آؤٹ ہز لائف ہی لیوڈ اے میزریبل لائف ہو اس علیہ السلام مارے کھاتا رہا ہی واز بیٹن اینڈ ایونچولی جوز دے پٹ ہم آن دا کراس ہی سیڈ اف دس از واٹ اے گاڈ لکس لائک دین ہو ول بلیو ان گاڈ آئی نو آئی نو The Qadianis are going to twist on the last bit, but read the first bit as well. You know why? Because I have given to you all of the first bit from the other books as well, in which it is absolutely clear that he was talking all of these things about Isa, not fictitious Yeshua. Okay, inshallah, very quickly. He says that Qaeda ki Allahu Akbar. Listen, Malfuzat, volume 5, new edition, page 141. قائدہ کی بات ہے مرزا از ٹیچنگ کا پرنسپل قائدہ کی بات ہے کہ محبت اور ایمان کے لیے اسباب ہوتے ہیں مسیح کی زندگی پہ نظر کرو تو معلوم ہوگا کہ ساری عمر دھکے کھاتے رہے اور سلیپ پہ چڑھنا بھی مشتبہ رہا اللہ اکبر ہی سیز دیٹ لوک ایٹ دا لائف آف عیسیٰ علیہ السلام دا مسایا ہی واز ہیومیلیٹڈ ان از انٹائر لائف ہی سیٹ ٹو دا پوائنٹ دیٹ ہز کروسی فکچر از ایون ڈاؤٹ فل He did not say this as per Quran. He is mocking Isa. He says that even when he was crucified, his crucifixion is suspicious as well. Are you listening? Next, next point, inshallah. He says that, again, I'm going to skip many. Okay, let me move on, inshallah. Attacking the teachings of Isa Islam. My dear viewers, as you know, you cannot present any book of Mirza Ghulam to any non-Muslim. Let go and read this book and learn the manners. Because any book you read, you end up finding all of this misguidance and filth. Right? Now look, he's attacking Isa a.s. to justify his filth. Nihai, Ruhani Khazain, volume 11, page 290. Nihayat sharam ki baat hai, ki aap ne pahari talim ko, jo injil ka maghz kehlati hai, yehudiyo ki kitab talmud se chura kar likha. پھر ایسا ظاہر کیا ہے گویا میری تعلیم ہے اللہ اکبر ہی سیز عیسیٰ علیہ السلام ہی پلیجرائز دا سرمن آن دا ماؤنٹ وچ از دا جسٹ آف دا ٹیچنگز آف اور ٹیسٹمنٹ آف سوری دا آف دا آف دا گوسپل ہی سیز دیٹ دس سرمن آف دا ماؤنٹ جیزز ہیز پلیجرائز دس ون فرام دا تھالمود آف دا جیوز اینڈ دین ہی سیز دیٹ اینڈ ہی واز گیونگ دا امپریشن دیر از مائی teaching allahu akbar can you go any further than this okay but but mirza will go further than this okay let's see ruhani khazain volume 20 page 364 he says hazrat isa ne khud ikhlaqi taaleem pe amal nahi kiya is qadar badzubani mein bad gaye yahudi buzurgon ko walid e haram tak keh diya har ek waaz mein yahudi ulama ko galiyan di اور برے برے ان کے نام رکھے اخلاقی معلم کا فرض ہے کہ پہلے آپ اخلاقی کریمہ دکھائے ہی سینگ دیٹ ان ایوری سنگل سرمن ایس علیہ السلام یوز ٹو سویر ایٹ دا جوئس کالرز ہی واز کالنگ دیم باسٹرڈ اینڈ چلڈرن آف باسٹرڈ اینڈ دین سی اٹ واز ریسپانسبلٹی آف ایس علیہ السلام ہی شوڈ ہیو ہی مسٹ ہیو لیو بائی دا پرنسپل ہی واز ٹیچنگ ٹو ادر پیپل آر یو لسننگ مرزا واز ڈوئنگ آل آف دیٹ Mirza was doing all of that. He was calling people walad e haram Now he's saying, it's not me. Isa did the same. Okay, very quickly, inshallah. Allahu Akbar. Look at this one. He says that Amal Fuzat, new edition, volume 3, page 295. Hazrat-e Masih ka koi khilaqi shoba khulq ka dikhrao. Wo is te bilkul farag hai. بلا ثبوت تو جوگی بھی مدعی ہو سکتے ہیں کہ ہم نے نفس کو مارا ہوا ہے بالکل فارغ ہیں He did not have any aspect of khulq, of good manners, of character. Who? Isa alayhi salam. Okay. Now, inshallah, I don't want to go. Last point, inshallah. Now he's attacking the capabilities of Isa. You know why? You know why, people? Because when 
people were raising objections on the capabilities of Mirza Ghulam. And now he is justifying his incapacity by attacking to who? To Isa Islam. Look at this one. He said, Rohani Khazain, volume 11, page 290. Aap ka ek yodhi ustaad tha. Jis se aap ne toreth ko sabkan sabkan pada tha. Malum hota hai ke ya to kudrat ne aap ko zir ki se kuch bodh hissa nahi diya tha. Ya ustaad ki shizarat thi. Is ne aap ko mahas saada lo rakha. The teacher. Bahar hal. Listen. Now he's concluding. Bahar hal. आप इल्मी और अमली कवा में बहुत कच्चे थे इसी वजह से आप एक मर्तबा शैतान के पीछे पीछे चले गए अल्लाह अकबर ही सेइंग दैट ईसा हैज अ जूइश टीचर द टीचर हु टॉट थोरा टू ईसा बिट बाय बिट एंड देन ही सेज इट लुक्स लाइक द अल्लाह हैज नॉट गिवन हिम एनी शेयर फ्रॉम गुड मेंटल कैपेसिटीज एंड देन ही सेज और Maybe the teacher was naughty. And then he says, Baharhal, he says that conclusion of the matter is, Aap ilmi aur amli kawa mein kachche the. Isa al-Islam was weak in his knowledge and in his actions. What is left there? And then he says, Isi wajah se aap ek mertabah shaitan ke pichhe pichhe chale ge. That's why once he followed the devil. And by the way, as you can see the footnote 2 here, you know why? Because I have given the reference here that it is only about Isa Islam. You cannot feed this to anybody else. Inshallah, if any Qadiani tried today, he will be inshallah humiliated. Now, look at the... Uh, yes, uh, I just want to mention, yes. He says that uh, about the miracles, okay? About the miracles, this is very important. He says that, uh, sorry, Malfuzat, volume 299, uh, sorry, page 299, volume 3, new edition. He says, hazrat e masih to ruhani amraz salb na kar sake, is liye galiyan diye chale gaye, aur a hazrat ke salb e amraz karmuna asaba hai. He says that, Isa al-Islam could not do the tazkiya of his people, and that's why he left this dunya by swearing and calling names. And then he's comparing him to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi that he did this job in the best way. Now, this is the game. This is the game here. That he is saying, I am bringing honor to the Prophet sallallahu You cannot honor one Prophet by disrespecting the other. This is a stupid principle. Okay. Now, page 299, sorry, 291, volume 11. अगर आप से कोई मौजदा जाहिर हुआ तो वो आपका मौजदा नहीं है बल्कि इस तालाब का मौजदा है और आपके हाथ में आपके हाथ में सवाए मकर और फरेब के कुछ नहीं था ही सेज दैट इवन इफ इवन इफ ईसा परफॉर्म एनी मिरेकल दैट वाज नॉट हिज मिरेकल दैट वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ अ पॉन्ड दैट वाज इन जेरूशलम एंड दैट पॉन्ड हैज सम स्पेशलिटी पीपल यूज्ड टू गेट हील फ्रॉम दैट पॉन्ड it was not Isa. And then he says, Aapke haath mein swai makro freyb ke kush bhi nahi tha. He says that Jesus has nothing but deception and trickery. Allahu Akbar. Are you listening people? And then he says that Malfuzat, volume 2, page 506. Jhoothe hain wo log joh kehte hain ke Masih murde zinda kiya karte tha, karta tha. Jis ne apne chand, jis ne apne chand hawari zinda na kiye. In ke pas hamesha murde hi rahe. He says that all those people are liars who are saying that Isa alayhi salam used to revive the dead. He said he could not revive his own disciples. Around Isa were all dead people, all spiritually dead people. I want to point out one thing here. Quran has praised the Hawariyun by the way. Remember this point, inshallah. Okay. Now, they might try to say, oh, it was about the Yeshua. No, no. Same book, Izalai Oham. And this book is responding to who? To the Muslim scholars. Okay, listen very carefully. Ab ye baat to kata'i aur yakini tor pe sabit ho chuki hai. Ki Hazrat-e Masih ibn Maryam ba'izan o hukme ilahi al-yasa nabi ki tarah amle turp me kamar rakhte te. He said, this has been established beyond any doubt. The Isa alayhi salam was like Elijah. 
or Alicia, and he was expert in mesmerism. And then he says, listen very carefully. Agar ajis is amal ko makru or kabale nafrat na samajda. He says that if I would not consider the worth of Isa as makru, disliking, and kabale nafrat. Kabale nafrat. He is saying that the worth of Isa, they are disliking and they are we, 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 they are hateful. Okay, he said, if I if I would not hate them, I could have performed better miracles than that. You see here, he is justifying his incapacity to perform any miracle. And he says that ye ajis in ajuba numayo me azrate masi se kabi bi kam na rata. He said that if that wasn't the case, I would not be any less than Isa ibn Maryam to show miracles. Okay, okay, inshallah, I will end in two minutes, bismillah ta'ala. I, I, I'm, I'm speaking, I, I, I have skipped many of them, by the way, okay? Now, as we all know, when people used to raise objection on the serious health problems of Mirza Ghulam, and now he's telling you that same health issues were with Isa as well. Look at this one. Ruani Khazain, volume 11, page 290. Aap ki ini harkaat se aap ke haqiqi bhai, aap se sakht naraz tehte the. اور ان کو یقین تھا کہ آپ کے دماغ میں کچھ خلل ضرور ہے اور وہ ہمیشہ چاہتے رہے کہ کسی شفا خانہ میں آپ کا باقاعدہ علاج ہو شاید خدا تعالیٰ شفا بخشے he says that because of all of these you know things from Isa his blood brothers اس کے حقیقی بھائی his blood brothers they used to be angry at Isa علیہ السلام and they were convinced that Isa علیہ السلام has some mental issue is a psycho is a psycho okay or and they always wanted to take isa salam to a hospital so he can be treated properly allah might give him shifa listening right volume 10 page 295 ek martaba yasu ke charo haqiqi bhaiyo ne is waqt ki government ko darkhast di ke ye shakhs diwana ho gaya iska koi bandobast kiya jaye یعنی عدالت کے جیل خانہ میں داخل کیا جائے تاکہ وہاں کے دستور کے موافق اس کا علاج ہو یہ درخواست بھی سری اس بات پہ دلیل ہے people listen he say it is the it is the evidence that یسو در حقیقت بوجہ بیمار بوجہ بیماری مرگی کے دیوانہ ہو گیا تھا are you listening he is saying that the brothers of Jesus they put an application to the local government that our brother has a serious problem he is crazy he should be treated in the hospital of the jail and then he says that this is the evidence people listen mirza says this is the evidence that isa has salam has has mirgi now i don't know the english for mirgi inshallah now i will tell you in turn but you know why because epilepsy. mirza Ghulam has epilepsy sorry? epilepsy epilepsy, epilepsy. Ep epilepsy yeah. Mirza Ghulam is saying that because, listen this point very carefully, I'm going to tell you today very strange sicknesses of Mirza. That's why he's saying all of that about Isa alayhi salam. Okay, now, <coughs> he says that Malum hota hai, Rani Khazan, volume 10, page 295. Malum hota hai ke kabutar ka utarna, aur ye kehna ke tu mera beta hai, dar haqiqat ek mirgi ka dora tha. You know, in the Gospels, when the, according to the, uh, the Christians, when the Holy Spirit descended as a dove and uh, a voice came from the heaven that he is my son. Mirza is saying, nothing happened. Ye mirgi ka dora tha. This was an attack of epilepsy. <laughs> Are you listening? Okay. Now, last point, inshallah, very quickly, last point. Mirza Ghulam has not only, listen people very carefully. Mirza Ghulam has not only used all of those unreliable sources to attack Isa, he fabricated things as well. He went to the extent of fabricating things as well. And I'm going to give you, inshallah, a couple of examples. He says that, Ruhani Khazain, volume 11, page 290. Ek Fazal Padri sahab farmate hain ki aap ko tamam zindagi mein teen martaba shaitani ilham bhi hua tha. Chunate ek martaba aap isi ilham se khuda ke munkar hone ke liye tayyar ho gaye the. He says, according to a learned missionary, are you listening? 
Mirza says, according to a learned missionary. So he is accepting this thing, okay? He says that this missionary says that three times in, in, in the life of Isa, he had a, a satanic revelation. Three times Isa has a satanic revelation, okay? And then he says, and because of that, once Isa was ready to disbelieve in Allah on the basis of that satanic revelation. Who can go to this extent? You remember I said in the intro uh, of, the, uh, of the stream that if you have to pick one human being who cross all limits, that's Mirza Ghulam. Okay. Now, one more reference. He says that Hazrat Masih apne dawe ke muwafiq asman se utar aay. He is asking us, Rohani Khazain, volume 20, page 344. He is asking the Muslims, Hazrat Masih apne dawe ke asman se utara. He said that, has Jesus descended from the heaven? Main kehta hoon ke utarna kya tha? Unko to asman pe jana hi naseeb ni huwa. Allah says in the Quran, Bar rafahullahu ilayhi. Allah raised Isa to himself. And Mirda Ghulam is saying, no, he wasn't raised to heaven. And then he says, Yehi rai Europe ke mohakkik ulama ki bhi hai. Listen carefully. He is accepting this evidence. He said, this is the position of the research scholars of the Europe. What is that? That Isa al-Islam did not go on the sky. And then he says, Balke wo sleep pe neem murda ho ke bach ke. He was almost dead on the cross. He survived. Phir poshida tor pe bhaag ke. And then secretly, secretly ran away to Hindustan and Kashmir. Okay, last inshallah point and then I am done. Because, uh, yes, let's just quote one more reference. Malfuzat, 1984 edition, volume 3, page 137. Ek Yehudi ne Yasu ki Savane Umri likhi hai. He says that one Jewish scholar has written a biography of Isa alayhi salam. Or wo yaha mojood hai. And Mirza had that. Or isne likha hai ke Yesu ek ladki pe aashik ho gaya tha. That he says that this, in this biography, the author has written that Jesus, he was in, in a love affair. Jesus was in a love affair with a girl. Then he says that, or apne ustad ke samne iske husno jamal ka tazkara kar betha. And he said that in front of his teacher, Jesus end up talking about his love affair with this girl. To ustad ne se aak kar diya. Then the teacher kicked him out. This is Isa alayhi salam. This is Isa alayhi salam. My beloved brothers, look. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has control over the hearts. We can only present to you the evidence. And evidence is in front of you. Why did I take this much time today? Because if we present things in bits and pieces, then they say, oh, he said this because of this, because of that. So I wanted to give you at least to some extent, to some extent, an overall view. And let me end with what I started with. That Mirza Ghulam is defending his own problems his own failures by pointing out the same problems and same failures in Isa alayhi salam. Now inshallah, when the Ahmadi clerics will come and they will try to tell us that he was saying all of that about Isa alayhi salam. Inshallah, then I will present rest of the evidence as well. Imran by over to you and Jazakallah khair. <clears throat> Subhanallah. You know, I was... Um making notes of the categories and the things that you were mentioning and i was overwhelmed i mean i was overwhelmed by this um i was i was writing and i couldn't believe what i was writing subhanallah so we have you presented a, few, a very uh, very uh, succinctly lots and lots of references just to put the information out there because the discussion will inevitably get stuck in maybe one or two points so all the information is out there in order to defend himself uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed really vilifies Isa alayhi salam and he does this in many many uh, references that were provided I'm going to give you the overall uh, sections that brother 
uh, Brother Imtiaz covered. So the first one was objections about the use of harsh language, and the, um, and what uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed did was he claimed that uh, it was uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, Isa alayhi salam, who was uh, also one who was using bad language. The second put the second category was actually that there were no miracles performed by Isa alayhi salam. He went on to uh, give uh, uh, explanations that he uh, he gave about this. He 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 tried to justify his own failed prophecies by saying that Isa Islam had um, failed many prophecies, and he said that these prophecies were trivial. The fourth category, he said that Isa Islam was a complete failure. Billah. He said that in his mission, it was very simple. It was wasn't wasn't a big matter, but he wasn't able to do even anything uh, to succeed in this. The the next category, the fifth category, was attaching attacking the teachings of Isa Islam himself. Claiming that Isa Islam Al-Dibla was a plagiarist who plagiarized from the Talmud to bring the Sermon of the Mount, and many many other examples were given, and then attacking the capabilities of Isa Islam, that Isa Islam was weak in knowledge, weak in his mental state, was weak in his actions, um, Subhanallah. And then the the final one, uh, sorry, not the seventh one, was attacking the health of Isa Islam, saying that Isa Islam was had some mental issues, epilepsy, or he was his brothers were concerned about his health and were trying to get him arrested. And then the final thing was even fabricating, if this was not enough, fabricating references to try and belittle, belittle Isa alayhi salam about a priest and uh, claiming that there were satanic inferences on Isa alayhi salam three times in his life. And finally, one of the worst things that you think you can attack uh, anyone with is claims about Isa alayhi salam being in an affair with a young lady who was boasting to his teacher about this and the teacher threw him out. Audhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. I mean, these are the seven, seven categories of very extensive information provided by Brother Imtiaz. And really, I'd love to have um, some responses to this from our Ahmadi brother. So please, uh, we'll put the link out. If the link is not already out, we'll put the link out. Uh, Brother Imtiaz, do you want to say something? Brother, you're muted. So you're muted. Adnan ben Shala, please, you mentioned some. Shala, I did already. Adnan ben Shala will continue. That. Yeah, I just want to say that this was a very painful exercise, man. SubhanAllah, listening to all this. And I am very sure that the Ahmadis are not aware of this content. They don't know how Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani systematically demonized, insulted, belittled, and humiliated or attempted to humiliate Isa alayhi salam in his writings to save himself. This is the point. The point is, why was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani so persistent, so adamant in insulting Isa alayhi salam? This was because he was being attacked by Muslim scholars who were raising questions about his character, about his teachings, about his health, about generally his, 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 his claims. And how was he defending himself? Using the Bible. And not even using the Bible, going beyond Bible, making things up, making lies up. Lies that don't even exist in the text of the New Testament. They're not there. And he's making things up to defend himself against these accusations from Muslim ulama and saying, look, I'm doing all these things. I'm a failure. I swear. I abuse people. My health is bad. My character is weak. I'm a loose guy. But so was Isa, so was Jesus, so was Isa alayhi salam. And he's talking to Muslim scholars, by the way. Of course, at times he was talking to Christians too. But insults he was mentioning were mainly when he's talking to Muslim scholars. This is the point. Qadiani missionaries repeatedly use this escape route. Oh, no, no, no. He was actually talking about that fictitious Isa of the New Testament. That wasn't real. So he was just being sarcastic or he was giving Ilzami Jawab. This is the argument these Qadiani missionaries present. But how does that apply to Muslim scholars when he's talking to Muslim scholars? He actually means these insults. He raises these points as arguments against Muslim scholars to defend himself against all these questions. Very, very painful to listen to, very painful to read. I'm pretty sure Imtiaz Bhai, his blood was boiling when he was reading all this stuff and making notes. So Qadianis and Ahmadi missionaries, you know, if you have any conscience, if you have any sense of shame, 
and sincerity towards Allah and His messengers, you would definitely disown this man and, you know, wake up. Okay, I'm sure this hasn't been raised in the English language before in public. This stuff hasn't been heard in the English language before, in particular for the Ahmadi community, because we don't believe in this man, by the way. We don't need him. We don't need Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani to guide us or to teach us anything. Okay, because the fact that he claimed to be a prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is enough for us to know that he was a disbeliever. Okay, he didn't believe in Islam. He was not a Muslim. Okay, it is the Ahmadis who believe in him as a prophet. If you do, then come on, stand up for his writings. How he insulted Isa alaihi salam. That's why they deny the miracles of Isa alaihi salam mentioned in the Quran. Mentioned in the Quran, miracles of Isa alaihi salam mentioned in the Quran. They deny because Mirza put them in this quagmire. Mirza put them in this ditch that they cannot climb out of. You know why? Because Mirza said he didn't commit any miracles. There were no miracles with him. I don't. You, you're asking me for miracles. Well, I don't have miracles. But even Jesus, even Isa alayhi salam, had no miracles. Even though those miracles are mentioned in the Quran. So Mirza denied the Quran. Mirza denied. The, even the Old Testament and the New Testament. Mirza denied any sense of miracles in Islam. Okay, that's why the Qadianis or the missionaries, they reject miracles of the Quran and put some strange, stupid spins on them. So now, Brother Imran and Brother Imtiaz, my beloved brothers, let's open the floor to these Qadianis and step by step, systematically, one by one, let's go through those points raised by Brother Imtiaz and make the stream a fruitful stream and stick to the point. L let's not let these people take us away from the main topic and stick to the point, inshallah ta'ala. So shall we open the floor to them, uh, Brother Imran, uh, Brother Imtiaz? Uh, yes, Adnan Bhai, Jazakallah Khair for the explanation. Yes, inshallah, we have already shared the link and uh, I believe that some of them already uh, backstage. But as Adnan Bhai said, inshallah, we, uh, we have no rush. We will we'll start as soon as the first person will come in, inshallah. We'll start with the first reference and we'll see that how far we go. And we are not going to be in rush because people want to listen Ahmadi response as well. Obviously, there will be a timed discussion because otherwise we can just go off topics. But it will be point by point. So as everybody has seen, the first point we have raised, that is the abusive language of Mirza Ghulam. When people raise, ulama raise objection on his abusive language, then he defended his abusive language by pointing out that Isa alayhi salam also have abusive language. So this, this was the first point discussed. And inshallah, if uh, we will go with the first point, with the first reference. And inshallah, in this way, we'll continue to every single reference. And inshallah, it will be a detailed discussion, but point to point, inshallah. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, brother. So, uh, sorry, I stepped out for a moment there, mashallah. So, do we have anyone who's going to uh, come on and even attempt to, to try and uh, defend I think Dr. Yahya, I think Dr. Yahya is there, so maybe give him a chance okay, to come. Okay, we'll bring Dr. Yahya on. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Brother, Jazakallah for giving me a chance. Uh, brother Imtiaz, uh, when you were presenting like about 30, 50 references, um, I, I was reading them and I was, that reminded me of many Muslim ulama, alhamdulillah, who used the similar language, similar tactics against Christian of the time. But today I'm not here to discuss those, uh, you know, the, the, those, what, what they, those Muslim scholars did. Before I say anything, I just want to, Brother Imran, I just want to remind you one verse of the Holy Quran, which is Surah Al Maida, verse number eight. And Allah says very clearly, it's the instruction let not a people's enmity incite you to act otherwise than with justice. Be always just, that is near to righteousness. I hope and I pray, Allah. Give you enable you to follow the instruction of Allah. Why I said that, brother? 
because what's happening is and i i focus that on that point in last stream what is happening is brothers that you guys come brother imran comes and unfortunately he is the only one who claimed that he knows everything about jamaat he throws 30 50 references those references which are out of context those references which he just throws them which are incomplete and he add lies to them last stream during last stream brother imran I, i'm not sure if you know or not he presented three references i challenged him during the stream even after the stream and he ran away during stream after the stream on twitter he challenged me that he wants to discuss those three references and i want i am here to discuss those three references why because it is public should need to know thank you very much dear brother yeah, yeah. No, we really appreciate so what you you've taken your 2 minutes we didn't interrupt you to claim that we are unjust yeah, we we appreciate the since you know the, the sincerity and then you and then you raised some irrelevant points about a previous stream in the sense that the topic of today's stream is not that you can feel free to continue your discussion about previous references online as you are doing already you were presented today with some very specific points uh, there are seven categories of information that were provided about how mirza alam ahmed specifically to protect his own self against the accusations that the muslim scholars were raising against him made accusations against isa alay salam of the most heinous type now whatever whatever else may be happening i think the most important thing is that you uh, as an ahmadi you need to somehow explain these to us if you think that they're all out of context and they're lies demonstrate this please rather than just making the claim because calling someone a liar is easy but demonstrating it is another level of uh, exactly. uh, information so please no what we're going to do uh, one second so what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to select one of those categories so the use of harsh language the the claim that there was no miracles of isa alayhi salam the 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 claiming that isa alayhi salam's um <clears throat> Uh, prophecies were failed to claim that uh, Isa al-Islam himself was a complete failure the claims that attacking uh, the teaching the teachings of Isa al-Islam were um, plagiarized the claim that the uh, the capabilities of Isa of Isa al-Islam he was weak in correct character knowledge attacking Isa al-Islam's health or even fabricating claims about him being with in love with a person these are all very big categories and there were many if references given within this please let us know which one you're going to choose to discuss and then feel free to demonstrate why they're either lies or they're fabrications or they're out of context okay tazakala brother the thing is that's why i mentioned you the verse of the holy quran because it is very important that we don't move forward you know the brother and tas keep on saying we got time we got time hayes makes waste you he brings a uh, reference after reference and he runs away from his own references i'm going to start as we discussed before from the reference which he presented last time the very first one which is from brother yahya surah al volume 2 brother yahya i'm going to be very respectfully you what we i've just explained to you the situation and you're completely ignoring the information that i've given you brother i understand you i understand you're upset about what what the reference the one second i understand brother. Brother, one second I understand you're upset about what happened last time and I understand you have other other information that you want to discuss about that. You're already in discussions online about this continue that please. We want people to understand the big context picture of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed so we are providing the information. The next information that we've provided today for one hour brother uh, MTRs has put this forward to you. Okay? Which of those are you going to deal with today? If you're not going to deal with them, no problem. Just tell us that, and we can move on to the next person. We don't want to waste your time. We don't want to brother, waste. Brother, I think you have you have missed my point. Brother Imtiaz said we have to have a debate on this, and whoever has lied is going to delay his channel. So I'm here, Brother Imtiaz. I've accepted your challenge. Your challenge. Now we're going to discuss three references. You can't just ignore like that, brother. Brother Yahya, yeah, one second. Have to give us one second, brother Yahya. Yeah, look, look. Today, listen. today is not the today is not the. You haven't scheduled this debate. Okay, you've arrived brother, at our stream. You, you, you've arrived at our stream, 
Brother Yahya. Brother Yahya, I'm going to mute you because you're talking over me. We have rights. I'm going to mute you because you're talking over me. So now you cannot be heard. You've been invited to the stream. Uh, we've invited you on because we're dealing with a specific topic. Okay, if you want to take up Brother Intiasi's challenge, please contact him, arrange the debate. We're happy to facilitate that. And we will have a debate where just you and him can interact and with a moderator. We'll have moderators from both sides, a formalized debate, no problem. So, Today so is not that day. Yeah, Dr. Yahya, uh, Brother Intiaz has already responded to your challenge on Twitter. I've seen it. He also challenged you on these very three references. So try not to waste our time. You can have a separate debate on those three references with Brother Imtiaz. He's nodding right now. He's not running away from you. So try not this. Uh, try not to do this anymore. Let's continue with the topic we have raised today. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. So we're, we're going to stick to the topic. If you are not willing to indulge in this topic today, uh, respectfully, we will ask you to leave and we will let someone else, uh, else in who wants to. And if you want to discuss those three references in, in particular that were discussed in the last stream, then you are most welcome to do so in a separate debate, online debate with Radeem Tiaz, and he is willing to indulge. Now, let's move on. Game over. Let's move on. Brother, listen. It is my humble request again because it is not fair for, for Ahmadiyya uh, Muslim community that you bring those references, you lie in those references, and we have not even given chance to explain ourselves. You're not listening what to me, are you? Did, did you not you just not, listen to me? You are not listening no, no. to God. You are listening to God. God said, because of your enmity, you you, you're muted. Imran Bhai, you're muted. Imran Bhai, you're muted. To God. Her God brother is, Yahya, I've muted you. It's very, uh, what's happening, what you're doing is, you're using an emotional blackmail. God says, be just, and the end, you're defining justice as, you have to do what I say. You have to debate okay. the things I say. This I is not the, one, one second, I'm talking, uh, please do not talk over me. The, the, uh, you're defining justice in, in what you're saying. Now, we've given you the opportunity to have the debate in a formal way, the brother MTRs. You accept this? Okay. You accept this? Okay, my, second, my, I'm asking you a question. Do you accept to do this formal debate I, with Brother MTS? I have accepted his challenge. Okay, so I'm what we will do... Okay, this is I'm fine. One second, I'm one second, Brother Yahya, one second. One second, one second, please. So now that we have, you have accepted, this is great. We will organize this with you. We will organize this with you and we will have that debate. No, no, today I'm is... Sure today I'm is... Today. No, brother, today is one second, Brother Yahya. Brother Yahya, one second, please. Brother Yahya, one second, please. One second, Brother Yahya. You're being very emotional, please. Calm down. What games are we playing? We're telling you we will debate you. In Where is the game? You. No, to, tonight we have a topic to address. Last last week's topic is gone. You want to discuss it again? Most welcome, brother. Most welcome in a separate debate with uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, with Brother Imtiaz, who has already accepted your challenge on Twitter on those three references. Now, why are you running away is the question. Why are you playing these games? Why are you deliberately avoiding the topic of tonight? So let's go back to the topic of tonight and discuss the, those three references in a separate discussion which, bet, between you and Imtiaz. So today, we are indulging in a specific topic. Let's not waste any, any more time. If Dr. Yahya doesn't want to indulge, we can release him or we can <laughs> yeah. re relinquish. You have, you have a very big opportunity today, Dr. Yahya. And the, and the opportunity is, if Brother Imtiaz is presenting false information, <clears throat> You've been presented with over 20 references covering seven topics. So show us the false references. Show us where the lies are. Demonstrate them. And then this would be something that we can have. So let us know which of those that you're going to discuss and then bring them forward and we'll discuss them. So I'm going to give you two minutes. If after this two minutes you haven't commenced on the debate uh, topic, then we'll ask you to leave. Okay. Now, brother, what's happening is you guys bring re re those references. You lie in those references. And look, even today, you brought like through 30 references and you expect from us to give you respond within the, the two, three minutes of those 30 references. What kind of debate is that? One what topic. Kind of, one second. It's my two One minutes. topic. Yeah, yeah. One topic. 50 yeah, references. Not 30. Not one 30. Topic, not 30. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. 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 Brother Stop. 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 I want you to pick one reference. One, one reference. Yes. That you think is false. 
that you think is a lie, that you think is out of just one. We're not asking, we don't expect you to do all of them in two Stop minutes. Stop playing these games. Yeah, we're, un that's not, we're not unreasonable people. We're saying to you, pick one, demonstrate this falseness, demonstrate that it's out of context, demonstrate that this is not as it seems to be when it's being read on face value. And then you can, then you have traction. And then we will continue. If you continue, we will continue. And then you can cover maybe 20 rather than just making these uh, uh, bland statements. So I'll restart your time from this time and you can continue, please. Yeah. Now, my question is, and I want public to, to see that, why Imtiaz is not debating with me now? Because in these three references, he lied in last stream and he said that Mirza Sahib, God forbid, did not believe in miraculous birth of Isa al Islam, complete lie. Lanatullah al Kazibin. Sahib, I give you give you chance. If you want to say sorry, you made a mistake about those claims, that's fine. Let's debate about today's topics. First, admit if you but if you still insist that whatever you said in last team was true, you have to be debated now. Public want to see the truth, they want to watch the truth. As far as today's is concerned. Whatever references you have brought in, brother, Muslim ulama have written the same language about that personality, which is not the true personality of Islam, which is Injili personality. If not, then, then why not just say it? Whoever has written anything similar to Hazrat Mirza Sahib, Lanat on that person. Say Lanatu Lanatu Rahmatullah Kranvi. Say Lanatu Malvi Sanaullah Marasari. Say Lana to Malvi uh, Hassan uh, Mohani. Why are you having double standards? But I'm here to debate with you those three references, brother. If you don't debate today, then obviously people people know that you're lying. You lying. Okay. And you're lying thank thank you very much. We, uh, brother Dr. Yaka, we really appreciate your contribution to the stream today. Um, and we, we thank you for coming. Uh, if you ever want to actually enjoy in the, the discussion, please let us know. Okay, um, one second. No, no. What, uh, you're, yeah. that's what, yeah. brother, Dr. Yahya, Dr. Not, Yahya. You not, Dr. Yahya, I'm going to have to mute you. You're ignoring me. I'm going to mute you if you do that. Okay. Dr. Yahya, you were given time. You were told that this was your last opportunity and you ignored that. Uh, the, it, it's very easy for you to demonstrate the claims you're making. Demonstrate them with an example. But you're not doing this. You're not doing this. I'm muting you because you're talking over me. Okay. It's very important that you you follow the rules that we have today. If you don't want to do that, we don't have a problem with this. But don't take take our time up or anyone else's time up. So what I'll ask you to do, I'll ask you to go into the back. Okay. Uh, calm down. Have some tea. What we'll do is we'll get another one of your colleagues up to have a discussion with, and then we'll give you another opportunity another time. We're being generous to you. We understand that a lot of information has been presented that can be quite hard to deal with. And if you want time, you can look at the. You can well, look at some, uh, just, uh, just let me just finish. Talking, please. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, ask you to take a seat in the back. We will bring you back after the next person. If, yeah, if I'm, I'm muting you because you're talking over me. If you adhere to the topic of the stream today, this is going to be the rule. So I'm just going to ask, remove you now, and I will bring in the next person up. Okay, thank you very much. Imran, okay, can this, I just mention? Uh, yes, please, you can, you can. Yeah, yeah. Jazakallah khair. So Alhamdulillah, uh, just the one uh, comment, Brother Adnan and Imran Bhai have already mentioned. I was the one who asked him to come and debate those three references. And uh, Adnan Bhai said, Nash already, inshallah, we are ready, but everything goes in a systematic way because people, they want to be learning things in a systematic way. Today we have a topic, inshallah, we'll deal with this topic. And inshallah, if anything from the previous stream, we are not running away, but we cannot let anybody to waste people's time by going off topic, which is not the topic of today. Inshallah, I am saying it publicly. That I have, I am the one who gave Yahya a challenge. He did not. I am the one who gave him the challenge. Okay, we both have accepted the challenge. Alhamdulillah. Now the, it's not only the matter of fixing a time and a date, and inshallah, having this debate and debate. The entire debate will be those three references, and I still stand by my words. If it is proven I lied about any of those, I will delete my channel. I am not moving away from any of thing I said. But today, inshallah, we have a topic. We'll discuss that. And secondly, Imran, by uh, my humble request, inshallah, if you want to consider by is 
that uh, because uh, obviously we presented a lot of content, no doubt about that. And the reason was because people said last time they'd want to see an overall picture in the beginning, and then we can go one, one by one. So by my request, inshallah, is that we want, let's go in the order of the points we have presented. The first point is the allegation of abusive language. From this, uh, from that inshallah point, anybody can come, they can discuss inshallah. Once we deal with that, we can move on. Because uh, to, to be honest, all of these points are important and people would really love to listen and respond on every single one of them. So inshallah, let's see that how far we go today. Inshallah, we go in a point by point way. So first point is the abusive language justification of Mirza by pointing out the abusive language in Isa alayhi salam. Jazakallah bhai. Uh, we really appreciate that. So th this is even better. So now we've narrowed down what, what you can, what you need to respond to, to just the first of the of the se seven categories, the use of harsh language. Where, so where Mirza Ghulam Ahmed defends his own use of harsh language and bad language by claiming that Isa al Islam was similar in his way he was speaking, um, and not sticking to his own moral principles and not teaching by uh, not that he was teaching. So hypocritical even of the Billah. So uh, we'll get the next person to come up. Um, who who would you like to bring up, brothers? You can see, I don't, I'm not sure who came first. I think uh, let's take Razi. Is he there? Yes, I can see him. So uh, hopefully he's there. We'll bring him up. Imtiaz Bay, you can take Yusuf first because he's in a different country, so he gets late. I'm here for no the problem. next five. No, hours no, 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 no. Is, is is Yusuf the same guy we spoke to last uh, um, last time from Africa? He's from uh, Nigeria, I believe. Okay, we'll speak to you. We, we don't want to speak to you so first, no. Why not? Because he, you, you he, because you are more on topic. You can kick him out, just like no, you did with Yahya Seb, right? No, last my last our last experience was very bad. He doesn't stop talking. He doesn't listen. He doesn't follow the discussion. Okay, if Clearly... he doesn't, then you can remove him. I'm here. Brother, I'll brother, come in right brother, away. Razi, so really. Do you want to engage in the topic? or? Of course no, no. I do. That's okay, why I'm go ahead. Please go ahead. Go ahead. And, 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 uh, go ahead. Start. But I feel that's unfair to him. He's been watching for the past hour 30. If he so, so, doesn't so are, so rules, are about 500 people. 500 people. Yes, people of invited yeah. Ahmadi Muslims first, right? Yeah, are you, so you, you are also an Ahmadi, right? By the grace of Allah. Anyways, okay, then. So then why don't you can I spend my two topic. minutes? Yeah. So in my first two minutes, Brother Imran, I want to humbly request you that as a person who of course claims to follow Islam, don't just accept what these people say. Go back and read these books. Majority of them are translated into the English language, number one. Number two, I too came with the references of last time where Brother Muhammad Impiaz unfortunately lied to the public three times. I know some of the Muslims believe Hazrat Ibrahim Alaihissam lied three times, but this doesn't allow you to lie as well. Because first, Ibrahim al never lied. One second, one second, one second, yeah. please. I want you to raise the tone of your discussion. Okay. I want, to, I want us to have a good, yeah, spirited, so I'm intellectual my debate. Screen. So one thing I don't want you to do yeah. is to just throw out this lie word. No okay. one here is intentionally doing anything. No, I disagree. Okay. But so you can I, I know you screen. disagree. I know you disagree. Yeah. I'm not saying that you don't disagree. Okay. But if to, in, for the sake of a, a civil discussion, yeah. rather than calling each other liars and etc., it doesn't help. Okay. Just Can demonstrate you share my what screen? you think. Can you share my screen if possible? This, Can you share my screen? Yeah. But exactly. Please, please uh, raise the quality of the discussion, please. Yeah. So I have hundreds of references where Hazrat Ahmed al explains that we inform our readers that our belief concerning Isa al is extremely noble. We most sincerely believe that he was a true prophet of Allah and he loved him. As the Quran tells us, we hold firm faith that he most sincerely believed in our Lord and Master, Nabi Sassim, for his salvation and that he was one of the hundreds of obedient servants of the law of Musa al -Asim. Therefore, we hold a great esteem for him in accordance with his exalted says Now, da, uh, Muhammad Imtiaz and Adnan Rashid made the claim that even when you're giving the uh, view of the Christians, you cannot say such things about Isa. So I want Adnan in his turn to translate this and Muhammad Imtiaz to translate this. I'm waiting. How much time do I have left? I can't see the time. You have 46 seconds, okay. but so until your 46 seconds is up, uh, with the, there won't be other interactions. So continue. 
Okay, so my point is that Hazrat Ahmad Alassam, those references they present are Ilzami Jawab. It's in their own works. And many of the books in Tiyaz Khurid were in response to Christians. Of course, some of the writings we will explain. Some of them need explanation from Hazrat Ahmad Alassam's books. And my third question to Muhammad Imtiaz and Adnan Rashid is if someone says Hazrat Isa Alassam failed in his mission, what is the fatwa on them? So the, I asked three questions. Adnan will translate this page and Muhammad Imtiaz will translate this. Adnan can translate this as well. And then what is the fatwa on someone who says Isa Alassam failed in his mission? I need that fatwa in the next turn. Zakumullah. Okay. So we, we don't... Uh... So we won't be doing any of the translating for you, but I'll pass on to Brother Imtiaz to respond to you. Brother Imtiaz? Yeah. Jazakallah khair, Imran bhai. So, inshallah, I don't think that... Uh, when I my time, please. So, inshallah, my timer, Imran bhai. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, uh, basically, I don't even need two minutes, inshallah. I will respond to all the three questions, inshallah, in 15 seconds. And that is, we will deal with the text of other ulama right now we have presented mirza ghulam his writing we are going to put first reference on the screen we want you to explain this is not the way to explain the, okay if mirza ghulam did this other did that as well is it the way to justify and to explain things i want audience and viewers to look at the logic here now after that if you want to discuss that point where, we, where you want to quote those ibarat, those texts of Mirza Ghulam, where he is apparently praising Isa alayhi salam. Inshallah, my case is ready on that one. If you want to come on that, Inshallah, I will be ready. And uh, I want to give rest of my time to Adnan Bhai. So the point is, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, um, as mentioned by Intaz Bhai, that uh, we have direct references from Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani in response to Muslim scholars, these are not Ilzami Jawab, as you claim. Stop playing this game. This is not Ilzami Jawab. These are not responses to Christians uh, with sarcasm. This is what Mirza is saying to Muslim scholars, that this is what Isa salam was, this is what he did, and this is how he was. Therefore, I am fine. You are accusing me of not performing miracles, of bad health, and uh, abusing people. But Isa was also doing it. What about Isa? So uh, just like you are doing what aboutism, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was also doing what aboutism, quoting and misquoting the Old Testament and even inventing things that were not there. So respond to those very points we have raised for Mirza. Stop doing what aboutism because it's a fallacy. Zakumullah. So firstly, it's unfortunate. I asked three questions. None of them were able to answer. As always, we see this always happens. You said that just because other ulama did it does not mean that Hazrat Ahmad can do it. This shows that according to you, all of these ulama are kuffar, including Sanaullah Amritsi, Rahmatullah Kiranvi, Ibn Taymiyyah, Rahmullah, and many other great ulama who use this ilzami jawab technique. In fact, the dawa wise uh, admin Mansoor also uses this technique and Zakir Hussein also uses it. Ahmed Dira also used it. Adnan Rashid also used it. But last stream Adnan Rashid said even Ilzami Jawab, you cannot speak about a prophet in this way. So according to Adnan Rashid's own fatwa, he himself is a kafir as well, unfortunately. Next, what I'm saying is that... Sorry, let me finish, sorry, brother. No, 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 because this is... Uh, Razi, you're being unreasonable in your discussion. That's for the viewers to discuss. No, it's not for the viewers to discuss. No, point, it's, no, it's not. Why is it that when we speak, you Razi, have to cut us off? I'm going to you answer being, I, I want now. you to stop being emotional. No one is emotional, brother. I'm, Whenever we second. speak, we're one emotional second. to you. We're waffling. But to that's what the viewers to, to calm, And calm. if you guys continue Razi, this, you think we want be to calm. be here? Razi, please be calm. No. What, what I want you to do is to not call people kafirs. Not call I didn't. Liars. I said he's what, a kafir. Razi, to his own Razi, fatwa, not Razi, mine. Razi, Razi, I never please. called anyone Razi, kafir, brother. Razi, Why are you saying I called them kafir? Can you calm down? So why did you say I called him Kafir? I want you to calm lying? down and listen to what I'm saying. So why did you say I, I called him Kafir? If you calm down and listen, you may hear an answer to the questions you're asking. What I said to you earlier was raise the level of your discussion. And what um, what I'm finding is that you're not you're actually going down into the gutter even more. If you want to raise a point, 
take an example that's given of the references provided and to make a demonstration of that. Go ahead and do that. You're not doing this. You're throwing out general statements. You're calling all the people, all sorts of people, uh, accusing them of the same. None of these people claim to be a prophet from Allah. None of these people you follow as a prophet of Allah. So all of that is irrelevance. It's irrelevance to the topic of you showing that Glamour Ahmed had another intention in the way that he was speaking and we're misrepresenting it or we're misunderstanding it. So why don't you tackle that from that okay, perspective answer. rather than throwing out these things that you're putting out? Firstly, Please Brother continue. Imran, I did not call anyone kafir. So that is unjust of you for seeing that I you, called you. You kafir. did, you did. You just called me a kafir. Finish. I didn't. You I called me a kafir. To your own fatwa. You can return, rewind, and watch it. So, I don't so, believe so you, you I called never me a kafir. Called, no, according to your own fatwa, you're kafir. So that means you're calling me a kafir. Non Rashid calls it non Rashid kafir. Not I, I never, I never called myself a kafir. Difference. You did. I never because called myself a kafir. Because last you said you can't speak like this about a Nabi, even if it's Ilzami Jawab. But Rahmatullah Kirani said, this is why I'm challenging you. To translate this, why are you afraid to translate it? It's not my job to translate your work. Should I translate you, it for you? Yeah, you do okay, it let in your two minutes. It. It's like we we will we will okay, present our translate. case in our two let minutes. Let me translate now. Don't so, cut me off. Your time. Uh, Imran said, can you share my screen? You can present your case uh, as you like. No yeah. problem. Zakmullah. So Rahmatullah Kiranvi is a kafir according to Adnan Rashid because Adnan Rashid again, said, again, let me again, finish. Why are you again, cutting again. me off? I know don't, these references. You, you know I don't agree. Brother Rezi, what you're doing? Brother Rezi, last time, finish. last time let we, we interacted, the last time that we interacted, See, this is unfortunate. Uh, the, the last time, the last time that we interacted, here's the second one. Everyone the last time we interacted, don't put words in people's mouths and make claims about their intentions or their statements. Present your argument. Don't make a ad hominem. Can, can you mute? You can you mute, Marazi? Can you mute, Razi, for a second, uh, brother Imran? Can you okay. look? I want everyone to know. I want everyone to see that this is how Qadiani missionaries behave on our streams. When you go on their streams, they are like angels, angels that just landed from the heavens. They are so beautiful, so kind, so compassionate, so nice, so timid, so submissive that one falls in love with them. But when they come on our, our streams, jinn possesses them. Some kind of jinn comes into them and makes them behave in this way. Now, we're trying to be as civil as possible. We want to have a fruitful discussion. These guys, because they know the quagmire they're in, they know there is no defense of these statements made by Mirza. Uh, they are, they're going to make noise. They're going to throw accusations. They're going to call kufr, 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 kafir, kafir, kafir. Okay, uh, Rosie even accused me of calling Wahab bin Munabbe kafir. Now he's saying I'm calling... Uh, uh, Kairanavi a kafir. I'm gonna call all the Mufassir in a kafir. So stop doing that. We're not talking about Ilzami Jawab. So stop wasting our time. Don't quote things from uh, to us from Ilzami Jawab. We're not dealing with Ilzami Jawab. We're talking about Mirza talking to Muslim scholars. There is no Ilzami Jawab there. There are no arguments he's presenting from the Christian side to undo Christianity. He's talking to Muslims. So let's address those points in your one minute remaining. Go ahead. Yeah. So firstly, Brother Imran said that even if Adnan and these people did this, they're not prophets. So Imran is indirectly saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, that others have done it. They were also wrong, but your prophet is also wrong. Is this what you're saying, Brother Imran? Because I didn't understand your point. You said these people like Adnan, Dida, Zakir Hussain, and the rest, they're not Ambiya. So if they did it, it's fine, but I will answer. Your messiah, no, Imran said it right, so I want him to explain what he well, meant. You, but I'm you the one debating you. Ghab, right? I'm, you I'm the one debating you. I'm Do you the know one. what he meant? Uh, I'm the Razila, one debating you. You're, you're I want to know. Imran. That's, that's <laughs> also my claim. That's also my claim. Yeah. yeah the discussion. Let me explain. We, the Muslim debaters, when we debate Christians, we use the Bible to show them how absurd their view on Jesus, according to the Bible, is. Okay, mm -hmm. and we also show them the truth, but we never make it our point between the Muslim scholars. When I discuss with Muslim scholars, okay, I don't say Jesus failed, Isa failed, he abused, and look, Bible says it in Jeel. They would laugh at me, they would say, You fool, we don't believe in the Injil, we don't believe it's true, we don't believe it's the Haq, it is corrupted. The Quran says it's corrupted. So, why are you talking to us using references from? The Injil and some other unknown uh, documents. So get the point. We use arguments from the Old Testament against Christians 
to get them to realize how absurd those things okay. are. But, Adnan, but the not, last with stream, okay. not with Muslims. Not with Muslims. I understand. But yes. last stream you said, and I have the clip. If you want me to show it in front of everyone, I can. You said, even if you're doing that, even if you're doing what you're saying you do, even then you can't speak of a Nabi in this way. You yes, said, I agree. Things. Okay, I agree. So, now so I, you... say, I say we yes. cannot insult a prophet of Allah even when we are debating the Christians and the Jews and the atheists. Agreed. Okay. Even in Ilzami Jawab, okay. we cannot insult so, uh, Imran, the prophets of Allah. Can you share Allah. my screen, please? Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do now, what I'm going to ask you to do now is to just present your response. Yeah, don't worry. Okay? I will present my response. Okay, so, so uh, tell me when you, you want to share your screen? screen. And once you share the screen, I'll start your time. Yeah, yeah you, do you see it? Uh, yeah, I think okay. I see it here. So Adnan just claimed that even if it's Ilzami Jawab, you cannot speak of a prophet this way. Here's his scholar, Rahmatullah Kiranvi. He says that Hazrat Isa exceeded limits with alcohol to the point where those who lived with him called him a drunkard. And he was also young and Mary Magdalene would wash his feet with her tears and would kiss him as well and put her hair on his feet to clean them. And she was a famous prostitute. How did he, Isa forget the teachings of his elders, Dawud and Suleiman How did he forget the advices of Suleiman In other writings, he goes a step further. I'll share that as well. He says, many women would walk around with him. They would serve him with their money. And Isa had Martha and her sister as his friends. He loved them. Now, those who reject Isa can raise the allegation that because he was a young, beautiful individual, this is why he fell into trial with women and loved them and went after them. He served them with his money and loved some of the women. And because of alcohol, he would take other benefits from these women as well. So why would he need a nikah? He then mentions the story of the woman pressing the fee of Hazrat Isa and crying in front of him as well. So Adnan Bey, what is the fatwa on Rahmatullah Kiran we said? Because according to you, it's unacceptable to speak in this way, even if it's Ilzami Jawab. So these are two references I presented. If you disagree with my translation, feel free to read the Urdu and translate or leave it up. Okay, brilliant. Can I, can you, although this is, this is going outside of our topic. I've already clarified that when a Muslim scholar addresses Christians to refute them, he uses biblical references to show them how absurd their narrative is. It is okay to do that respectfully. Okay, this is not the topic we're discussing. But even in this, Razi has again misrepresented Kairanavi just like he did last stream and we exposed Razi. We caught him. He was misrepresenting Kairanavi when he claimed that Kairanavi agreed with them and when we read from Kiranvi from that very same page book uh, 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 Izalai Oham page 185 when we read from the same page Razi his face completely changed can you bring up the reference you are reading from the other one can you bring up the reference and we will see how you are misrepresenting Kiranvi again bring, bring up the reference again please the other page yes. the other page Razi uh, Imran Bhai can I use the rest of the time from Adnan Bhai in this term this is the one. Please read yes. it and translate Adnan Bhai. Okay. Uh, uh, Imtiaz Bhai, one second. Uh, let me just read this. Here, the paragraph where you have highlighted uh, the bits. If you look at the start of the paragraph, it says, In ayat mein sarahat ke saath to malum hota hai ki farasi an janab alayhi salam ko khau piyo sharab ka Alayhi salam. Yes, alayhi salam. Yes. Who is okay. alayhi salam? Isa alayhi salam. Anjana. Please, please stop. Yes. Uh, so, so, where is the disrespect here? Keep where reading. Where is the insult? Wait, 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 wait. I'll give you wait, my time. Wait, Keep wait, reading. Razi, wait. Razi, stop okay. interrupting, please. Okay. Okay. He's saying, Kiranavi is saying that the Pharisees used to think of Isa alayhi salam this stuff. He's actually highlighting that the Pharisees, the Jewish Pharisees, in Palestine, in Jerusalem at the time, they used to think of Isa alayhi salam, these things. Okay. They used to think that he basically has a woman kissing his feet. And, Read the uh, Urdu, brother. And, Read the Urdu. Don't brother Urdu will, Urdu, Do not brother, brother, Urdu, translate. Read the Urdu. Brother then Urdu will bury. Razi, uh, Razi I'll please, I'm going to mute you because you're, you're, you're talking over other people's turns. And then you become indignant when somebody interrupts you. 
so so here in the urdu language it says in ayat mein sarahat ke uh, sarahat ke sath to maloom hota hai in these verses it becomes very clear that pharisees aan janab alai salam ko khao piyo they used to think of isa alai salam alaihi salam the words are there very respectfully ko khao piyo sharab kar se aa samajhte the they used to think him a drunkard and وہ عورت ان کے پاؤں چومتی تھی اینڈ دے یوز ٹو تھنک دیٹ دیر از اے وومن ہو ٹو کس ہز فیت اینڈ شی وڈ اپلائی عطر پرفیوم آن ہم آن جناب علیہ السلام کی تشریف آوری کے وقت وین عیسا علیہ السلام وین ہی یوز ٹو کم عورت نے پاؤں چومنا بس نہ کیے دا وومن ڈڈ ناٹ اسٹاپ کسنگ ہز فیت حتیٰ کہ فریسی وغیرہ یہ منظر دیکھ کر بد اعتقاد ہو گئے اینڈ دا فیرسی سو دس دس تھنگ اینڈ دے بیکیم Uh, basically uh, uh, of ill belief yani they stop they stop believing in isa alaihi salam an janab an janab sorry let's where's the quote gone sorry okay so so look we can carry on reading i've read enough um, my point is done my point is made what is the point this person razi doesn't have the shame to even quote muslim scholars accurately and deliberately ignores the context the context is rahmatullah kairanavi when he's talking about isa alaihi salam speaks very respectfully calls him alaihi salam an janab an janab in the urdu language means his excellency literally wallahi it means his excellency that his excellency alaihi salam may allah's blessings be upon him this is how he's referring to isa alaihi salam now we go back to mirza's writings razi is is wasting our time he's make us he's going to make us read muslim scholars and they are speaking respectfully uh, about isa alaihi salam refuting the christians sure. refuting the christians okay, can I, mirza like mirza minutes. was talking mirza yeah. was talking to muslim scholars using insults against isa alaihi salam okay. trying to defend himself against accusations that's the point two I'll, different things apples and pears okay, so stop I'll wasting our time just, 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 just before you take you can just before you just before you take your two minutes yeah. so this is very clear so the reference that you put up was actually not the the thing that you were claiming it was the reference okay. that you put up was the 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 scholar shay, saying that the pharisees are the people that say these things whilst using respectful terms for isa alayhi salam throughout that that was okay. that was read and translated can i do my brother. turn now so your ref one second because brother mtr's wanted to say something so no, but i give you... i give it non four minutes let well, me speak for two brother minutes then mtr's can take two minutes and non then me brother Rezi, don't, don't worry this is then a conversation too much to reply to at once brother then it's tough nothing bro. is being replied all that's happened now is the reference you've put forward has okay. been shown to be not what you claimed no, it to no, be no no it's exactly so, so what you can, I you can discuss you can you can go over that in the moment but let brother mtr's please okay sure sure You're muted, brother. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, I want to make it, inshallah, simple for the viewers to understand. In his turn, here is the question I want Razi to respond. Razi, are you saying that Rahmatullah Kiranvi Rahmatullahi Alayhi, he believes, he believes, and this is his position, that Isa alayhi salam was alcoholic, and he used to let other women to come close and kiss his feet you need you, you need to clarify okay this is my question and then the second aspect of the same question is is it the case with mirza gulam that he believes that isa alaihi salam was alcoholic and he had taallukat relationship with the women like mary magdalene so you need to clarify for the viewers that what is mirza gulam believer in that or is he saying that other people believe this but i am refuting this and likewise is rahmatullah kiranvi believer in that or he is quoting other people and then refuting them there are two sides of the same question i want to save people's time so please i yeah. want imran bhai my only request is i only ask him one question and i would highly appreciate if he can respond to that question because this question actually summarized what adnan bhai said and you said as well so i will answer not, like, both inshallah please don't interrupt brother so what i'm saying is that i don't want him to say oh these three people spoke they said bunch of thing no we all said one thing we want you to respond yes adnan bhai yeah 
Yeah, so I'll start with responding to Adnan. Firstly, once again, now Adnan is saying that Rahmatullah Kiran Bisab is being respectful here. This shows how great he was. So in his book, Bible Se Quran, he says, Hazrat Yisra exceeded limits with alcohol to the point where those who lived with him called him a drunkard and he was also young and Maryam would wash his feet with, feet with her tears and would kiss him as well and put her hair on his feet to clean them and she was a famous prostitute. How did Isa Islam forget the teachings of his elders Dawud Islam and Suleiman Islam? Then the reference I quoted which Adnan Rashid was afraid of reading in totality there's no respect there, brother. He's showing the biblical Isa lesson and showing that your biblical Isa is nothing. You people have made someone a God who, according to the Bible, is this and is that. Now, the question that I asked Imtiaz and Adnan, which they haven't answered yet, is Adnan said, even if you're speaking from the to the Christians, from the Bible, even then you can't say these things. Even if you say these things and you're speaking from the Bible, even then it's wrong. This is what Adnan claimed last stream. This is what Imtiaz claimed today. I wrote it word for word. Number two, what is the fatwa on him who says that Isa Islam failed in his mission and he actually believes in it? I need answers, brothers. I never get any answers. Okay, I need the answers in this stream. Then Imtiaz asked two questions. He said that did Hazrat Ahmed Alas did Rahmatullah Kirani said if Imtiaz gives me extra 30 seconds so I can answer these both questions. First question is, did Rahmatullah Kirani said believe Isa Lassam was an alcoholic? Of course not. Did Hazrat Ahmed Alasam believe Isa Lassam was an alcoholic? Of course not. Hazrat Ahmed Alasam in his books has explained wherever I have used harsh language for Isa Alasam, it's the Messiah of the Bible, not the Messiah who I believe was an obedient one of the Torah and followed Musa Alasam and was of the few chosen by Allah, Ulul Azam, Minar Rusul. As for the prostitute question, Thank you very much, let, let me just finish 20 seconds. He asked two questions. I'm answering the second one. I'm staying on topic. Just give me 20 extra seconds. I let you've got, I you've got 10 before. seconds and finish okay. off your story. Regarding the prostitutes as well, this was not Rahmatullah Kirani's view. It's Ilzami Jabab, just like Hazrat Ahmed Lassam. So I asked two questions. I want answers, brothers. Please answer my questions. Jazakumullah, and I request from now on, all keep my two minutes and they keep their two minutes. So, the, the, yeah. as long as it right over, over to you, Sorry, MTS brother, MTS, right. please continue. You're muted, brother. No, you're muted, muted, muted. You're muted. Uh, Brazil, I'm going to mute you because you're typing loudly. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. So, Alhamdulillah, one point is off the table now. Razi has clarified for the audience, and I appreciate his honesty, to be honest, that he said that. Rahmatullah, Qayyanvi Rahmatullah alayhi. Yes, he was quoting from the Bible, but he did not believe in all of that. So that is now off the topic. Okay, now the sex, ne next question or the next aspect of the question was that when Mirza Ghulam quoted these things, did he believe in that or not? Now I am going to make a challenge with Allah's tawfiq today. Razi. Rest of the steam will be between you and me. If I prove today without any doubt that Mirza Ghulam believed in this, the Isa alayhi salam of the Quran, he used to drink alcohol and he had relationship with the prostitute. If I prove it today on, on the live stream, would you then denounce Ahmadiyya live? Inshallah, I promise you one thing. The evidence I will produce Inshallah, that will be conclusive on these two allegations. That Mirza Ghulam believed this about Isa he was, he was not giving any accusative or uh, ilzami jawab. So I want Razi, because Razi, you have to respond to this. If it is proven today, are you going to denounce Ahmadiyya publicly today? That's my challenge to you, because my claim is, I swear by Allah, Mirza Ghulam believed in this. That Isa was an alcoholic. And he had relationship with the prostitute. I say, Allah Mirza Ghulam believed in this. I am challenging you. Accept my challenge today. Okay, so that's very clear. Um, yeah. Brother, brother Imtiaz is saying to you that he believes that, obviously you agree that the scholar was not believing any of these things that were being said. And so that puts the scholar to one side. Now, the claim here now is, 
what the Imjaz is saying that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad believes the things that he was saying. So do you accept his challenge about this? So you can will, start, you, will you be responding uh, to this? You can start my two minutes. You can share my screen. Firstly, I didn't get my answers. I asked two simple questions. You failed to answer both as always because, of course, there are no answers. His question uh, that... Brother, did, brother, let me second. finish, brother. Why are you cutting me off? Let me finish. Well, because I, I'll tell you why. You always do this because well, yes, you know I do. I will, and I will continue. It's Whenever I see brother Razi... I'm getting to his challenge. Let me speak, brother. Brother Razi, but when, you, when, you, when you speak like this, it's not appropriate. Like I said, raise the standard of your discussion. Speak to the points. That's probably better than making claims about other people not doing this or not doing that. You show, demonstrate. That's a better way of doing it. So I'll start your time now whenever you want to start. Yes. So I'll, can you share my screen? Your screen has disappeared. Oh, here we go. Okay. The promise Messiah Sam says, you say that I have as if insulted Hazrat Masih to some extent by using an abusive word with reference to him. This is a misunderstanding of yours. I believe Hazrat Masih to be a true prophet, a chosen one and beloved servant of God. What I said in retaliation was in keeping with your own faith. Hence, it is you, not me, who stand accused of the allegation that you level at me. Then he says, we, when we are deeply hurt and un, uh, these Christians raise unjustified attacks on Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then as warning, we retaliate in kind on basis of their own books. They ought to point out in my writings anything which I've written as a retaliatory response, and it is not found in the Gospels. He says, we believe Isa Alaihi was an obedient servant of Musa Alaihi and a chosen one of Allah who had exalted status, and he believed in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, everywhere in my writings, this is really important, everywhere in my writing, I referring to Christ have meant the superstitious Jesus of Christians and the humble servant of God, Isa ibn Maryam, who was a prophet of God and who has mentioned the Holy Quran is certainly never intended in my harsh comments. So the comments you brothers are all were raised were harsh comments, so Isa Lassam is not mentioned. So Hazrat Ahmad Lassam did not believe in th these things regarding Hazrat Isa Lassam of the Quran. As for Imtiaz's challenge, he should present the references and I will revisit them and look at them. But he didn't answer my question yet. And I've read all those references, by the way, but he's making big claims like always, and he never brings anything to the table. I ask you, what is your fatwa on someone who says Isa Lassam failed? And what is your fatwa on someone who said Isa Lassam made water into wine? I want these two answers right now and present the reference where Hazrat Ahmed Lassam said that Hazrat Isa Lassam was an alcoholic and that he himself believed in it. You have to show that reference now. Okay, just before we go on, uh, we're not here to give fatwas. Okay, so let's stop asking each other for fatwas. Yeah, all right, because we're not we're not in the we're not the scholars of that field to be able to give you fatwas. Fatwa last uh, time, Rezi, Rezi, just calm down. Yeah. So when someone's speaking and they're giving a thing that to make fatwas is actually to make a claim about someone and they're, the reasons that they're doing it. So we're having a discussion. You can you can by all means say what do you think about somebody who says something. That's a, a better way of putting the question rather than making fatwas. So brother Imtiaz, please uh, uh, continue. So the claim. So brother Imtiaz, uh, uh, what Razi is saying is that um, the references you are all all responses. And because Ghulam Raza Ahmed said anywhere you read this in his writings, these are responses, and he has great respect for Islam. Your your thoughts, please. You're muted, brother. So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Point number one. Uh, Razi is quoting some of the texts from Mirza Ghulam. Alhamdulillah, in my file, I have I have actual better text than that in which he is praising Isa alayhi salam. Now, basically, this is the whole issue. When when Mirza Ghulam was cornered on anything, he would bring something that can defend him. Now, I give I, I give people a simple analogy. If a criminal is in the court of law and they say that, have you done this? He would say, no, I didn't. So the case is not decided on the denial of the criminal. No. After that, the evidence is presented. If evidence proves the otherwise, then the case is decided on the basis of evidence, not on the denial of the criminal. So yes, Mirza is a criminal here and his denial is not going to decide the case. You and secondly, don't put the uh, don't, don't 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 go the reverse logic. You first accept my challenge. You said, okay, 
I accept that if Mirza Ghulam believed in this and Muhammad Imtiaz can prove this, I will leave Ahmadiyya. First, you accept my challenge. After that, I will present the evidence and then let the people decide if my evidence is backing up my claim or not. Let the people decide. Okay, next. You are saying that how can, you know, Mirza Ghulam is praising him. That How can he say all of that? This is exactly the problem in the writing of Mirza Ghulam. They are full of contradictions. He says one thing in one place and opposite in the other. He says that hum ke muddi pe he says, I curse upon the claimant of the prophethood. He says, Hamara dawaik hum nabi hai. We claim that I'm a prophet. So it is the case with everything with Mirza. So don't play a game, Razi. Accept the challenge. Let's begin the discussion. Okay. Could I could I make a request here? Uh, sorry, brother. Um, so I think that the information that you have, Brother Intiaz, I think it's very good for everyone to hear. And there are lots of people who would probably benefit from this. Now, a, a way of preventing what Brother Razi can do is just continue to not accept your challenge. So I think whether or not Brother Razi accepts the challenge or not, I think he's, here, he's neither here nor there. Uh, in in the face of this, let's present the information so our, uh, our brothers and sisters in the Ahmadi community are sincere, who understand that actually the information is important, and they have to reconcile this information with what they believe about Ghulam Reza Ahmed and what they believe about Isa alayhi salam and respect for the prophets, they can benefit from this. Also, we, you know, we, minutes, we, we, we hope that I will give you your two minutes in a second when I've uh, finished speaking. So the, so even if Brother Razi you know, doesn't want to step forward into this, no problem. But I think we should present the information for the for the community at large. What are your thoughts, Brother Imtiaz? Uh, Imran Bhai, I totally agree. With, and now Imran Bhai, if you remember, what we said in the beginning of the stream that we are breaking the stream, this team, in two parts. Yes. One is the overall character assassination done by Mirza Ghulam to Isa alayhi salam, and then two specific allegations of alcohol and being with the prostitute. So now, yes. obviously, uh, I, I, I totally agree with what Ban Bai said that obviously he, he doesn't have the courage to accept my challenge, but people want to be educated, no doubt about that. But Imran, how about this one? We have already presented very serious charges. He is saying Isa salam was using abusive language. He is saying that his prophecies were failed prophecies. He is saying that his miracles were the tricks and magic and deception. He is saying that he failed in his mission. He is saying that he has a mental issue. And I this is not the that. Bible. And this is not, not the Bible. Isa, 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 because, Isa, yeah. Because, no, yeah, yeah. The, even the New Testament doesn't call his miracles tricks and fabrications. Yeah. So yeah. this this is where these guys get stuck. Because yeah. the New Testament attributes miracles to Isa alayhi salam. Quran attributes miracles to Isa alayhi salam. Only the Qadianis have this view that those were tricks. Those were false uh, illusions, basically. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so let's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically, Imran, by what I'm trying to say is your suggestion is uh, very reasonable. But if we go on that one now, then what we have presented in the first one hour, they will be off the hook from all of that. So I, I would say, I would say, because these are also very serious allegations and attacks Mirza did on who? On Isa alayhi salam. How so much time is he with, going to get? I have so to so still respond. So let's deal with, Iran by let's deal with those which, which we have uh, done today. And inshallah, as we did, said already, we want things to be, inshallah, in a systematic way. Next team will be only on these two allegations. Absolutely. So the whole point of the whole point of this is actually to, rather than accepting or not accepting a challenge, deal with the references put forward to you already about the seven categories. This is the whole point of the topic. Now, what you need to do is to look at some of the references presented and demonstrate why you think they're false, and then you can go forward from there. Okay. So Adnan Rashid just made a statement and I'm going to skip everything else and I'm just going to focus on that statement. He said that this point regarding the miracles is not from the Bible. So he is mocking Hazrat Isa So Imran Saib, if you can share my screen now, I request Adnan to read this and translate it. And he... Uh, Brother Razi, one second. No one will be reading. All read it and translate so it. You, that's right. It's your time. Yeah. 
It's yeah. your time. So Please you read a new transfer. Let me show your screen first. Okay. Yeah. So Adnan just claimed, and this is really important for the viewers to hear. He said the miracle point cannot be from the Old and New Testament because the New Testament shows that Isa Lassam performed miracles. Here's his favorite scholar saying the same thing as Hazrat Ahmed al that the elders went to the extent of saying that if you come off of the cross, we will believe you. Even then he gave no answer. Then he ends his statement by saying, for Itmami Hujjah, he should have at least shown one miracle. So Adnan Rashid, you have to publicly apologize for lying against the scholars like Rahmatullah Kirani. Second thing, Imtiaz is making big challenges. How about the three references last time that you also claimed you can prove and when you were brought to the challenge, you ran away like always. You mentioned two allegations. Sorry, Why second, are you saying, let me I'm finish, running, brother. If you cut me off again, I'm going to leave them. It's up to you entirely. Okay. What I'm asking you, you to do, again, what I'm, I'm Brazil, it's up to you entirely. This Brazil, is unfortunate. Brazil, You're not letting the person you finish because Brazil, whenever Imtiaz gets caught, you get I'm really done. I'm for you because you're talking over me. What's very important is that you don't do this sort of interaction. Do you understand? Don't, stop calling people liars and stop. Make your point that you're going to make without this interaction raise the standard of your conversation please okay i request you have the same standards for your own speakers when they call please, their messiah a criminal when they mock him you please speak continue. as if nothing's happening when we Razi, say something, it offends you Razi, be just brother just Allah be, question just be calm and Razi, be calm be calm and right, just have so let me let me finish my last point so Hazrat Ahmed Al-Assam always praised Hazrat Isa al said he is sinless and one of the chosen ones of Allah and he followed the Torah which forbids alcohol. So according to the writings of Hazrat Ahmed al which are not Ilzami, Isa al was not an alcoholic and he did not have prostitute friends. Not only this, regarding the uh, comment about prophethood that Imtiaz made, he doesn't understand the books of the Messiah. He's specifically discussing the term Nabua as per how the ulama understood it, which was Ilzami Jabab. Now I repeat my question. What is your verdict on someone who says Isa Lassam failed in his mission and they actually believe it? And what is your verdict on someone who says Isa Lassam turned water into wine? You can't answer these questions. Right? And these are books you brothers have not read yet. Alhamdulillah. And we have the references and we have countless of references. So we request you to answer these two questions and I'll answer in my next turn the other questions. And please don't move it to the next stream. We want the references today. I know you're quoting Dafyul Balain Kishti and we have those Thank references. Thank you very much. So uh, we have a specific setup, uh, a specific schedule. And so the, the topics we're discussing this stream, we've laid out for you. Engage with those. You'll have a whole stream to discuss those. Uh, there's no need to get agitated about them. We will discuss them. In fact, we've allocated a specific stream for that. So focus on what we're talking about today. Brother MTS, please continue. So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Imran Bai said something uh, very profound at the end that, uh, inshallah, we have a very systematic, inshallah, uh, organization of presenting the content. And if you can see it, Razi, in your turn, that what we have presented today, you agree that yes, according to all of this, Mirza Ghulam did disrespect Isa a.s. If you concede to that, inshallah, we are going to move to the alcohol and prostitute thing today. Inshallah, no problem. But you have to concede this. We cannot let you play this trick that we have presented 20 pages of references you want to throw all of that out of the window and no, it's not going to happen, Razi. Yes, if you acknowledge that, yes, in these, what we presented today, yes, Mirza Ghulam did disrespect and then inshallah we can move on. Now, you are trying to give impression, Razi, and let me ask you a direct question. If I prove now, in my turn, Mirza Ghulam believed that the miracle, that number one, he said that the fact of the matter, haq baat ye hai, fact of the matter is, Isa Islam did not perform any miracle. That's the fact of the matter. And then his second position is, that even if he did perform, it is nothing but trickery and deception. And those things are hateful before Mirza. He considers them makru and kabul nafrat. All of this, look, look, look at my claim, Razi. All of this, this Mirza Ghulam said about Isa al-Islam of the Islam. This is my claim. Okay, let's start discussing that. Okay, and what I have said, please respond to that. Don't go here or there. Thank and you. And by the way, this is against the Bible and the Quran. 
all of these claims are against the Bible and the Quran. Okay, uh, the Bible says he committed miracles, and so does the Quran. So Mirza is basically going against both. So this doesn't work as Ilzami Jawab. It doesn't even work as a retaliatory answer or response. So respond to those points very clearly, specifically, Rosie, please, to make this discussion fruitful. So uh, go for it, Yeah. Adnambi, unfortunately, it seems that you didn't hear my answer last time. I specifically called you for saying the same point about the Bible, that according to the Bible, you cannot see Isa unless I'm sure no miracles. If you can show my screen, Imran said, it, it's still not coming for me. Adnan Bey, I showed you your own books, brother. This is not my book. And so you, you denounced this book? You denounced this book today? You, you're misquoting them. You denounced we're this not, book today, brother. We're not going to indulge in these books. We have. Why are you them. running from this book, brother? No, I'm not. Let me explain. You said, you are, you you are said that you cannot you say this according to the Bible. Geran, we said dead. We have showed And you have them. birthday balloons behind you. I don't know what you're celebrating. What's I okay. think every time that there's a, a fallacy comes up for me, Rosie, the balloons come out. Okay, the, okay. The, I thought the point, every time he rejects sorry, all sorry, the people, Rosie, the point here the, is, or I'm he's sorry, celebrating Mawlid or something. <laughs> Calm down, brother. Okay, so so my my point is, Rosie, that we have already. Please shown... stop my time, Imran said. Yeah, I'll stop your time, no problem. We have already shown twice that you have misquoted Kiranavi. Stop wasting our time on Kiranavi. Kiranavi is not our prophet. Kiranavi, even if we get rid of, even, even if we lose Kiranavi, it makes no difference to us. We're talking about Mirza. Mirza denied miracles of Isa, salam, which goes against the Bible and the Quran. The Quran claims miracles. The Bible, the New Testament claims miracles that he fed 5,000 people. Isa, salam, brought a dead person to life. He was touching people and healing them, literally healing them by touching them. These are miracles documented in the New Testament. And there are miracles documented in the Quran, making birds out of clay and giving life, blowing life into them, bi'idhnillah, bringing someone back to life, bi'idhnillah. Okay. So these things are there in the New Testament in the Quran. Mirza went against both of them. Defend Mirza, save Mirza, not Kiranavi. Kiran okay, so Kiranavi I... doesn't need your saving. Do I get to... extra time now Can, because he so cut me off uh, and mentioned the extra so Let me time. explain to you what I'm going to do, uh, Razi. So uh, did Ghulam Raza Ahmed say that Isa Islam did not do any miracles and if they were, there were tricks and deception and they were hateful? This was the references provided by Brother um, MTRs and Brother Adnan clarified that this is not only anti-Quran, but it's also anti-Bible as well. So please clarify these points. Uh, I will answer these. Because these are the references provided from Ghulam Raza Ahmed's writing. We would like to know what your thoughts yeah, are on this. So I'll start your time. That. Yeah. So first, the Adnan, again, you repeated yourself that you cannot say this from the Bible. But I showed you that Rahmatullah Kirani Sahib is attacking Christians by saying your Bible says, Isa Lassam showed no sign because the Bible says, show us a sign. And Isa Lassam said, I will show no sign except the sign of Jonah. So this was an answer many of the Muslim scholars gave to the Christians. But according to you, they all lied against the Bible, unfortunately. Then you said the point that he is not a prophet. This is the point we want to hold you to, except he was wrong. Then we will move on. Till you don't accept he was wrong, we cannot move forward. Then Sanaullah Amritsar, he said in uh, his uh, Risala Amritsar, he says that according to the Injil, Isa didn't even respect his own mother and he would swear at her. He's right. So, He's right. Okay, so you right. said, let me finish. You said last time that even in Ilzami Jabab, you cannot speak in this way. Brother, are you, you are said you, this. Okay, let me finish. I have a minute left. I have a minute left. Let me finish. Right. Let me finish. Now, I want Adnan Bay, if there is someone who says Isa Lassam failed in his mission, can that person be a Muslim? Number one, what if someone says his first miracle was turning water into wine? Can that person be a Muslim? Yes or no? Thirdly, if someone believes the Hazrat Isa salam, had a nikah, uh, Hazrat uh, Maryam salam, had a nikah with Yusuf and Najjar after the miraculous birth of uh, uh, Isa salam, can he be a Muslim? These are three questions. Last point I want to mention is that I already explained from the books of the Promised Messiah that he believed Isa Lassam was a truthful prophet of Allah, chosen one of God, sinless, and there were only a few of those like him. Now, Imtiaz is hiding the two references. I wonder why Imran said 
rightfully that bring those references. Imtiaz, are they from Dafiul Bala and Kishtenu? If not, bring them forth. We are waiting. Show the Ahmadis, show the Muslims that Hazrat Ahmad Asim did believe these things. Yes, over to Imtiaz Bhai. So, uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, I want the viewers to follow the discussion as well because a trick is being played here. The trick is whenever Mirza is on the hook, so Ahmadiyya clerics, they want to bring some names, a book, or something. Why? They want Mirza Ghulam to be off the hook. It is not going to happen today. Inshallah, discussion will be what Mirza Ghulam has said. Once we, are, once we have dealt with that, then we can deal with other people as well. No problem. And then I want people to not forget the fact that Razi has no courage to accept my challenge. And I am saying again, Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed me to have conclusive references. And Razi, they are not from the two books you mentioned. Let me say it on public. Now, Allah has blessed me with the references which are conclusive, wallahi conclusive evidence. The Mirza Ghulam believed that Isa salam was alcoholic and he has he, he used to have prostitutes around him and he, he was okay with that. He was okay with that. Now, next point, he's saying that we are asking Razi repeatedly because the point under discussion is the mu'jizat. Razi, Mirza Ghulam believed either Isa alayhi salam of the Islam did not perform any miracle or the miracles attributed to him, they are nothing more than trickery and deception. This is the belief of Mirza Ghulam saying again and again. Next point is, he said that what is your fatwa on such and such? Razi, let me solve the problem forever, this fatwa thing, okay? If you want to give us fatwa, we are going to give fatwa together. You will pronounce kufr on Mirza Ghulam and will pronounce kufr on those ulama who have, if they have said this. It will happen simultaneously today on public. Okay. Let me let me get my time now. And show. Wait, pronounce kufr. Razi. Ji bhai. Ji bhai. Ready to pronounce kufr on those people, including Mirza, including Mirza and those ulama, if they did say anything like this. Ready to pronounce kufr on those people who deliberately insulted Isa alayhi salam, who believed, who believed that he was an alcoholic and had the services of prostitutes. Ready to pronounce kufr? Ready? Adnabi, unfortunately, I don't want to join your group by declaring the ulama kufar. No, 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 Instead, no, no, I'll understand no, their no, no, works. No, no, let no, me get my two minutes, in, uh, Adnabi. No, 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 we're not. Adnabi, no, no. just I want tell make, out, let me get I, my two minutes. I want to make it conclusive. You played this game. And now we're playing your game. We're playing your game. And, you know, as they say, you're playing with the big boys now. Let's deal with it. Okay? Ready to pronounce kufr on Mirza and those so-called ulama who actually believed that Isa a.s. was an alcoholic or drinker of wine uh, as a habit and uh, used services of prostitutes. Ready to pronounce kufr? Ready? One, two, three. Ready? Okay, Ready? can I get my two minutes now? Uh, no, you can. You can. But you played this game. Yes, you yes. Have, you have call it a game. I call it Ready? understanding the works. Give me my two minutes now, Adnan. Bay. How yes. much do you want to speak, brother? You kept poking me and Imtiaz. Kufar, pronounce Kufar, pronounce Kufar, pronounce Kufar. What's your fatwa? What's your fatwa? We are giving, we're ready for the fatwa now. We okay. are now, okay. we're, we're going to give a blanket Perfect. fatwa. Perfect, perfect. So are let me get my two minutes. Wait, wait. Are I'll you... answer in my two minutes, brother. But no. you understand what's happened here, Razi, brother? I because understand what's happened, perfectly what's, what's happened. happened. Is, Just what's give happened me my is, two minutes and we'll see what happened too. What's happening is because you're going down this route of fatwas and calling kufar, then against scholars who may you, you're presenting as having said this, the cor corollary of that, the thing that follows with that, this means that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is also under the same... Category. I'll answer in my now, turn. Now, what you have to do is then you have to be consistent yeah, with that. I will be. Don't worry, Imran. Consistent. You're new to this. Don't but, worry. Uh, please, uh, one second, brother Razi. Uh, sorry, this is unacceptable behavior, man. What? Why are you saying? Why are you speaking to me like this? Why are you getting so offended, I, brother? I, You're I, new I, to I, Islam. I, I'm not. I'm not new to Islam, Ahmadi. How many books have I? I 
How many books? I am muting you because you're talking nah. over me. Razi, I am muting you because you're talking over me. You need to have respect. You need to talk in a decent way. Okay, you don't know anything about any individual at all. The, the, the basic decency of discussion is you must assume that the person you're talking to may know something that you don't know. If I do that with you. You should do that with everyone else. It's a basic respect. And when you when you dismiss people, whoever that may be, I saw you do this with Brother Mansoor in one of the streams as well. I was very disappointed with your behavior in that. And I expect better from you because you are an educated individual and you should be you should rise raise yourself to that level. Okay. Please don't speak to anyone like that again. Please. Do you yeah. give the same advice? Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you to start your time and take your yeah. two minutes. Okay, please. I'll yeah. take yeah. my two minutes. So, so give, before Adnambi, he's giving me two minutes, please. Yeah, give the fatwa me. right now. Yeah. Otherwise, so, Brother become... Imran, you just gave me some good advice. This, this fatwa, please, Brother this, Adnan, please calm fatwa, down. Look at this. This fatwa is going to do this to you now. We'll see. We'll see who it does that to. Okay, this we'll fatwa, see. This we will see in a few minutes. We will see in a few minutes. Don't worry. So, Please Brother Imran, Jazakumullah for that advice that in a discussion you should always assume the best that the other person has knowledge. But why don't you give this advice to Muhammad Imtiaz when he keeps claiming that he's read all of these references, we've never read them, we've never seen them. When Adnan in the opening statement said, Ahmadis have not even read these things, the clerics have not even read these things. When it's dumb, you don't do justice, Brother Imran. I request you to follow the Quran and do not say that which you don't do yourself, number one. Number two, the fatwa Adnan Bay. On Hazrat Ahmed Al-Assam, you cannot put it on him because he has already explained his books from his own writings. Something your ulama didn't do. And I have the fatwa ready and this fatwa will end everything. I don't want to share it yet. First, I want the fatwa from Mr. Adnan Rashid, the mufti azam What is your fatwa on someone who Razi, says that Isa Al-Assam failed in his mission? Sorry, Brother Razi, I really... I'm leaving I don't then, I'm leaving then. As you can leave, but what you're doing, you, you are free exactly. to leave. Well, the, it's, the, the, the truth I'm is... I'm pausing you because you're to talking over... Your, your, the way that you discuss things, by throwing these things out, a lot of emotionality, unnecessary, a lot of uh, gaslighting, unnecessary, even me telling me to follow the Quran. I mean, this is... Uh, why are you having this discussion? Brother, why don't you give them this advice? Why, why are you, you not having a discussion? That like, we haven't you have, read the books. Why are you having a discussion why don't you like tell why don't you Razi, stop unmuting yourself? Please stop unmuting yourself because we're having a conversation. It's really important because you're not engaging within the discussions. And none of the none of the people who are from the Ahmadiyya community who have been presented with these references by brother MTRs are getting any sort of information from you to refute this. It'll be on our this stream. Is, this is this is really important. Answer? This is really important for you. An opportunity you should view it as to put your side of the story across. And this is how it should come across. Now, what's yeah. coming across is just argumentation and argumentative attitudes. And this is not really what we want, brother. Okay. So, so first, what, brother what, you can do, what you can do is rather than judging individuals' morality on the show, on the stream, actually deal with the questions at hand. Okay. So, brother, uh, brother Adnan, if you want to just uh, summarize your question again. I have again, a minute brother, left, brother. I was speaking. You have a minute left? I'll yes. let you carry on. Okay, so with regards to the allegations, we have our streams, we answer these, we've answered them hundreds of times. So we will do that in our stream. Right now, the references I presented, I presented my case that Hazrat Ahmed al claimed to be the Latter-day Messiah. He said, I'm in the likeness of Isa al So of course, he believed Isa al was pure. In fact, he said, Allah revealed to me that I am made of the same fitra of Isa al So this is a weak allegation. Hazrat Ahmed al said, anywhere you find harsh language in my books, that is all Ilzami Jawab. Now, Muhammad Imtiaz last week, for example, he lied about the go example, the Bakra. He said, Hazrat Ahmed Asim, use this for Ilzami Jawab. Uh, use this to prove the virgin breath. We went back, it was about Shakul Kamar. So he lied about that too. And he said he would delete his channel if any of that is proven. So in his turn, he has to prove to us that that was about the virgin birth. So I await that answer. Okay, so you've gone back to the references that are not to do with today's stream. Yeah, I think I, we are we are killing time now. We're killing time, brother. Yeah. Dad, come to you, inshallah. Yes, go ahead, please. Go okay. ahead. Just start the timer first, please. Yeah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah, the kufr game is finished forever on the live stream, and we are saying again, if Razi has the courage, Razi, 
you simply say in your turn that if anyone believes that the miracles of of Isa alayhi salam were nothing but trickery and deception, he is a kafir. Just say this much. You don't even need to mention the name of Mirza Ghulam. Just mention this much that anyone who believes that the miracles of Isa alayhi salam were nothing but trickery and deception, he is a kafir. Just say this much if you have the courage. Because in you know you in your heart that who said this. Now, next point is he said that why Imtaz is saying that he knows more than that. Brother, I have backed up my claim with evidence, and I am saying it again. We can finish this stream here, and right now we can start the stream in which I will present conclusive evidence, challenge to all Ahmadiyya, not in my bed in my bedroom, on the public platform. Uksim Billah. Mirza Ghulam believed the Isa al-Islam of the Islam was alcoholic and he used to be with the prostitutes. Mirza Ghulam believed this. Why don't you accept my challenge? Point number three. He said, I will respond in my stream. You know, when two, when two people are in the ring and if you cannot throw an intellectual punch in the ring, they say in our language, then you better throw on your own face. If you have the courage to give us an intellectual punch, do it now. No Ahmadi can respond today. I am throwing a complete open challenge. Mirza Ghulam said all of that about Isa alayhi salam. Last point. He said that anywhere, we, this is what we say, Mirza Ghulam was a liar. He would disrespect and then he would refuse to admit that. Okay, time's up. My turn. Look, this is, uh, yeah, just when you start my time. This is quite unfortunate. You know, they made big claims. December 2, we will discuss Quran and Hadith, Wafat Masih, we will end it forever. December 2, and the last stream, he lied three times. Obviously, maybe trying to be like Ibrahim al according to their own Akida. But when we came to challenge those three claims, oh no, we changed the topic. Today, 30 new references. I challenged some of the claims and now they're going off topic. I asked for the fatwa of someone who says Isa alayhi salam field. They can't give the fatwa because they know that their ulama actually believed Isa alayhi salam field and was a failure, which is why he has to come back. Number one. Number two, if he has these references and I say, Wallahi, uksim billah, Hazrat Ahmad alayhi salam loved Isa alayhi salam. He believed he was a truthful prophet of Allah, chosen one of Allah, one of the greatest prophets of Allah. Okay, nurtured by Allah the Almighty, sinless. <coughs> These statements make it clear cut that Hazrat Ahmad Lassam did not believe what Imtiaz is lying, just like he lied last stream. And when he, we came to challenge him on those three references, oh no, 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 I don't want to discuss. It's a new stream. And now he's saying, oh no, 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 next stream we will discuss the other three. So all the lies said today can't be discussed. What is this game, brother? I will leave now, Imtiaz. You present those references. We will be back once you present your case. Open challenge. Present those references. Don't wait till next week. You mentioned the example of the ring. Brother, I challenge you and all of your ulama. Discuss a guide with us. Adnan Rashid did it in the mosque. His own scholars said he weren't, wasn't prepared. They were ashamed of him. I wasn't. I think he was really respectful, mashallah. He gave us great company. His own sheikh said Adnan wasn't even prepared. My sheikh, so this is the reality. Sheikh. Ibn Hazm, the Dawa wise sheikh. He was your sheikh on Dawa wise. You disown him too. Okay, brother. You disown Rizzi. him okay, too. Okay, now? Thank you very much. Unfortunately, Adnan, bhai. Just, just give me, just give me one I, second. So, I, what? I only met him once in my life. He's not my sheikh. So, what are you talking about? So, this is, uh, this is and really just been a. Stream. I met him after that stream in Speaker's Corner. I've never so met what, him, that person before. So, this is the thing. What we've just had is a two-minute tantrum. Uh, nothing that dealing with any of the points. We've we no one is running from any references. We've said we'll do a whole stream set up to specifically discuss the references from last time that you when feel are you important. Right now? We've and what we've said to today's stream is very specific. We've we've mentioned the title. Nothing was changed. The topic was laid out in the first hour of the of the stream. We had seven categories of the types of. Uh, statements that Graham Azar Ahmed made against Isa alayhi salam that cannot be cali uh, qualified as retaliatory responses or uh, from the, that go against not only the Quran but go against the Bible as well. And rather than dealing with them, 
or even raising one of them to show that they the statement is wrong or how it's being misunderstood what you've done is you bring you you claim scholars have said the same thing and then you claim that you ask for a fatwa against them it was demonstrated to you that the what the, the, the one of the references that you put up you had completely misrepresented it it was actually a very respectful response to the the, the, the what the uh, about, about what the pharisees say about isa and uh, and it was a very respectful about isa throughout that and all you're doing now is really just uh, you know th going uh, how, rehashing old things you don't do a guide you don't do this the the topic of the stream is very clear the references placed at, have been put in your in the domain is very clear and you're not dealing with them so if you want to leave like this feel free to leave no problem at all but i don't think it's making any headway and it's not helping the the ahmadiyya community who are watching this because they're not seeing a response to all of the references raised and we only want you to respond to the first section which is the harsh language now brother mtrs please your thoughts Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inshallah, uh, people have seen already that nobody has the courage, no matter how much mental gymnastics some is someone is capable to play, nobody can have Mirza Ghulam off the hook today. He said what is presented in the first part of the stream, all of that is said about Isa alayhi salam. And people have seen, they haven't even been able to discuss with us the first thing from out of seven categories. So people should notice this thing. Second point, he says that he is again saying the same thing, the three references. We have dealt with that already, the three references. And then he says that, uh, yeah, I want people to don't ignore this thing. I did not say to Razi that give fatwa on Mirza. No, I said that simply give this fatwa today. That if anyone believes that either either Isa al Islam did not perform any miracle, or if or if he did, they were nothing but trickery and deception. I am not saying about Mirza generically. Why are you scared of saying this? That if somebody believes this, he's a kafir. Simply say this much. Razi, in your heart, you know this. The Mirza has said this. Okay, and he believes this. And next point is. He said, Akaid, Akaid. Hello, we have discussed Akaid. Finality of prophethood was your Akida. That was discussed. And we already have done two streams on the death of Isa alayhi salam. Okay? What have you done in that? So think about that as well. And lastly, I would say, this is my last point, that people should not ignore this thing. That sitting on the own streams and deceiving people is easy. But saying things in the presence of Adnan Rashid is not easy. And people should not ignore this. Jazakumullah. So you can start my time. Uh, are First, you not leaving? Pardon? I thought you were going to leave. You've I'll had take enough. two more minutes. Okay, no problem. Okay. So you're going to hopefully deal with some of the points that were raised in the stream. Yeah. yeah. Firstly, Imtiaz just claimed that he discussed death of Isa lesson with us. But even in that stream, you lied. You said that the substitution theory is from the Tabi'in who learned from the Sahaba, who learned from Nabi Sism. When we caught you, you... Right, I'm, I'm going to pause you. This is unacceptable, Imran. This is... Why are you doing this? Let me finish. You're on mute. No... You're being unreasonable. What you're doing is you're making you're take you're talking about spats. You're talking about little playground skirmishes. You're talking about kids pushing each other over. The the pure prophet who you believe in, you believe Glamour Ahmed was a prophet. Isa returned. However, you want to believe in him, has made statements that have been presented that clearly speak against Isa Ali Salam. Or oh, they don't about, none it, do. Okay, against his character, against his ability to do miracles, against his understanding, against his ikhlaq, against the way he was interacting with women in his presence, boasting to teachers who were, who were kicking him out. Now, these are references that are presented. These are references that are presented. I'm really surprised. You know, when, you, when there's a debate, what you do is you look for the thing that has, does the most damage. And you deal with that thing first. So if someone's talking and they attack Quran, you deal with that thing first. Why? Because that's fundamental. You don't start picking at the leaves of the tree because it will not affect the tree. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's statements are being directly challenged by the brothers today. You, I, I understand you do not agree 
we want to understand on what basis you disagree. Okay. Now, what you haven't done is present anything to demonstrate that. Instead, you're talking about you did this, so and so did that. Your scholar, your uh, you know brother, uh, brother Nan, he met someone after having a conversation. That person becomes his scholar, and you start. You're going to give a fatwa. I mean, really, I'm surprised. Okay, can I get my? And now my own time's up. So what I'm going to do? It was what supposed to, do, to be my time. You I know, I know, yeah. but I was, but, but I'm telling, I'm, I don't want you to do this thing, uh, Brother Razi. Okay, you're okay. an intelligent guy. Okay, I, I, I respect that you have a lot of information that you've gathered and, and knowledge over the years. Deal with the points that were raised. Okay, I will deal really with just deal, deal, the references that are raised because the people who are watching you from the Ahmadi community they want to understand what you mean, how these yeah, references yeah. are being misrepresented by the okay. brothers. This okay, is, this so is what you're firstly, so brother. I'm going to start yeah, it firstly, now. Brother Imran, I mentioned the substitution thing because he mentioned it. Otherwise, I would not have went to that topic. Just for your information, he ended his statement on that. Now, the problem, Brother Imran, is I've already answered the question. The Hazrat Ahmed Al-Assam believed Isa al was sinless. He followed the Torah. Now, you tell me, according to the Torah, can you be an alcoholic? Can you have prostitute women friends? Of course not. So he al made it clear that anywhere where you find such harsh statements, it is only according to the biblical statements. Now, Adnan claimed that no, it cannot be biblical because according to the Bible, Isa showed miracles. So it's wrong to say that the Bible shows that he didn't do miracles. I showed him his own books. Rahmatullah Kiranbi said, said according to the Bible, Isa showed no miracles and whatnot. And there's other references as well. So the point is, brother Iman, you have to understand that to understand a writer, you have to read his writings in context. I have 10 references in front of me where he Alasam says he never mocked Isa Alasam. All those writings are showing the biblical Isa. And this was done by all scholars. It was done by Shah Muhaddis Delvi. It was done by Ibn Taymiyyah and Al Jawab al Sahih, it's done by many of the scholars. So, if you say this is wrong, which Adnan Rashid already accepts that this is unacceptable, it's disrespectful to Ambiya, no one can do it. All of these scholars are thrown under the bus and we're with them. Alhamdulillah. We say they weren't wrong. For the love of Rasulullah, they showed that according to the Bible, your Messiah, Masihukum, is nothing. But the Quranic Messiah, Hazrat Ahmed says, he was a truthful prophet. He was free of sin. He was one of the greatest messengers under the shade of Allah the Almighty. This is our view. Alhamdulillah, Ahmadi Muslims love Hazrat Isa al And we are bringing him back to his status while you brothers raise him up to the skies with his body and believe he's alive and made creation like Allah, revived the dead physically. Even the Quran says this is not possible. So we bring him back to his real status. You make him a god. Okay, thank you very much for your time. So, uh, really, the uh, the thing that I got from this is that these are about the Bible, brother uh, Imtiaz. These are not statements about uh, Isa Islam, but about the Jesus of the Bible. Your thoughts, please. So, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Imran, by look, I am saying repeatedly, repeatedly, I'm saying that Mirza Ghulam believed that Isa alayhi salam, which we Muslim believe, he either did not perform any miracle or his miracles were trickery and deception. And all I'm saying to Razi, that simply say that if somebody believes this, he's a kafir. So this is enough of a proof that he knows in his heart that Mirza believes and said this about Isa alayhi salam. I am repeatedly saying this, but he has no courage. So just say in the next turn. Okay, next point. I want people to please, for the last time, understand this point very carefully. Be it Rahmatullah Kairanami, be it Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimahullah, be it any of our scholars. Yes, they quoted from the Bible, but listen, Razi, and listen, all the viewers. None of them believed that Isa alayhi salam had an abusive language. None of them believed that he did not perform any miracle. None of them believed that his miracle was trick and deception. When they are doing, they are actually doing the academic Ilzami Jawab. When Mirza is quoting, Mirza is slandering and attacking Isa of the Quran. And the proof is very simple. In the next turn, just make this statement that if somebody believes, if somebody believes that Isa salam did not perform any miracle or miracles were trickery or deception, he's a kafir. Make the statement. And last point is, he says, I have 10 references. This is he always does at the end. You have to provide, produce those 10 when we're discussing with us. You have no courage, Razi. 
you know this Mirza Ghulam has said all of that about Isa alayhi salam. And that's why now I have no mercy for you. Because it has been established against you that you are denying fact. You are denying the facts. And before we start, I want to quickly add something. That we believe anyone who claims that Prophet Isa did not commit miracles, or if he did commit miracles, those miracles were trickery, or they were tricks. Such a person is a kafir, is a disbeliever, by default, according to the Quran and the Sunnah. If anyone believes that Isa alayhi salam was a drunkard, okay, believe, and anyone believes that he had illicit relationships, and this is not Ilzami Jawab, by the way, this is someone who is stating their belief, calling it truth, calling it truth. Anyone who does that is a disbeliever, is a kafir, does not believe in Allah and his messengers, does not believe in the Quran, does not believe in Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we cannot be more clear than this. You don't have the guts. You don't have the guts to say this because you know Mirza was a kafir. You know deep inside Mirza, Mirza was By a kafir. Allah he was truthful. Not Wallahi, okay. he was true. So your time's up. Adnan. Okay, very, then, then, then have the courage. Okay. Have the okay. courage. Let okay. me get my two minutes. Okay. I, I'm going to answer everything okay. you said. Have the courage, yeah. Drazi, to repeat after me. Okay. Anyone, go ahead. Brother, it's my turn. I'll speak okay. how I want. You repeat okay. after me. Anyone who says... Just one second, guys, because it's getting a little bit out of hand. So, um, Brother Razi, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, please commence your two minutes. So the first thing Adnan just said right now, he said that anyone who says Isa Lassam performed trickery in his miracles, he is a kafir. So let me ask him a question. Adnan, if someone says the birds Hazrat Isa Lassam made were made and they would only be seen as flying birds as the people saw them and as they it crossed their eyes, they would fall down. Is that person a kafir? This is not... Trick. Okay, I'll repeat my my my. Statement. You answer the question. I asked okay. you a simple question. You finish your turn. Okay, so now you took thirty seconds and didn't answer, anyways. But you're 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 asking someone a yeah. question in your time. He and should then answer. He should answer. No, no. Okay, he's, okay. It's not his, he doesn't it's have not to answer. His, Let me finish. It, Let me it's finish. not one okay. second, Rosie. It's not his turn to answer, and you're and you're stopping your time, and then you're complaining when your time is used in in the thing that you initiated. Okay, I won't Please ask carry you on questions. With your time. I've learned that he can't answer. So anyways, the point I was making is that Hazrat Ahmed al throughout his books has made it clear that he believes Isa al was a truthful prophet, free of all sin, chosen one of God, the sinless man, one of the greatest anbiya to be sent to the world. Now, as for miracles, we do not believe in the way you people have made Isa al a God. We accept that. I accept that. Conclusively, I do not believe that he physically revived the dead because the same words are used in the Quran in chapter 7 about Nabi Sassim that he gives you life when he calls to respond so that he may give you life. But you people have made Isa a God that he physically revived the dead. Even the Quran says those who die, they never return. Nabi Sassim Stavsiya says those who die will never return to this world. So your God, Isa, I don't accept those miracles that he physically made birds like the birds of Allah. The birds you see today, Whose birds are there? Are some Isa, some, some Allah's? Ibn Arabi, Rahmullah, and many great scholars have accepted that those prophecies of him making the birds refer to the Hawari'een. This is one of the possible interpretations given by many great scholars who, according to both of you, are, of course, Kafir. And someone in your comments just said he's Kafir as well. So I'm not shocked of what criteria you have given for Kufr. So I've answered the miracle aspect. The other point. Of Hazrat Isa Lassam's miracles, Hazrat Ahmed Lassam has clearly said, and uh, I have the quotation right here. One second, if you allow me to just Your give the is. last quotation. One second, yeah. So, Hazrat Ahmed Lassam, the point that they keep ma mentioning that some miracles are mesmerism on the same page, Hazrat Ahmed Lassam writes that this was under divine direction. So it was a miracle. So that same page exposed you as well. Unfortunately, you have to keep taking things out of context. Now, I demand so answers. Up, oh, Adnan, we are, we await your answer. So I, there seems to be some headway here because really what's being presented is there are no miracles. Um, 
that's what's being presented and everything everything is either naturally explained or it's some type of uh, trick mesmerism is really a type of hypnosis or a trick that you play to the eyes and this is a denial of miracles essentially uh, brother Adnan, you were about to yeah i'm just gonna quickly say a few words and you can start our time and uh, to be fair with rosie uh, I'll give it uh, to uh, Brother Imtiaz. Look, the point here is that Mirza, he said Jesus did not perform miracles, or if he did, they were trickery. Okay, they were trickery. Okay, the Quran says he performed miracles, and Razi doesn't know the Quran himself, because in the Quran we have another example where a dead person was brought to life in Surah Baqarah. Okay, the story of Musa, a. Salam, when meat of the cow was struck on a dead body, it came back to life and it spoke. So you don't know what the hell are you talking about? You don't even know the Quran. So I'm not going to get more. Into no, no stopping him when he's Rosie, a person. Please, no interrupting. No this interrupt. is hypocrisy. Don't hypocrisy. interrupt, please. Wait. Don't interrupt. Mirza has landed you guys in a quagmire and you can't climb out. Okay, over to you, uh, Intaz Bhai. Please, go ahead. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Very quickly, Razi is playing a game. He said that, say that if anyone said this, Brother Razi, we use the word if anyone believes in this so don't play the don't replace the world with said or something no we said if anyone believes what we said before this person is a disbeliever if you have the courage say in your turn next thing says i have answered the question i have presented 10 references on miracle we, we're going to start with you again i will start with the first reference you have not responded anyone don't try to give the false impression before you leave you have not answered any single one of them and then he says that uh you know mirza, look people all he's saying is that how can mirza gulam say all of that when he respects uh, is islam this is exactly what we are saying he is a liar he commits the crime and then he denies it razi please think about this this is exactly our case he committed a crime and then he lied that he didn't think about this when he got caught, every time he got caught, he said, "No, no, no, I didn't do it." Look, Your time's said, yeah. up. Your time's up. It's not about. It's not about how good a criminal. Is. If a if a murderer, brother, does, your time is up, Adnan Bhai. If a murderer does charity, that, this point, yeah. that doesn't take away the murder. If a, if 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 if, uh, if someone who steals ends up doing something good, that doesn't take away his crime. So Mirza is making statements of kufr. You cannot use statements of belief he may have made otherwise to protect him against his kufr. His kufr is his kufr. His belief or whatever belief he expressed, uh, ex expressed is gone after he made statements of kufr. So we are focused on the statements of kufr. Try to get the, get the message. You're not dumb. You're very intelligent. You are very educated. You know what we're talking about. We are dealing with the statements of kufr he made that make him a kafir. Can I speak now? That make him a believer. And even though they contradict each other. Go okay. ahead. So, so just before you start, so just to clarify, so the, if if there are statements that are clear that are made that are uh, appear to be denying that Jesus, Jesus Islam can do miracles, if you bring another statement that says that he does, at best this is a contradiction, you still need to explain the, the statement that says that there cannot be miracles or these are not miracles it doesn't it's not sufficient to say look he said that when he was speaking he does believe in all this because then you have to explain when he does say that wh why is he saying these th the, the thing I understand the your question this is a really important question Imran Bey thank you for actually asking this I think maybe I haven't emphasized it enough so the reason is where there's so-called contradictions is because Ibn Taymiyyah Rahmullah in his books used the Ilzami Jawab technique and Hazrat Ahmed also used this technique which was to show the Christians that according to your Bible Hazrat Isa Lassam failed according to your Bible he was a drunkard according to your Bible he would swear according to your Bible he had no miracles and he was not a successful prophet in those pages he Lassam is defending Nabi Sassam and showing them that this is the greatest prophet you have to accept Nabi Sassam they would mock Nabi Sassam day and night and Hazrat Ahmed Lassam was defending Hazrat Isa Lassam. now Adnan Rashid mentioned a few things he mentioned the dead person coming back this is the difference between us and you we do not interpret those ayahs and interpret them in a way where they contradict other verses and the tafsir of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa there's an authentic hadith regarding the father of Jabir bin Abdullah radiallahu anhu 
that when he passed away, Nabi Sism came to Jabir and said, Shall I not tell you what Allah spoke to your father about? And this Jabir said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah, tell me. Then Nabi Sism said, Allah asked him, Ask me of anything, and I will do that for you. What did Abdullah ask? Radiallahu anhu, he said, Send me back to the earth. What was Allah's answer? Adnan Bey has to respond in his turn, inshallah. So, in conclusion, the point remains, Hazrat Ahmad loved Isa Lassam. He said he was sinless. He said he was a truthful prophet of Allah. The statements you people take out of context, we will answer them in our streams when we have our full time. You know, you ask 30 questions. It's hard to answer everything. But I wanted to discuss the three references of last time. But of course, that didn't happen either, even though in the on you, Twitter, let me finish. Let me finish. You are, you are finished, Father Razi. So the problem here is you're doing the same. You are doing the same. continue this topic and you ran away from the reference. Father Razi, I'm muting you because you're doing the same thing again. You, you, you didn't respond to, you just gave a general statement. You didn't respond specifically to any of the references. So what I would like, Brother MTRs, if you could, uh, you, your, your own, this you can handle it your own way, but my suggestion would be give a reference that you gave from amongst the references that you provided that you believe not to be against the uh, speaking against Christians. And then let's see what Brother uh, Razi, how he would respond to this specifically so that we, we can make some headway. I think if we're not, because we're, we're, we're going in a circle and I think that maybe it's uh, not beneficial for Razi to carry on like Yeah, this. he should present the alcohol reference. So that he will choose the reference he presented amongst those that he had, yeah. because we have certain things that we will be discussing in our next stream. So I'll let Brother MTRs decide. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Imran Bhai, I said this thing. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Imran Bhai, I said this thing previously. Matter has already concluded. I want people to understand this game here. When I am saying. All I want from Razi is, or anybody who comes after him, Razi, just simply say, if anybody believes that most of the prophecies of Isa were failed, if anybody believes that Isa al-Islam failed in his mission, if anybody believes that either he did not perform miracle or he, or he did trickery, if anybody believes that suppose these three things, I am not saying for Mirza, by the way, I'm saying you just say this much. That if anybody believes this, he is a kafir. This will show us, this will show us that the answer you are giving, that is a genuine answer. Because this will show us that you believe that Mirza Ghulam did not say this. Why don't you simply say, I want to make matters simple for the common folks. You simply make this generic statement because you believe that you have the evidence that Mirza did not say this. That why you are not making this clear statement. Uh, Imran Bhai, I just want to stick with this one point. I don't want to waste any other time. If he can make this statement, we can proceed with that. Okay. Brother Nan, anything to add in the time remaining? Or? Uh, no, that's it. Uh, we would like to get some answers from this person. Yeah. because We know Mirza said those things. We are aware. Okay, we are not unaware. But we are talking about Kufr statements where he said these things. That miracles are not real, and if they were committed, they were just uh, trickeries. Okay, if anyone who believes this is such a person, kafir. We're not talking about Jesus was a great prophet. He was a messenger of God. He was truthful. He was uh, sent by God. We're not talking about these things. We're talking about things Mirza said that he did not perform miracles, and those miracles were trickery. Anyone who believes this is he a kafir or a Muslim? Okay, so I'll take my two minutes now. This is the problem that I mentioned in the start as well. That last stream, you guys lied about three references. You got caught and now you run away from them. The stream before you lied about Wama Salabuhu, you got caught, you ran from that as well. And now you bring 30 references and I caught you that they were all Ilzami Javab. The ones I quoted, like I mentioned, some are not Ilzami Javab. And then you ran from that as well and you... Blamed Rahmatullah Kiran, we said, for lying against the gospel. You called Ibn Taymiyyah a disbeliever and many other ulama, unfortunately. And you called yourself a disbeliever as well because you said you cannot Rasi, speak I'm about the prophet. You. I'm going to pause you because okay, you're I'm leaving you. then. You're As-salamu you, alaykum. You brothers you, don't you, have you, the you, free, free, free to do as ever. Because all you're, all you're doing is you're giving a commentary of, um, you're giving a commentary on what you think has happened. You didn't you respond. Always to do that. you, that's you didn't, I'm the moderator. That's my job to do okay, that. Okay, so 
So one of the things one of the things that is important to do is to not uh, you didn't any any of the specific hadith that come. Uh, the, uh, sorry, certificate references that are presented from Ghulam Raza Ahmed. You didn't raise any of them, and you didn't specify, and you didn't I deal did. with any of them. I did. to one day. You, you didn't raise. You didn't I deal did. with that specifically. I did. And then we, Razi, stop unmuting yourself. When we're talking about the claims about the the the, the miracles not actually happening, what you're doing is you're. Uh, st giving another statement where he says that he believes uh, in that Isa Islam was a prophet and he was truthful, etc. Not dealing with the fact that you still have to explain that statement of Ghulam Reza Ahmed. You're not doing any of those things. But then you're referring to other hadith. You're doing the same thing, uh, Brother Razi. I don't understand why you're approaching it this way. So, Brother Imtiaz, I'm going to hand yes, over to you. Sure I think that if we're not... I don't think you're I'll answering anything. I'll answer be honest this you. You're, not answering, you're not answering any questions. I'll answer the reference he brought one, up. One second. One second. Bro brothers, brothers. Razi is trying yeah. to milk. Razi is trying to milk a male goat. That's what he's trying. That's what you lied about to your man. Please let's let's uh, let's have some decorum. So, uh, brother in charge, you put the reference up. Yeah. I'm going to let you present that, please. No, can I get my minute first? No, no just... because you're not answering. You're not and answering any questions. Yeah, you, you have. You're not, you're, you're not answering. You're not answering. Okay, questions. answer it. Okay, okay, answer it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> answer it. Answer it. Okay. Give me my minute. Put that minute. Okay, take back, it. Please. Okay, take it. Answer okay. It. Answer it. Firstly. Brother Adnan, I don't know what your obsession is with male goats, honestly. Like, Please you lied. To the he raised the point. I will address him as well. Okay? He respond raised the, the point. Asked, brother, I'll answer that too. So you let them you like to talk about anything. goats. You let you like them to talk about, brother, anything. You like to talk about goats, but you're not responding to brother, any of the... You mentioned the... You're not responding to any of the... What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Brother Razi? He mentioned... Calm down, Brother Razi. Razi will make sure... Razi will make sure we know the virtues of all the male goats in the world that give milk. But he will it's not really, address the points. He will not really address the points. The question we've been asking for the last hour, Razi will answer not address this. It, but he will now give us the virtues of male goats that can give milk. Go ahead. Please please respond to some of the I'll questions that this. we have I'll actually been asked. This. You've got I a minute and a minute. Question. I'll answer this. Please answer them. But Imran, you're extremely unjust. He brought I would, the I, I don't want you to talk about my justice. He brought the goat. I want you to discuss the topic. He I loves want to discuss, I want you to discuss the topic, please. Okay, I'll answer this now. All right, I'm starting your time now. Okay. okay. So this reference, I already gave a reference from Hazrat Ahmed al from the same book that he al explained that in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's time, the Prophet showed the greatest miracles. And in the time of Isa al the Jewish people used to do such so-called, you know, uh, they would make like, they would do sleight of hand and Allah taught him this by divine direction to respond to them. And it left the Jews amazed. So Hazrat Ahmed himself says regarding this Amalu Tirb that Allah taught him it. So Imtiaz lied about this as well and is caught again. As for the male goat, I'll get to that now because Adnan brought it up. He lied about it last time, got caught. And now he, I guess he wants that male goat back. So he's missing it. I sent him the video. It's on Urdu point. I can help give some money so we can have you get your mail go, this? inshallah. What are, you, what are you doing? Yeah, I answered the question. I wanted to take my 10 seconds, get Adnan by his go, which he lied about yeah, last have time. A, have a poke because that really take helps. Take Dr. Sai bin yeah, now. I'm yeah, going to yeah, leave. Take Dr. Sai back in, okay? Uh, I'm going to leave. I, I, I will decide on who to take back. Okay, we appreciate, your, we appreciate your contribution. Thank in you. our stream, we will answer, inshallah, in detail. Yeah, that's All a good place to answer. And if you weren't going to answer here, then I don't understand why you came on. We did answer here, right? You only gave. There was no answer. Everything. Everything. More than one hour. How long? Alhamdulillah. Okay. So that's very good. So we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Yes. Imran, Imran, I just, uh, can I just do, uh, say one thing? If it was okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I just want to finish off this deception as well. He said that, oh, I answered this one. I, I will read this one, inshallah. Then I explain for the audience very quickly that what is happening here. Ruhani Khazain, volume 3, page 257. And don't forget, in this book, Mirza Ghulam is answering to the Muslim scholars that why Mirza Ghulam cannot perform any miracles, right? So he is responding to Muslims. So there's no such thing as Ilzam Mijwab. Please don't forget this number one point. Point number two. Look, it says, Ab ye baat kat'i aur yakini tor pe sabit ho chuki hai ki Hazrat Masih ibn Maryam Hazrat Masih ibn Maryam wa hukum-e ilahi 
Aliyasa Nabi ki tarah amal turab mein kamal rakhte. He says that this has been established with certain and definitive proofs. The Isa alayhi salam was expert and by the way, the translation of Amal Turub as Mesmerism, Mirza has done himself in the same book. So it's not ours. He said that uh, Messiah alayhi salam being expert in Mesmerism, Amal Turub, like Nabi Yasa or Elijah or Elisha, he says that, and now listen to the next point very carefully. Agar ye ajiz is Amal ko makuru or kable nafrat na samajta. Listen people very carefully. Razi was saying, Allah taught him this. Mirza is saying this action is makru, which means it is a, uh, what is the Urdu word for makru, the non -bai? The good um, word for For Urdu. Not in English, makru, English. Dislike, dislike, dislike. It is, abhorred. Mirza abhorred. says that if this action was not disliked and hateful, kabul nafrat Now, Razi, please use your brain. If this was taught to Isa by Allah, how can Mirza say it was dislikable and it was hateful? Mirza says that if this action was not dislikable and hateful, I would perform bigger miracles than Isa al -Islam. Look what he's doing here. So, Razi, don't try to every time you try at the end to give some deception. Alhamdulillah, it's in front of the people. If people want to be deceived deliberately, this is their choice. Let them do this. Why I'm saying this? This Razi is considered very knowledgeable in their community. And look at his knowledge. Look at his logic. Something which Mirza Ghulam is saying that this thing is hateful. This thing is disliked. And Razi is saying Allah taught this to Isa alayhi salam. Does it make any sense to you brothers? Please think about this. Wallahi, please think about this. Over to you Imran Bhai. Well, subhanAllah, you've just re-emphasized uh, when you were giving the same feeling that I had when you were giving me all of the references and all, and all of the stream throughout the beginning. I was overwhelmed by the degree of uh, disrespect to Isa alayhi salam in those references. And if I if I were in the position uh, where I'm Ahmadi listening to this, I really want to know how the Ahmadi uh, the Jamaat respond to this. And we unfortunately, we're not getting this. We're not getting this information. We're getting accusations and you know references to previous streams and then challenge. Really, just come and say, look, you've quoted this reference. It's wrong. This is what it means. This is the context. So, so we can establish that this is wrong. Not say um, we're going to do it on our stream. Then don't come on to the stream if you're going not going to answer the question. Um, so, brothers, uh, there's lots of other people in the chat. What's uh, what are your thoughts on? Uh, just one thing, obviously, yes, yes. Uh, I can see that Dr. Yahya is backstage. If somebody else, obviously, Yahya was given opportunity before. If somebody else wants to come and discuss, now, there are two possibilities because one topic is already under discussion. The Mirza Ghulam attacking the miracle of Isa salam. So the next person either can talk about this topic or if they want to go in a sequence, then we'll discuss point number one. And that was abusive language because none of them has addressed point number one. And that's a very serious allegation because that's the minimum, minimum you would expect from a gentleman, not profit, not profit from a gentleman that he would have a good man. He would have good manners, no and kind language, okay, from a gentleman. And Mirza is saying that the abusive language and swearing and harsh, all of that was found in Isa alayhi salam. Basically, he has dropped Isa alayhi salam from the level of a gentleman. Think about this. So I don't want Ahmadis to be off the hook without telling us why Mirza said this. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So brothers, who would you like me to bring on? That You can have a look at the back chat and we can bring on the next person. Uh, we can't hear you, Imtiaz Bhai. Muted. Imtiaz Bhai, you're muted. You're muted. Yeah. Okay. Imran Bhai, if somebody says that he's Ahmadi, other than Dr. Yahya, Dr. Yahya can come back and no problem. If somebody else is Ahmadi and they turn on their camera and they wave the hand, they can come. Okay. So anyone in the back chat now, if you can put your camera on, if you're Ahmadi, and then I can see you. And then we can... Uh... So Brother Ahmed's camera is on, so we'll bring him on. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yes, being Ahmed. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> Assalamu ala man ittabal huda. How are you, Ahmed? Alhamdulillah. Salamuka la yinfa'a wa la yadur. Okay, good. Let's go. 
let's deal with it so what 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 is your response you've been watching the stream um what do you say about someone who denies the miracles of isa alayhi salam that have been mentioned in the quran and the new testament not that we believe in rahman rahim nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al karim wa ala abdihi al masih al maud i think the issue is not with regards to denying miracles but is denying a certain understanding of the miracles which is you guys of course and in my previous uh, i think attempt when i came on i think something happened to my um internet in the previous one of the previous streams i was, I was explaining how the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam has explained the takhleeq of isa alayhi salatu wasalam that has been attributed to him um you know in in um, in one of the chapters of the quran you know, specifically speaking about uh, i think it's chapter 3 was 50 surah al imran was 50 uh, where he says anni qad jitukum bi ayati min rabbikum anni akhluqu lakum min at-tayn ka hay'ati at-tayr fa anfuqu fihi fa yakunu at-tayran bi idhnillah wa ubrihu al-akmah wa al-abrasa now for, if the promise of sa alayhi salatu wasalam has made a categorical statement to say we don't believe in this that's a that's a separate thing if he has given an explanation one that is is metaphorical and spiritual which does not go against the holy quran a, a, a explicit muhkam ayat of the holy quran for instance i'll give you just uh you know one or two of those verses of the quran where, where for instance allah almighty says in chapter 16 surah nahl verse 21 walladhina bismillahir rahmanir rahim billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahim walladhina yad'una min dunillahi la yakhluquna shay'an wa hum yukhlaqun and those on whom they call beside allah create not anything but they are themselves created and we know isa alayhi salatu wasalam is called upon beside allah amwatun ghayru ahya they are dead not alive not living wa ma yash'uruna ayyana yub'athun the second uh, is chapter 13 surah ar-ra'd um, verse number 17 where allah almighty says qul man rabbus samawati wal ard say qul allah it is allah qul afaqat uh, afat takhattu min dunihi awliya la yamlikuna li anfusihim naf'an wa la darra qul hal yastawi al-a'ma wal basir am hal tastawi dhulumat wal nur and this 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 is the important part am ja'alu lillahi shuraka'a khalaqu ka khalqihi fatashabah al khalqu alayhim o do they assign to allah partners who who have created the like of his creation so that the two creations appear similar to them say allah is alone in the crea- uh, is the creator of all things so based on this uh, and and and, I, and i'll end of course you want this to be a con- conversation and i want this to be very respectful of course is that we cannot ever accept something which goes against the categorical verses of the holy quran and secondly which cannot is which is not proven from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because in the holy in the same quran allah tells us ya ayyuhal ladina amanu istajibu lillahi wa lir rasuli idha da'akum lima yuhyikum o ye who believe respond to allah and the messenger when he calls you that he may give you life so this is the life that we believe anbiya alayhi wasallam give to their messengers uh, to their people and this is how we 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 understand this this this, this we appreciate that thank you very much uh, brother mtias yeah uh bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, ahmad first of all yes definitely we also want it to be a respectful and a fruitful discussion and may make may allah make it like that so now uh here's my point ruhani fazain volume 11 page 290 mirza says isaiyon ne bahut se aapke mujizat likhe hain Christians have documented many miracles from Isa alayhi salam magar haq baat ye hai this is my point haq baat ye hai the truth of the matter is ki aap se koi mujza nahi hua that he did not perform any miracle and according to mirza this is the truth of the matter then he says aur is din ke baad aapne mujza mangne walon ko nangi galiyan di and after that day he swore nakedly at the people who demanded miracle from him or inko haram karo haram karo ki a lot and and called them the bastard and the kids of the bastard is ro se sharifon ne aap se kinara kiya from that day the gentle people they walk away from him and they did not want to ask for a miracle and as a result they will become the bastard children so i want you to address that in the face of this reference and i will produce more inshallah very soon no problem, no problem. in the face of this reference how can you say that mirza gulam believed in the miracle that's one point second point is because you quoted the ayat of the quran are you telling us that the ayat of the quran you quoted stops a believer from believing in the miracle of isa is that what you are saying please clarify your position are you done i'm done i'm done yeah. yes bismillah can, can you put my two minutes up yeah just give me one second okay wait do we have few seconds left yeah yes we have to do uh, that yeah very, 
So yeah, very quickly, I want to highlight here. It is very clear that Mirza makes it clear that Christians attribute miracles to Jesus. Magar hak baati hai. The truth of the matter is that he did not perform any miracles. Okay, and this statement goes against the Quran, and it goes against even the New Testament. But New Testament, he already denies that the Christians have attributed these miracles. But the reality is, he did not perform any miracles. Now, over to you. Bismillah, Zakmullah. Uh, can you stop my time? So, um, so many things to address. I mean, I have to be honest, I can't address every single quotation that Brother Imtiaz has brought up. And we've seen this three liners over and over again that, that has happened. And that's not really fruitful. So I want Brother Imtiaz to put up page 292, which is only two pages, uh, two pages after this. And inshallah, by the grace of Allah, Allah, because he made a claim, he, made, he, he mentioned certain references. Certain references are addressing the ulama of the time, ulama of... Uh, you know, who were against the promised Messiah, some who were demanding things which were against the sunnah of the prophets of Allah, which the Jews asked from Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Otherwise, what is the reason for them not believing in, in Isa alayhi salam? When those Jews saw their elders being raised from the dead to, uh, to, 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 to life, yet how many were the people that who actually accepted Isa alayhi salatu wasalam? And how did, he, how did he have to go through all of these things? So, so go, so if brother, you can't put it up, I don't know if I can share my screen. Uh, and I want to present some something here. Let me actually save this. It's the first time I'll, I'll be share, sharing the screen. Or I, I, or I can just read it out in the meantime, and brother, uh, brother Imtiaz can pull it up on the screen. The screen. So it's it's, it's Rohani Khazain Jilt, uh, uh, Volume Eleven, same thing, page two nine two, which is the Mima Risala and Jamiatam, the same book. And the Promised Messiah Wasalam, says, Bil Akhir, after mentioning all of these things, he mentions in the Hashia. He says, Bil Akhir, Ham Lichtehe, we write. We have nothing to do with the Yasu of the Padri of the Christian. Unhone Nahak, they have unjustly Hamare Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ko Galiya Dekar Hame Amadakiya. They have have instigated us by 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 uh, abusing our beloved Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then he puts a star there and then he writes underneath that. Agar Padri, if Christian uh, missionaries abbi apni policy badal de, if they change their policy now, or ahad karne, and they give an oath, ke ainda hamare nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ko galiyan nahi nikalenge, they will not swear and abuse our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And I gave Adnan the list of these swear words in Kitabul Bariya, and those you cannot read those what they have written about our mothers, you know, Hazrat Aisha radiyallahu anha and the wives of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So you were not living in that time, you were not going through the stress. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was going through. And then he says, nikalenge, to hum bhi ahad karenge. We also give the oath that naram alfaz ke saad unse guftugu karenge. Then uh, ne next time we will speak to them in a soft tongue. Warna jo kuch. <coughs> let, let me just finish. Uh, just if you can just wrap up, please, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just 10 okay. seconds. Okay, time's up. Warna jo kuch kahenge, uska jawab sunenge. Whatever they would say, they would, they would listen to the response. And then uh, he continues, says, that unke yesu ka kuch thoda sa haal un par zahir karen. Unke yesu ka. Unke Yasuka, they Jesus, so that we can present they Jesus to, to them, their real hal, right? Okay, brother, okay. Azan, we appreciate, Ahmed, we appreciate this. So yeah, I just want to clarify one, just one thing. So when the reference was given to you that Bil Haq, there was no miracle, Isa Islam did no miracle. Yeah. How do you understand that in he's, the reference that MTR yeah, provided yeah. to you? He's, he's, he's presenting the, the, the Christian Jesus, Yasu, as he mentions here, to, no, them, to no, the Christians. No, he is not. He already said. Christians attributed miracles to him. The truth is, he did not do any miracles. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm telling you two two pages later, what is he writing? No, he's what not talking about miracles. What you, what, read, what you read is not relevant to the quote at all. There's mm -hmm. nothing, no relevance whatsoever to so, that. Brother, no, no, I'll start your time, inshallah. If you can just, you're, yeah. you're specifically stick, uh, sticking to mir 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 miracles now. Sorry, I was listening to the whole stream for like past two, three hours. Yeah. So, uh, so what it seems to us is that the allegation just develops. Can come back. Certain part of the allegation. Brother Ahmed, one second, uh, brother Ahmed. So I'm just going to pause because this is interesting. So, is it, because you talk about develop, where it's like we're changing the goalpost whenever someone arrives. This is the this is the idea that you're putting forward. It feels like that, yeah. so all I understand it feels that way. So from the beginning of this stream, there was a a 45 minute discussion, almost an hour discussion of all of the points that were covered, and the, and the idea is is that 
Mirza Ghulam Muhammad in his writings speaks against Isa alayhi salam. And usually in a way where he's defending himself against allegations, <coughs> he's responding to them by putting those same allegations to Isa alayhi salam. Oh, Amongst wow. those many references quoted were those about the miracles. That was one of the seven categories given. Yeah. So there's no, we haven't moved any goalposts. We are just giving you one of, because you're talking about miracles, you came on talking about miracles, you wanted to explain it. So the okay. section that we're dealing with you is, is the miracle section. Yeah. And we're, in this reference that was there, it says the Christians believed uh, the attributed miracles, but that, in, but the reality is that he did no miracles. So from that, clearly it cannot be referring to uh, the biblical understanding because he's saying that the reality is in real life, despite what the Christians believed, that there were no miracles performed. It didn't say that uh, in any in any other way. Now, the reference you quoted didn't seem to deal with this directly. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset for the brothers and they can they can respond further. Two so we're not ten. moving the go, but I just wanted to make that point. Okay. okay. Uh, brother Imtiaz? Yeah. Or, or yeah. Brother Sorry. Yes, very quickly I will speak and Brother Imtiaz can come in. Just you can start at two minutes. So, uh, look, there was, there was nothing relevant presented by Brother Ahmed. Uh, with regards to the quote, the quote is very categorical. Christians have written many miracles about Jesus Christ. But the truth of the matter is, you have not done any miracle. This is what Mirza believed in. Okay? So, all those things you read to us, about Mirza responding to Christians, we do it every day. The kind of evil stuff we hear about the Prophet ﷺ from Christian missionaries, Mirza probably never heard those things. We have been responding to Christian missionaries for the last 20 years of my life. I've been dealing with it, okay? So don't tell us that we cannot imagine what Mirza went through. We see it every single day and we respond to those allegations, right? So all of that was irrelevant. Over to you, Mr. Asbari. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Now, for the sake of the viewers and audience, Mirza Ghulam denied miracles of Isa Islam in two ways. One way is this one that clearly saying in black and white, he says, Haq baat ye. And I'm sure that Ahmad believes that Mirza Ghulam believes in Haq, in truth. And he's telling to Ahmad that truth is Isa Islam did not perform any miracle. So there is no ambiguous things at all. Number one. Number two is the second way Mirza Ghulam denied the miracle is he said, I, I've, I've quoted before from Izala to Oham, and Izala to Oham is written to response to Muslim scholars. Over there, he denied the miracles by calling them Amal Turb or Messianism or trickery. And we have already pointed out that this uh, Messianism or trickery, it is a hateful thing. It's a disliking thing. And Razi was saying, Allah taught him this. So these are the two ways he denied. We have presented both ways in which Mirza denied the miracles. And now, I want Ahmed to tell us that from this quotation, when Mirza says, Magar haq baat ye, what did you understand? So one is denial, outright outright denial, and the other is calling them mesmerism and trickery. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Can I respond? Am I allowed yes. to? Yes. Yeah? So, so just looking at this this uh, page, I tried to pull, pull it up. Uh, can't do it in that much speed. But it, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, and I know Urdu very well, he says, Isaiyon ne bohot se aapke mojizat likhe hain. Isaiyon ne bohot se aapke mojizat likhe hain. Meaning that the, the Christians have written many miracles of Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. Magar haq baat ye hai ke aap se koi mojiza nahi hua. Meaning he's, he's presenting the Christian case and saying the reality is whatever they are saying in accordance with that no miracle has actually happened. But listen, I have said and I can say this 20, 30 times and I waste your time as well. And, and you want to move on with this. The promised Messiah has given two possibilities. We know that in the time of every prophet of Allah, he had certain characteristics of the people that he comes to. For instance, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, brought certain things, throwing off the rod and all of these things. That was needed at, at that time. At the time of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Prophet Messiah you know, explains this was what was needed. But he gave an alternative explanation, which is again in, in, in accordance with the Holy Quran which is the spiritual upbringing and, and bringing back spiritually people's life. Now, what I would ask of opposite to Brother, brother Imtiaz, in accordance with the verses that I mentioned of the Holy Quran, How do you understand this khalq of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam? Very specific question. What is that khalq? 
How did he bring back yeah, the, and, and how did he bring back the people to life, which goes cat against the categorical verse of the Quran? And how does not not raise him to the status of being Allah, of, of him being a creator and God? This is what the Christians present. And you can shake your heads and say whatever you want. And brother uh, Abnan mentioned, I never heard of these things. He was the one that was defending. Have you heard of, um, uh, um, what was his name? Uh, Lef Lefroy, have you heard of Bishop of Lahore? Le Lefroy, who the Prophet Society challenged many others, and their own Christian missionary societies, because because I've been doing research on this, their own Christian missionary missionary societies writing back to their their missions and saying how this man is dismantling Christianity. And if you want those references, there and this is also from the from you know those very scholars of Islam. Time's up. You can't just say these things that, that in this day and age. Uh, can, I, can I go ahead? Okay, go ahead. I had a few things to say, but go ahead. Go ahead, inshallah. Okay, okay. Bismillah rahman rahim So, point number one is that he said initially that I quoted three lines. Obviously, when you are quoting something to establish a point, you only quote the relevant passage. If you can explain for us what is the haq according to Mirza, you have not given the answer. Please, uh, Ahmad, in your turn, explain for the audience. And Mirza says, Magar haq baat ye hai. What does that mean? That's my question to you. Please note it down. Now, you said, what about the ayat of the Quran you quoted? I'm sure, Tahir, you are, uh, you understand the concept of Tahrif fil Quran. Ahmad, Ahmad, not Tahir. Sorry, sorry, Ahmad. So, Ahmad, I believe that you understand this much, that there's a concept called Tahrif fil Quran, and Tahrif fil Quran is done in two ways. Tahrif lafzi and Tahrif manavi. That to alter the text of the Quran or to alter the means of the Quran. I'm very sorry to say, Ahmad, you have committed the second type of tahrif. That is called tahrif manavi on alter, or altering the meanings of the ayah of the Quran. There's not a single mufassir ever lived on this planet who said that the ayah you quoted, it means that we have to deny the miracle of Islam. What are you saying, Ahmad? And secondly, you said that how can he do? Quran has responded to you already. This, 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 has answered you already, Ahmad. If you don't like Allah's answer, how can you ever like my answer? Allah is telling you and all the Ahmadis and everybody who disbelieve in that, that I am the one who was the giver of the permission for that thing to happen. And after Allah's permission, your allegation of him becoming Allah is completely out of the window. If you don't like Allah's answer, it's your choice. Plus, plus, Imtiaz, uh, we can't hear you. Uh, you're going mute. You muted yourself. Now, go, now go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Plus, also, every time there's a miracle uh, stated about Isa a.s., the word bi'idhnillah is there. Bi'idhnillah. By the permission of Allah. So, you guys, why do you play these games? Just like Imtiaz Bhai said, that you're doing tahrif deliberately, knowing that Isa salam did not do any miracles by himself, but, but by the permission of Allah. Allah made those miracles happen. Similarly, similarly Musa salam. Okay. Surah Baqarah, I already gave a reference. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys, stop ignoring that and deal with the point. Haq. I'll, address, I'll address it. Yeah. yeah. I'll address the so, haqbat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As I said, as I said, um, brother, I think my time started. Uh, brother Imran, can I? Can I yes. So, 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 as I said, I want the listeners to because we can't do it here. Of course, it's your stream, and I want to respect that. I want people to go back to this volume, Ruhani Kazan Jilt uh, 11, and read from page 288 onwards to the page that I mentioned, and then reach the conclusion yourself. In on page uh, uh, 288, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace him, in the Hashia, which is which which is below the actual text, he explains. Yesu ki tamam pesh goiyon mein se jo isaiyon ka murda khuda hai agar ek pesh goi bhi pesh goi ke hum palla aur hum wazan sabit ho jaye to hum har ek tawan dene ko taiyar hain meaning if you can establish what you attribute Isa alaihi salam to be god then what, then if we can't present you know equal to that then we we, we we will give you whatever you know prize you put in place. But something I want to address which is very important, which is about the idhn of Allah, which about which is about the permission of Allah. Every prophet of Allah does anything with its idhn. Every what you know, not even a leaf falls with, with, without the idhn of Allah. But when Allah has established a practice, when He is mentioned in His categorical verses in the Holy Quran, and Allah says, kana min indi ghairillahi, la wajadu fihi ikhtilafan kathira. If this Quran was from any one other than Allah, you will find ikhtilaf in there. You haven't addressed the takhliq. How was it different from the takhliq of Allah? And Brother Imran, you should also ponder over this. How is it possible that 
a prophet of Allah can take the aspect of you know takhliq, which Allah is Kul hu Allahu ahad, that it's only only the, the Allah is the doer in in that in you know in in that sense. So and and Allah tells us in the Quran that that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also lima yuhiyikum he calls you to give you life. So our understanding is in accordance with the Quran. I'm not even going to a hadith now, but our understanding is directly in accordance with the Holy Quran. And I think I've addressed this point and I've addressed the mesmerism and I've addressed the second understanding of metaphorical and bringing back the people to life in a spiritual sense, which does not give him the attribute and the status of God, which none of those ulama could respond at the time of British in India. They were struggling. You know, they were struggling at the time and it was a promise of peace upon him who did it, you know, uh, very powerfully. Uh, Brother Mpias, please continue. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. First of all, I want people not to ignore the fact which I raised in my turn that Ahmad has done Tahri Sil Quran Bil Mana. He has altered the Quran because the ayah he quoted, and from that ayah the meaning he derived. I simply ask him a question: that which Mufassir, which scholar ever did the same interpretation of that ayah which you did? And if you cannot produce any, this is exactly what's called Tahrif al Quran to alter the Quran. Please don't do this. Okay, please don't do this. And after that, because he brought up the point of the prophecies, I, I invite all the people to go and read this book, this volume 19, Ejaz e Ahmadi. Again, go and read that. Who is he talking to? Please read yourself. مگر یہاں تو ان کی نبوت ثابت نہیں ہو سکتی ہائے ہائے کس کے آگے ماتم لے کے جائیں کہ عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کی تین پیشر گوئیاں صاف طور پر جھوٹی نکلی آج کون ہے جو زمین پر اس اقدہ کو حل کر سکے اور لوگ وعویلہ کرتے ہیں میرے معاملے کو جھوٹ بنا رہے ہیں he says that Christians they are claiming the divine attribute about عیسیٰ علیہ السلام but even his prophet who cannot be established and then he says that who can we complain to who can we complain to that the three prophecies of Isa salam they were clearly lies and then he says that who is on earth today who can solve this riddle and then he says and then again you can see he's addressing to the muslims he says that uh, because muslims were saying your prophecies are failed and i can establish this from many other books that this is something he said to defend himself there's no islami jawab here so brother ahmed Please, in your turn, you need to respond what I said. You have done the alteration in the Quran, number one. And number two, what would you say about this one, about the prophecies? Because you brought up the point of prophecies. Please, over to you. Jazakallah. Uh, thank you so much. Can I have my time uh, started? Firstly, um, I just want to say by Brother Adnan's rule, which he mentions over and over again, that if we lose any mufassir of Islam, we don't lose Islam. Al-Quran yufassiru ba'duhu ba'dan. Quran itself is enough for us. Okay? I'm going to ask you a question. Imagine there was no ahadith, okay, of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Would Quran be enough for us? We believe it would be enough for us. Because we know from Tawatur, right, when ahadith weren't even written down, the deen was passed on. Salah was passed on. You know, fasting was passed on. All of these aqa'id that we believe in were passed on. So don't come up with this 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 this, this point of mufassirin or whether I mentioned this. I you know un, I understand your tactics very much. But then you have scholars just as Ibn Arabi, rahimahullah, rahimahullah, who has mentioned that this tuyur means believers. So there, there there is an alternative opinion to what you're mentioning, which goes directly against the Quran. And you're saying is tahrif e manavi. You're saying is tahrif e manavi. Yet you're not addressing what the takhliq of of Isa alayhi salam is. You can't pinpoint those birds that you know that, that that you're attributing to it, and you can't answer Christians whatever you say about it, and that's the reality. But I want to quote something in, in, in my time, and this is when the Promised Messiah والسلام, challenged Bill Bishop Lefroy. People should go. There's a website, history.ahmadiyah.uk, um, which I've been working on for a very long time, where he says, in that period, Bishop Lefroy gathered an army of missionaries and left England, promising that he would soon convert the whole of India to Christianity. Having collected an excessive amount of money from the people of England and assurances from them of continuing assistance in the future, he entered India and raised a big storm. His attacks on the traditions and fundamental principles of Islam were futile, but the attack based on the argument that Jesus was alive in the heaven in the physical body while all other prophets were buried in the earth was, in his view, proving to be effective upon this general, uh, upon the general public. At this juncture, Morbi Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani stood up, addressed Lefroy and his group, saying that Jesus you talk about is dead. And buried like other mortals and that jesus who's, who's coming is prophesied is myself 
So you should accept me by this means. He, you know, he made things so difficult for him and he defeated all Christian missionaries from India to England. Who is writing the bio? Who, who is writing this bio, by the way? It's in the preface of, of, of an Urdu translation of, of the Holy Quran by Mulana Ashraf Ali Thanavi and, uh, and Hazrat Shah Rafiuddin published in 1934 by Nur Muhammad. And this is what is mentioned, you know, when 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 there's a saying in the Arabic language, al fadlu ma shahidat bihil a'da, that the true excellence but, uh, your, your that time the time which is given by even the enemy. So the point, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping this this up, is is the fact that the youth do not know the circumstances in which in which the promised Messiah of Islam appeared. They don't know what the khidmah of Islam he did. Uh, sorry, brother, because you're because you're in a, you're in a, you're actually preaching rather than answering the question. So the, yeah, yeah. the question the question yeah. really is very specific because you said something. Don't I'll clarify help. a couple of things before. So you already said in the beginning that there are only two possibilities when it comes to uh, miracles. That there's an alternative explanation. So either it's metaphorical or it's some sort of uh, a natural event. Um, a type of trick. Now that's already that's already a denial of miracles as I understood supernatural events um, uh, that are um, by the by the power of Allah. So you've already done the denial already. So in terms of agreeing with the statement from Ghulam Reza Ahmed, but brother Imtiaz put, you've already done that. So this is there is no issue here. The the problem what you're trying to do is you, because you don't believe in miracles, you're insisting that anyone who does is making partners with Allah. And this is obviously an erroneous understanding from our perspective. Um, the question really is, is that, um, do you, because you, at the same time, you argue that he was not talking about the, um, there were not being miracles, but explaining away miracles as being not actually real things. So you're making sort of two contradictory statements. Um, I exactly. don't, so I don't understand the point that you're making. Uh, brother, uh, brother, any other brothers or brother Imtiaz or brother Adnan, please? Uh, yes, please. absolutely. What, what you pointed out there is exactly right. They are denying miracles and they're saying, no, 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 we don't deny miracles. We actually have a different spin. But the miracles by default are supernatural events. They are incredible. They are things that cannot happen normally. That's why they're miracles. If you start explaining them naturalistically, then they are not miracles. Technically, they're not miracles. They are just natural events, right? This is the problem. This is why Qadianis are stuck because their hadith denies as well. He just made a very controversial statement that we don't need the hadith to understand the Quran. Without the hadith, you do not understand the Quran. You can't even pray. You can't give zakat. You can't do hajj. You can't do any act of worship without the hadith literature explaining the Quran. So you know what you're talking about. That's why you are believing in this man called Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. And a lot of things you said are irrelevant. They, there is no khidma of Islam he did. Uh, you know, there were bigger scholars who dealt with Christians uh, in the 19th century, in the 20th century, and they continue to do so today. Mirza, what did he do for us? He didn't do anything for us. He came to break the cross. He actually cemented the cross. In fact, the only debate he had in his life was with Abdullah Atam, and his own companions ended up becoming murtads. They accepted Christianity because he lost the debate. So please stop that and give relevant answers. Over to you, Tiaz Bhai, if you have anything to say, please. Okay, Bismillah, because uh, the time is short, I just want to highlight a verse from the Quran. Surah Nahal, ayah number 44. Surah Nahal, ayah number 44. Allah says in the Quran that wa anzalna ilayka zikra litubayyina lidnasi ma nuzila ilayhim wa allahum yatafakkarun. O Prophet, to you, we have sent down this zikr, this Quran, so you can explain for the people that what has been sent down to them and then people can think and reflect. Brother, what Prophet has explained about the Quran, this was his function according to Quran. And what he explained is found in the Hadith. I don't know that why you made that very wild statement which has no meaning. I think you said that if all the, brother, wait, 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 wait. If all the Hadith, according to the Quran, you said this. You need to explain the ayah of the Quran. That's it. You need to explain Surah Nahal, ayah 44. Explain. What was the question again? I said that you said that you we don't need a hadith to explain and understand the Quran. Quran is saying no. You do need. That's not what I said. I'll explain what I said. I'll explain what I said. Now me over to you. Okay. No, 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 over to me. I think it's my time. So I'm going to explain it. And that's the very first point I'm going to put because it can be understood very, very incorrectly. There's a book of the Prophet peace be upon him. There was a debate held in his, in, in his lifetime, a review on Batalvi wa Chakralvi, where Batalvi was given importance on hadith and Chakralvi was a denier of the, of the hadith. And the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, gave this view that, that hadith, yes, they are important in order to understand faith. But when hadith were not written down 
in the era of 150 to 200 or 300 years, whatever the time frame was, Islam was still alive. Because through Tawatur, like a son was teaching, uh, like a father was teaching his son, and it passed down through Rewaya, right? When the time came to be written down, and yes, it was important and it has reached us. That's an important thing. But even if it wasn't written down through Tawatur, just as for 150 years, we will pass, we will pass this religion down, this would have continued in Islam. So this, this is very different to how you're portraying what I've said. So I hope I've clarified this. But in page 121, as I said, uh, what is this? I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Continue, please. No, you, you continue. You continue. Okay, sorry, sorry. So on page 121 of the same, uh, uh, you know, in, in, uh, in Rouhani Khazain, uh, uh, which is uh, volume 19, Ijaz Ahmadi, Zameen Manuzul Masih, he mentioned from Sayyid Salam says this, it's a very important quote. He says, the reality is the Quran has proven Isa alayhi salatu was salam to be true. Lekin afsos se kehna padta hai. But, but it, you know, I say this with, with great regret that unki pesh goyon par yahud ke sakht etaraz and that on his, on his, on, on his prophecies there are great, uh, you know, allegations placed by the Jews. Jo hum kisi tarha unko dafa nahi kar sate. We cannot refute, refute them. Sirf only Quran ke sahare se humne maan liya. We accept it through the Quran or such a dil se kabool kar liya and accepted with a true heart or bajos uske unki nabuwat par hamare paas koi dalil apart from the quran we have no dalil in 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 accepting isa alaihi salatu wasalam this is his view allahu akbar yes allahu akbar. isai isai to unki khudai ko rote hain jesus cry you know for his uh, for for the for the, for his uh, you know him being a god magar yahan nabuwat bhi unki sabit hui just wrap up your sentence please so, yeah i'll wrap up my sentence so the point that's being mentioned here is is saying that it is through the holy quran we have understood the true essence of his prophethood and who Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is. Yet, if we base our, you know, our, our, you know, our conclusions just on the Bible, we can't even prove that he was a prophet based on the things that they have attributed towards him and the allegations that have been placed by the Jews. We appreciate it. You know what you just read there? What you just read there disproves Mirza by itself. Wallahi, you don't even know what you just read there. Oh, that okay. statement, that statement in itself, in itself, where Mirza is saying that the allegations of the Yahud cannot be refuted. What is he talking about? Then what debates? What debates was he doing with Christians? From what the was he Bible, using? From the Bible. Brother, brother. Don't brother, interrupt. Brother. Please, yeah. Don't interrupt. Just be calm, please. The accusations of the Yahud were refuted in the Quran and outside of the Quran by the Prophet وسلم, and by the Christians. Okay? So, so Mirza was clearly not better than the Christians themselves. Okay, so yeah, if that's way over to you, go ahead. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. First of all, I want viewers to understand, look, look at the flawed understanding of the Ahmadi clerics. Look at this one. He says that when the Ahadiths were not documented, brother, they were already in oral tradition with the authentic chains of narration. You are Absolutely. today behaving like a Munkri Hadith. Don't, yes. don't, don't use their argument. Please no, they are. No, no, no. Wait, if they, ask me, they are Munkri in Hadith. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And secondly, secondly, look, look, look at the flawed logic of Ahmad. He says that we have got how to pray, etc. with Tawatur. Ahmad, this Tawatur is documented where? In the Hadith. What you're saying, brother? You, you, you without a hadith, brother, there's no Islam. Okay, don't don't make this sense statement, please. For, may Allah forgive you. Seek Allah's forgiveness. Next thing he said that you know, as Adnan my pointed out, Ahmad, you just said a few minutes ago that Mirza Ghulam was defending Islam. He gave up. He gave up. <laughs> Isa Salam is a prophet of Islam. Look, Ahmad, Isa is a prophet of Islam. When Yehud were raising objection on Isa's prophecies, Mirza gave up. He said, nobody on earth can answer their objection. He gave up. Think about this. And and have you seen the debates of Sheikh Ahmad Didat? I think have you seen the done. debates of Zakir Naik? Have you I seen think. our debates, our brothers today, debating in Speaker's Corner and elsewhere, debating with Jewish rabbis, debating with Christians, debating with atheists? Alhamdulillah, we have answers. We refute them successfully. And we know this by the success of Dawah. Okay. So Mirza was a very, very unable character. Mirza was not able to do anything against Christians. Okay. And he thought, he thought just because he failed, just because he failed. So this is a very, it's a very important point. I just want to emphasize for you. So Mirza is saying that there is no response to the claims of the Yahud, and which is very, it's a big thing because even today, 
normal brothers who were in the dawah, very straightforward, are, are interacting with Jews and they are do, refuting their claims. So I, I, this is, you know, I, I don't understand this statement. Yeah. Maybe you could yeah. explain further yeah, when yeah. you. I when think you what do. you don't under, under, understand, and this is what uh, Brother Imtiaz did as well last time he brought up this Hawala of Al Hakam, which I have in front of me. I don't know, I'll be allowed to discuss it or not. Which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was actually defending Quran. And he's, and exactly the same thing he's saying here. That we understand and believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam and his prophethood is proven to us in the manner that we believe is through the Quran. That's what he's saying. That through just the biblical biblical narrative, you won't be able to establish his prophethood because of the allegations that Jews have placed on him. That's what he's saying. I'm not saying. So when you go out and you debate the. the uh, no, debate no, the, no. He's not oh, saying that. Can you be quiet? He's, he's not saying that. Answer. He said only the Quran is the reason why yeah. we believe in. Isa alayhi salam by his yeah. own virtues and the attacks of the Jews we cannot respond to. So it's because of the Quran we believe in him. So yeah. you're misrepresenting his own writings. No, I'm not. Because because how 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 else do we believe in him? So 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 by the by the Bible, whatever the Bible says with the gospel, Isa alayhi salam, you believe in it? You believe in it? You're no, no, no. You, you believe you believe in you... everything that the Bible says about Isa alayhi Okay, okay, okay. So I believe I believe, believe I'm, answering, I'm answering. I'm answering. I'm answering. So I believe in your time. I, to eat your food. Come to eat your okay. food. Do in your time, brother. Okay. okay. Relax. Look, I'm I'm enjoying I'm enjoying my my, my snacks while I'm talking to you. No problem. no problem. Enjoy. So so I I think it's very much clear what the Prophet Sallallahu said. I I said it in Urdu and I translated it in English as well. And also from the last time the reference that I I had read where from I was quoting Wakafalaha Zakaria and also you know the verses with regards to Imrat Imran Rabbi Kamafi Patni and he was saying the Christians would respond to this by saying look he was a god he didn't need a father he was a god and that was the only response and he was he's saying in this that it is through the Quran Allah the Almighty answered it that that she was a chaste woman and all of that you didn't want to discuss today those three those three references. Imtiaz Bhai didn't want to discuss, discuss it, right? But Are you no, serious? That's not, that's not true. Are you serious? So, uh, Brother Ahmed, that's not true. So, well, the, yeah, yeah, okay. one, 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 one second, uh, Brother Ahmed. Really Brother Ahmed, Brother Ahmed, it's not true. So, we 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 said that we will arrange a specific stream to discuss those three references. When? No, when? That's okay. that's the thing that needs to be organized. Now, the po the problem is when you, out, when you come and represent. Yeah, the brothers by saying that they did not want to do it. This is misrepresentation. Yeah. The point here is, is that this stream has a specific topic, and a we we laid that out in the beginning, and yeah. we just want you to engage with it. We're not saying yeah. let's not talk about the other things, but this is not the stream for that. And because that's already been discussed in the previous stream, Let it can be rediscussed. Yeah. Well, then, Brian, the problem is, and the thing is, and I have to be very honest with you, yeah. It was only one stream that this Adnan brother came on and he admitted himself that he, he was treated fairly and, 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 and equally. Every single stream you've done, we've come on. Whatever, however you treat us, this is the level of Iman we have in what we believe in. There's no one stream after that. This person, Imtiaz, promised he would come. He didn't come. A brother Adnan had a mirror, a special mirror. He didn't come. So, so the issue with for, for us is this. Every time we come, you present something, right? And imagine this. If you're on a Christian stream, 50 things that I mentioned, we have to answer it. Right? I can't answer everything. I have to come back on the next stream and say, look, last stream you mentioned this. Can we address it? And then you turn around and say to us, no, 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 no. Today's topic is this. Therefore, stick to this. So when are we going to discuss that? Right. And every I appreciate, week and I appreciate what you're saying. Out, and right? you know what? I, I, I do understand that there is a lot of information that's being provided. And I do understand it's difficult. Um, if, you, if there are if you, I think let's see how we can try and help you with this. So if if you want to um, arrange any discussions on specific things that were mentioned in the past, because what we don't want to do is be just stuck on one thing for for 14, 21 hours, you know, twenty eight hours. It doesn't it doesn't help anyone. We're trying to lay out the information in a systematic way. If there's a specific thing you think this was misrepresented and you would like to discuss it, rather in, rather than just presenting it on your stream, which is a, a you know, available to you. Arrange this arrange the discussion. Say, brothers, we'd like to discuss this specifically, these references you mentioned, because that's the thing that's bothering us. And we appreciate there's a lot of I mean, Brother MTRs gave many references, but this is a lot of research that he's done. And we broke them into categories, and we don't require every single one to be responded to, but the theme is the same. This is Mizaglam Ahmed, it appears to be defending himself by maligning Isa alayhi salam. And that's how it comes across. The, what you're doing is you're I yeah, you can answer. answer. That. No, I'll give you another uh, thirty seconds. And 30 the, seconds. the point here yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Before before you before Ahmed comes in, I I yeah. just want to highlight when I went on the stream 
there were five people talking and I had to respond to all of them. Okay. Uh, in our streams, look at this. You have been speaking to us uh, yeah. in a decent fashion. Yeah. Uh, you have been respectfully uh, indulging with us. You have been engaging in the discussion and we are having a very smooth conversation. Uh, individuals who came before you clearly didn't follow those rules and they were not behaving themselves. That's why they had to leave. Now we're talking to you. We don't mind talking like this for hours. No problem. You're most welcome to indulge. And we're yeah. giving you equal time. If you have noticed, myself and Imtiaz Bhai are splitting two minutes between us uh, ourselves because we want to be favored you. You are alone. We understand. But you get equal time to us. You can respond to our points in your time. So, Adan, when, so we're being when, very you, fair. Ask a question, Adan, Bhai. When, yeah. when you came, be honest about this. Because people are listening. Of course. What, what, what makes you, you think I'm not honest? What, no, no I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Were yeah. you given... Were you given an equal time on why were you told finish your sentence we're not going to interject you because you, you admitted it Adnan, before leaving you said i was given an equal time it's very respectful and, and, and there was no interjection whatsoever because why because there were four people speaking and of course it's it's not fair that uh, you're I, I will people. respond i will respond you see yeah. when i was there i was not given equal time and i didn't take equal time time you know why i made it clear repeatedly that look guys i don't want to go on talking i just want to quickly respond to your points and let, let you talk. And if you go in time, if you go back to that stream, which is live, go in yeah. time, the, 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 the amount of time I spoke and the amount of the uh, time other guys spoke. That's okay. Plus, plus, look, plus, there are many other reasons why we're not coming to your streams. There are many other reasons, many, many technical, strategic reasons why we're not coming on your streams. Okay. Yeah. We, 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 don't, we don't want to give you audience. We don't. I'm telling you right now, live. We don't want to give you audience. You know why? Because yeah. you do not represent our scholars properly, honestly. You are doing this on our streams. Razi was caught lying on Rahmatullah Kiranavi a number of times. Razi and was I, black I was and white. We showed it today. We no. showed it in the last stream. He misrepresents our scholars. So we don't come to your streams. And then when we are not there, you are quoting our scholars out of context and deceiving people. So we don't want to give you audience because I, we don't trust you. We don't trust you with content. Just, 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 just a quick comment. First of all, yeah. Radhi is not here. When he yeah. made that mistake in last stream, he quickly put up a tweet and clarified that I misunderstood this reference. What he mentioned of Kiran Visab today... and if you He did to... it today. Ahmad, he did it again today. But there's no one reference of Kiran Visab. There's many references. Yeah, but he did it today again. What did he do? I don't, I don't, I don't think he... He, he, he read from Kiranavi. Yeah. He read from Kiranavi, claiming okay. Kiranavi yeah. said uh, he, was, he was insulting Isa alayhi salam. But when we read it in the Urdu language, it yeah. was exactly the opposite. He was saying, "An Janab, His Excellency yeah. Alayhi Salam." Yeah. Okay, this is the word he's using. Right. Exactly. So, what so we're doing now is we're discussing the mechanics okay. of the discussion. Yes, exactly. and I think that what's important that's is true. actually that's to get true. to the topic. I get it. Just a just a three liner. I just just as brother in just three liner. Just want to state one thing, and from and I want to quote from Sayyid Sallallahu Alaihi He said, "Chunache, aaj tak inhi khayalat se wo log Isa Salam ke naam ko Yasu ko jo Yasu hai Yasu bolte hain, right?" Based on these allegations, he says they, they call him Yasu. And then guess what he says that? Yani Bagar Ain ke or ye ke asa ganda loves hai jiska tarjuma karna adab se dur hai. Because if I translate this Yasu, it's against the adab of Isa alayhi salatu was salam, right? And the reference that, 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 that Razi all, all, all also mentioned with, with, with regards to his love. And then he says, Oh, mere dil me guzarta hai ke Quran e Sharif ne. He said, In my heart. It is established that Quran Sharif ne jo Hazrat Masi alayhi salam ka naam Isa rakha, wo isi maslihat se ki Yasu ke naam ko Yahudiyon ne bigar diya tha. That the Jews, since they changed the name of Isa alayhi salam, Allah named Isa alayhi salam. So, so I think okay, it's, I, I understand. So we've let you speak out to, out of turn. But the point here is, is that yeah. the, these are these are these are statements that, that there wouldn't be an issue with. The statement, the problem is, you're not dealing with the statements that there is an issue with. Yeah. So if if all, the, all that you're demonstrating is that there is a contradiction, there yeah. are some times when um, uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is saying certain things, and there are other times when he's saying the, the opposite things. So that the way to resolve it is to deal with the c objections, and then it's clear that these things are either being misrepresented or they're out of context. Then we can understand and we can move yeah. forward. So yeah, we're, we're we're concerned with vices, not virtues. Yeah. Okay, you you are quoting it's, it's you are quoting Robin his Shale. virtues. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Shale. Shale. yeah. Okay. okay, guys, I, I need to pray Isha, so I'll take a break and I'll see you after Isha, inshallah. So continue, please. So, so let me just uh, <laughs> let me just reset that. Story. <laughs>
please your brother Imtiaz. Uh, is Allah Oham reference that you mentioned brother Imtiaz, if that's okay? Yeah. After, yeah. after Bismillah. you. Bismillah. Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, obviously, uh, because Ahmad has not said anything about the topic, otherwise I wanted to discuss on the topic. He just went on other things. I want to respond to that. So, Ahmad, because you said something, and uh, you said that, look, this, this three minutes thing is not, you know, giving you enough opportunity, etc. Ahmed, let's make it this way. Right now, I am more than happy. If you want to give me a date and time, inshallah, I will make myself an Adnan by and Iman by. Inshallah, we'll, we'll, have, inshallah, we'll have the same inshallah panel. You can choose your panel. We'll be same people. Myself, Adnan by and Imran by. And the entire debate will be, it will be a debate. Listen, it will be a debate, a formal debate in which our claim would be that all of the references we have produced today, number one, and number two, the attack of alcoholism and being with the prostitutes. All of that Mirza Ghulam has said about the Prophet of Allah, Isa salam. This will be our claim. We'll present our evidence. You are more than welcome to bring your evidence and it will be a formal debate. We can discuss Rest of the technicality is no problem. But I have given you the topic already. Why I said this? I want to remove that, uh, you can say, the excuse which you are trying to take now, Ahmed, that look, this time is not enough, etc. When it will be a formal debate, we all have equal opportunity. It will be in a debate-like format. And it will be documented, inshallah. And be is the light Allah. Let me say it again. I swear by Allah, I said before as well, I'm going to say it again. Mirza Ghulam has said all of that about Nabi Salaam. This is my position, Alhamdulillah. And I will defend this position. Please tell us that when you want to have this debate. Okay, Jazakallah. You, you, you've said Uqsim Billah. Can you say Lanatullahi yes. al-Kazibin? Can you say Lanatullahi uh, al-Kazibin? Uh, 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 sorry? Uh, sorry? Uh, can you say uh, what, is, what, uh, what is this? Uh, I don't understand I'll what you're doing. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, brother. One second, I'm going, to pause you. I'm going to pause you, brother, because this is uh, what is this? I'll tell you why. He's already you he's why. already said one second. He's already said, brother Zumtiaz has already said to you that organize it, just get together and make the information. This this unnecessary emotionality and you know it's unnecessary. Have the have the make the details, organize it, get together like adults, have the conversation. This sort of uh, you know, like in the playground, say wallahi, bro. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not suitable, you know, it's not suitable. Okay, so, uh, please go, uh, let, go to the next point, please. I'll go back to the point, okay? So, he mentioned a reference from uh, Azalai Oham, Izalai Oham, which is uh, the third uh, volume, uh, Rohani Khazain, where he says that he's speaking to the scholars, right? He's speaking to the scholars of Islam, and and that automatically means that if he's speaking to the scholars of Islam, he's presenting the Isa of Islam. Stay with me. So if I'm speak, if I, if he's speaking to the scholars of Islam, then he's he's presenting automatically. It means he's presenting the Isa of Islam. Whereas we have numerous references that Is, uh, uh, Razi presented, where you don't want to accept them. You're saying we don't want to accept them. But what he's saying here is this: in on page 109, right? It's something when he was mentioning this. I went I went back and read it. He said this, and we've we've had many discussions on this about the about the use of harsh language, which is truth, is different from swearing, is different from abuse. And he says, and I'm going to, because why did he just men mention Isa alayhi salam? Why did he mention Isa? Why didn't he mention Quran? Why didn't he mention the examples the Prophet salam gave of the Quran? Why did he take those out and just went stick to stick to Isa, right? The Prophet Messiah I, I want to give him something better. The Prophet Messiah salam says, "Aksar log dushnam dahi aur biyane vaqia ko ek hi surat mein samaj lete hain." That that aksar majority of the time people take swearing and abusing same as uh, stating a fact. Or in dono mukhtalif mafhumo me farak karna nahi jante. They cannot differentiate between these two uh, understandings. Balke, aisi har yak baat jo darasal ek vaki amar ka izhar ho, apne mahal par chaspa ho, mahaz iski kisi kadar mararat ki vada se jo haq goi ke lazim hal hua karti hai, dushnam thi tasavur kar lete hai. Meaning that they, they take any truth which is harsh as swearing or abuse. Halanke, dushnam or sub or shatam fakat is mafhum ka naam hai, jo khilafe vaqia or darok he says that abusing and swearing is something which is against the truth, which is basically a lie. And then he says this: Agar har yak sakht azarat, Imran, I hope you'll give me some ten seconds more to, you know, uh, finish the sentence. Okay. Sakht aur azar ko iske mararat aur talki azar asani ke dushnam ki mafhum mein dakhil karte hain. If they take every harsh language to be swearing and abuse. 
تو پھر اقرار کرنا پڑے گا دین ہیو ٹو اسٹیبلش دیٹ دی انٹائر قرآن ناؤد باللہ گالیوں سے پر ہے بتوں کی ذلت اور بت پرستوں کی حکارت اور ان کے بارے میں لانت ملامت کے سخت الفاظ قرآن شریف میں So Ahmad understand this. Inshallah, the day we will have a stream on the topic of that Mirza Ghulam disrespecting Quran. Inshallah, on that day, I will quote this one as well. So we we'll go, inshallah, topic by topic and subject by subject. So this is the answer to your point. Next thing you said is, Inshallah, Ahmad, I don't want anything from you when you come back. You know, the, the text you quoted, Waqi Amar Ka Izhar. When Mirza was saying that whatever Mirza said, And whatever he quoted in the subsequent pages about Isa a.s. That is a waqi amar ka izhar. That is, he is mentioning something which is factual. Waqi amar ka izhar. So, you know, in your innocent, in your innocent, you have established the case against Mirza. Because Mirza is making an admission here that what, when I say about people and in the next page, he say, because he is talking about the Isa as well. He is saying that all of that, I am talking about the factual things. Yes, I am a little bit harsh, but I'm talking about the Waqi Amar Ka Izhar Kar Ra. Okay? So you have to tell us, what was this Waqi Amar in this one? You have to tell us something. Okay? Now, last point is this. So Alhamdulillah, I already answered the question about the Quran. Why I did not bring the Quran point. Now, the next point is, Ahmed, I wanted you to respond in your term when you want to have the debate. So I finished this excuse forever. that you are not getting enough time. So please, in your term, tell us about when we're going to have the debate. Inshallah, so I can present evidence, all of that there. So inshallah, over to you, Ahmed. Okay, so let me just reset your time. Um, so the so the, from here, uh, the, the point was really about what are the true statements that uh, Mr. Allah Muhammad is referring to when he makes that statement, that the truth is not the same as swearing. Uh, please go ahead. And then obviously about the debate the brother asked you. So when the Promised Messiah responds to the Christians in the manner that they that they have, uh, you know, attributed things to Rasulullah right? Then that is a statement of truth because they're attributing something to Rasulullah which he is not or, or to his wives which, which, which they are not. Then in response, he's, he's mentioned certain things which are correct about their character. Okay? So this is the truth. Now, When he's mentioning the example of the Quran, that they are the, uh, you know, the, you know, they are, they are Sharul Bariya, the worst of creatures. They are, you know, they are uh, Hasabu Jahannam. They are Qiradatan wa Khanazir. They are, uh, you know, monkeys and pigs, right? This seems very harsh. And people will come up to you and say, why certain things are mentioned like this? But the reality is certain people are, they're not actual monkeys. They're not actual pigs, but they depict that character. And this is the reality which Quran, Quran also mentions. And based on that, he's saying that certain people can take that and say, look, you go swear words in the Quran mentioned. For instance, I mentioned to brother, brother, in, uh, brother Adnan Rashid before, we had a discussion about when Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu uh, to, said to Urba, uh, Urba bin Mas'ud when he came and he was touching the beard of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, at the time of Hudaybiyah, he says, um, he said a very harsh statement and it is, is documented in a hadith. Right. So the, so, so the point that I'm trying, I'm trying to make here is that you can't take everything that's mentioned and present it collectively and say this was the character and all of these things. But the point is, and the issue that we have with this discussion of character is, but the Imran, it's never ending. It's a never ending discussion. Hence, we say, start with the Aqaid. He's, they said we, we discussed Isa alayhi salam. What you discussed was a particular point of, about Salabah. You didn't. Because look, if someone and I know I'm digressing, you might say I'm digressing. It's just a side point. Just, just for you to understand our, our point, point of view. Even if Isa, my granddad wasn't put on the cross. My granddad wasn't killed, right? Or Suliba, right? He still died. It doesn't change the fact that if someone's not put on the cross, oh, it, he automatically is raised up. So, so we're saying there's a greater discussion to have. And in that discussion, we're more than open to discuss the character of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu which we're trying to do, of course, in the three minutes or the two minutes that we get. But the reality is this, no matter how much time you spend on the character of a person and stuff like that, it's a subjective matter. 
when we discuss the character of Rasulullah with the Christians, yes, some will accept, yes, it's, and we have many non Ahmadi Sunnis, many of them who I'm discussing to now who are becoming Ahmadis, and we don't use them as trophies to bring them on our streams because they, they, it's a very personal journey, right? So, but, uh, uh, Ahmed, so, so really, I think the point here is is that um, the, when when you're when you're claiming about somebody they're they're a prophet, and what and part of the issue is that what they do is in in their their role they denigrate previous prophets, and this is the point here. And then it casts doubt upon them. <coughs> so I, I really I think that um, you know. It, the, the idea that we haven't discussed these things is interesting. I don't obviously I don't agree, but uh, let's let's stick with the topic for today. So, brother Imtiaz, if you can continue, and I will we'll go from there, please. So, I think we're so, to be honest uh, with you, I think that we're in a little bit of an impasse. We are sort of going in a little bit of a circle yeah, because you've so, already agreed that miracles are either metaphorical or natural, uh, or or some sort of mesmerism, no. etc. No, can I can I address that as well, please? Just no, no, that's what you said because your time is up because brother Imtiaz is time. Okay, in my and, end, I I want to address this. And it seems to agree with the statement that the Grammar Zafin made about that there are, that they, but in truth, there is no miracles that Jesus did, uh, Isla Islam did. And um, you said that lying is uh, lying is okay. Uh, sorry, uh, swearing is okay if it's, as long as it's true. Essentially, if, if it's truth, then it's not swearing. Swearing is okay. No, if it's What's truth, it's not swearing. Yeah, this is what you said. So harsh, harsh language. Harsh yeah, harsh language. language. Yeah. So the you language that we're referring to, I understand. I understand. Because the language we're referring to, but used by Glamour Ahmed is would be, I would say the term bastard is not a uh, you know harsh language, it's much more than that. Um, but brother MCR, please, please uh, you, you're, you're, yeah. you're... so uh yes, Jazakallah Namai, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So obviously, Imran by the first point before I before you start my time, Imran, just one thing I want to point mm -hmm. out. Because Ahmed is not discussing on the subject now. And he, from those seven categories, apparently Ahmed picked the topic of Mojiz or miracles, no problem. So in the next turn, if Ahmed has to say something on the topic, inshallah, we'll engage with that. If he doesn't have, we can inshallah bring somebody else. That's my request. Yeah, I probably okay, agree. Now, yeah. now what Ahmed says, inshallah, now you can start our time. Brother. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim So basically, Ahmed... I request you one thing. You don't need to, in, in your turn, you don't need to come and respond to us. Go and read this text about Waqi Amarka is har. Basically, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam is saying that when I am talking about other people, or when Isa talked about the Pharisees and the other people, he was talking about the factual thing. Yes, he was harsh, but those, was, those were factual things. And this is all what we are saying, that he is admitting in this text, which you quoted, that all of those things are factual about Isa alayhi salam. So please, when you go home, read the whole page. Alhamdulillah, we have read that one. Now, next thing is, I responded to your Quran point already. Please don't, don't bring that again. I said to you already that when we discuss, when we will discuss that how Mirza Ghulam disrespected all the revealed books, including Quran. Inshallah, at that time, I will quote this one as well. Today's topic is insulting Isa alayhi salam. That's why I'm, I'm on that topic. And then you again said, Ahmed, I have given you an open challenge. And I have taken an oath as well to put emphasis in that, that what we have presented today and other two big slanders and allegations of being with the prostitutes and habitually alcoholic, all of that Mirza Ghulam believes and said about Isa alayhi salam. This will be the topic of the debate. And I have already mentioned what is my dawa, what is my claim. So you need to tell us that when you want to have debate on that one, you have not told me that. You need to tell us. So people can see that all of the defense Ahmadiyya is trying to take. For example, the defense is he was defending our prophet. That's a nonsensical statement, brother, with all respect. You know why? Because you cannot defend one prophet by disrespecting another. It does not make any sense. And secondly, the second defense is it was about the fictitious Isa. That's wrong. It's a lie. And all of the inshallah can discuss in the debate. And last inshallah point before I end my this this is my final turn, Miran Bhai. If Ahmed yep. has to say something on the topic, inshallah we can engage. But on the off-topic thing, this is my last statement. And I want Ahmed to tell me if you forget everything, no problem. Tell me about the debate invitation I've given to you on this topic. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you. Yes. I did wanted to mention about the especially the idea of miracles. I think it's very misunderstood from the from, from the Ahmadiyya perspective. 
there are so many, and this is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke about in, in, in one of the allegations that were raised. And he was he was giving he was defending the uh, the miracle of Shakul Qamar, right? The the splitting of the moon, who who the Arya Samaj of the time were put placing an allegation on. And and this is there, there's this wrong thinking, first of all. I want to address, and I'll be very careful how I phrase this, is that the the uh, a specific understanding of a miracle in a future time does not diminish the value of that miracle. This is something very important. That that and, and all of those miracles that happen, we believe from the Ahmadi perspective, are in accordance with Allah's law. They are not uh, they are not um, some sort of uh, breaking of His law, because because miracles are not seen from our perspective in Islam as unnatural occurrences, but as natural phenomena that are concealed from human knowledge. Because our knowledge is very very uh, limited, and it's based on our experiences. This is what the Prophet peace be upon him explained to the naturalists and all those other things who deny this. And he mentioned the same verse. Uh, Adam, you know, in that in that thing, and, and it's very important. So, for instance, for instance, the 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 coming down of uh, angels at the time of Badr, or there's the incidents where milk was sufficient for all of the companions of Rasulullah. Sallam. We believe in it as it is, right? But that doesn't, and this is this is where the, 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 this, this is where so, there's something wrong. That if uh, uh, one or or two, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, explanations are given. Right, and and they are also given. For instance, I'm not a doctor, and you are a doctor. Where a specific understanding of Hazrat Maryam alayhi salatu was salam, and and the birth of Isa salam was given, there wasn't a pinpoint where Prophet alayhi salam has put and said it was because of this. He said in in the variety of examples that we see in the world, he's answering to the Arya Samaj. You believe that people just come out of nowhere. We have an example where you know where 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 uh, a, you know a woman can give birth from her from her own self. Right, you don't need you don't need a male agency because, and I'm, I'm you know I'm finishing this off, is that is that the very reason that Isa alayhi salatu was salam was born to Hazrat Maryam alayhi salatu was salam is something which is under the khalq of Allah, under the takhliq of Allah. It's something special because Allah informed her, and if Allah is the same khalik that He was at the time of uh, Maryam alayhi salam, He is the same khalik now, so He can do the same thing now. The, the the point of miracle is is that Allah told her beforehand that you will have this son. Okay, I understand. So. Uh, thank you very much. I, th I, I don't think this is specifically relevant to the thing. So that, because what you've said is very interesting. You said that natural phenomena, the knowledge of which is not known. So this is this is really explaining away the phenomena. Um, even because what you're saying is once because the whole point is once you understand it, is it then no longer a miracle? Because now the knowledge is known of it. It just it just, it's another way of refuting the miracle from being. And there is no example. I mean, I know the brother Tahir was on in the last stream, and I was really surprised by what he said. There is no example of any healthy birth of any uh, woman becoming pregnant by parthenogenesis. None, none at all. We have a couple of mutations that happen that cause disease in women, yeah. um, uh, and you know, you get you get something called a hydatid mole, and you get uh, teeth and hair in this thing. Uh, this is removed. The womb is completely removed because this is a benign type of tumor, and you get other types of tumors. So this is completely, uh, you know, I don't even know what the brother was talking about, to be honest with you, but we won't go there. So the whole point here is, is that you, what you're doing again is you're explaining away a miracle. You're saying that there's another explanation. It has to be natural. It cannot be non-natural. And that, by definition, then is no longer a miracle. So... But really appreciate your time, uh, brother Imtiaz. Uh, I really appreciate your time, Ahmed. I, I didn't really interject very much because you were, you know, on by the by and okay. large and engaging with the topic, and I appreciate your tone. Um, so uh, thank you very much. I uh, just want to tell a very quick, uh, yes, you please. know, observation before <coughs> Ahmed uh, leaves the stream. So Ahmed, uh, basically, you have admitted the allegation. I would call it allegation at this point because I did not present evidence so far on this one, because yeah. one of the allegation against Mirza Ghulam was that he is a naturalist, nature hai, like Sir Sayyid. And mm -hmm. today you have admitted that because if you... Not, you're saying this, you're putting words in my mouth. Allow me I'm to sure. finish, allow Please. me to finish. Yeah. And, and, let, and, and let the audience decide, Ahmed. So basically you said in your turn that you can explain all miracles by natural laws, naturalistically. However, you, you allow me. How you, you put caveat that some of the natural laws are hidden from our eyes some of them are apparent mm -hmm. this is the caveat you put but you said ahmed when you leave the stream you can watch it again yeah or if you said are you trying to say yeah. now that no all
particles cannot be explained naturalistically either through hidden natural laws or through apparent natural laws. Are you? Do you want to retract your statement, Ahmad? Do you need to tell me this? Okay. Basically, <laughs> Ahmad. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ahmad, yeah. basically. Categorically, you have acknowledged that Mirza Ghulam was a naturalist, like nature. He was like Sir Sayyid as well. And this was the true. If you want to quote to me, for example, he said that I am not a nature. It will not prove anything. Okay, because I said before, the denial of a criminal is not the evidence. When the evidence is produced against the criminal, then the case is decided on the basis of evidence provided not that I love the criminal. Okay, understand this point. And I did not say 10 things. All I said is, tell us, tell us in your in your turn, are you saying that all miracles cannot be explained naturalistically? Are you saying this now? Or are you still on the previous position? No, I agree. Uh, not all not all miracles can be explained uh, uh, naturalistically. And the point that example, you mentioned... Example, no, no, wait, 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 Ahmed, give us some... No, 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 Ahmed, wait, wait, wait. Give us some examples. Because what's happening here, there's a little slight okay. of... Oh, I just want to clarify, because there's a slight of words. Yeah. So are you, So I want to just make this question a bit more clear. Yeah. Because what you seem to be say, you're saying all along is that um, the, uh, something can happen that we cannot naturally explain, but has a natural explanation we are not aware of. And that seems to be your position. Yeah. Like, yeah, this no, is how you yeah. come across. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. So if that that's the whole point here. So if that is your position, then this is a naturalist position because you deny supernatural intervention in the real world. We 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 what we say is is within the laws of Allah that He has created. He doesn't have to break a law. I understand. You, you 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 put it. No. I understand that. That's the only point. We're just clarifying. No, it's explanation or not. It's a separate point. But uh, that doesn't. But but yeah. one thing I want to say is about to a naturalistic thing. I can't find the actual uh, phrase here. But in this very brother, uh, Imtiaz, go back and read this Al Hakam thing that you mentioned last time. He's actually refuting a naturalist here. He's refuting a naturalist. We you know, sure. yeah. the, the point so, here is, so, is that when, in the explanation so think, you're providing, yeah, in the explanation yeah. you're providing, you're saying that everything that is deemed a miracle happens by some sort of natural law. We may or may not be aware of that law at this moment. And that's it's essentially a naturalist explanation. That's all that's being clarified. But we really appreciate you coming, Ahmed, and we appreciate the conversation. Okay. We wish you all the best. And we'll we'll definitely contact debate. Brother MTR debate. to clarify when you want debate. to have this debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But can I, can I just finish off just uh, 10 seconds, if that's okay? Just want to say thank thank you. Jazakallah. Yeah, 10 seconds is fine. 10 seconds is fine. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah, brother, what happened? You're very charged up. It's okay. We had a good call. Yeah, 10 seconds is fine. Um, and, and I just want to take this time. Thank thank you, Brother Imran. It was a very good. And I think uh, we need to have these sort of conversations going forward. Uh, and I think it's been a long time where, um, you know, two parties have been away because of, you know, whatever persecution, all of these things, op op opposition. And it's a good opportunity. And maybe we can also chat, you know, face to face, which is which which is a lot more respectful because you're sitting next 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 to a person. And just want to give, um, you know, uh, a dawah, you know, this uh, invitation to Brother Imtiaz. And also you guys should also come on and we would give the same courtesy and respect. And inshallah, you know, you you would you would inshallah ad, uh, ad, admit that. So thank thank you so much. Uh, I, I so, respond. I respond. I respond. You yeah. you you accept our debate invitation on this yeah. same topic, and okay, we will yeah. do we, we will do this. Yeah, we will do that one, and we will be on both platforms. We can do this topic very well, but why just this topic is is the question that then the many of us. I think it's because the, the it's a requested okay. topic by uh, the, if by we the Razi, et cetera. We we'll, we we'll, we'll propose this topic, and and we'll have a series of these discussions. In, in a debate manner, can we also discuss death of Isa, Khatme Nabu, and all of this? Can we do that as well? Yeah, yes, yes. Can, 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 we, can, we, can we start with this one? Can we start with this one? Can we start with this? No issues. No issues. But, but then no, you have to sign. You have to sign to say. Can, you we, can we organize this offline, brothers? Because this is not the okay. time. Or the place. But we appreciate all that. Right. All the best, Ahmed. Take care. Thank you, Ahmed. <laughs> okay, Hamza. So, uh, if there's anyone in the back chat with the camera on, uh, we can. Uh, Bring them, yeah. bring them on. Any Ahmadi uh, in the back chat other than Dr. Yahya, so they can come first. After that, we can take Yahya and no, then I'm we not can sure finish. if there is. Let me just have a look in the private. So if there's any Ahmadi um, here. <laughs> and then we can, if you just put your camera on and so we can just see you and verify you. Okay, I appreciate that, brother Ali. So we're looking for Ahmadis at the moment. Any Ahmadis? 
that person isn't we there. We can take Yahya now because Yahya is waiting okay. for a long time. We can take him now. Okay, no problem. So, Dr. Yahya, we'll bring you back on. Okay, just give me one second. Welcome back. I'm frozen now. You said one cup of tea. I've had like 20 cups of tea. <laughs> so you must be very, very, uh, everything should be working very fast now. That's excellent. Yes, uh, so I'm, we'll, here, we'll to, I'm to, here to sort out the debate challenge. Yes, the, 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 Brother Yahya, the, because, we've, because we don't want to organize the debate online live, because it's a waste of time, yeah. Brother so we've already Zee, agreed. We've already. We've already. One second. We've already agreed okay. to the debate. Let's, Brother let's Yahya, have a mechanism. Let's Brother, have a mechanism. Brother Yahya, you're doing the same thing. Please don't do this. We've already agreed to the challenge. We've already agreed to the debate. What we need to do now is organize it. We'll organize it by by email. Our email is available, and we'll organize. There's no issue. It's live. Everyone knows we've had the agreement. The point here is now the topic of discussion. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Brother Incharles have two minutes to. Give you something that we we have put forward, so then you can in, engage with that. So, brother Imtiaz, I'm going to start with you, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. Jazakallah khair, Imran bhai. Uh, Bismillah rahman rahim Doctor Yaya, yes, as Imran bhai said that we have already agreed on the debate and the topic. Everything is done. We only need to discuss the fine details, which can be discussed offline through email, not a problem at all. And secondly, with regard to the topic of today. I do not want to go Imran by in any other sequence. We will start with the first point. The first point we have raised is that Mirza Ghulam put an allegation on Nabi Isa salam with regard to saying that he had an abusive language. And I will inshallah share my screen with the first reference and inshallah Dr. Yahya will start explaining for us all of that. So we want to save uh, inshallah people's time well, so I just opened the relevant page, inshallah. So Yahya can start that one without any further ado. So yeah, I'm going to put the reference. Yeah. So this is the reference I want Yahya to explain for the audience. That this Ruhani Khazain, Volume Three, Page One Hundred and Ten, is Hissa Awal. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you can start now. I, I don't want to go further. Imran, you can start his time. Inshallah, he can start his time. Okay, I'll reset the timer. Uh, Dr. Yahya, please uh, engage with the uh, reference provided, please. Your time started. To the debate. Yeah, you are muted. I'm not muted. No, no, please go ahead. Yeah. And can you hear me? Yes, we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, with regard to debate, I haven't got your, your email address, so obviously we have to organize that. And can you just... Uh, again, with regard to debates, we agree that whoever loses that debate has to delete his YouTube channel and social media. Yes? That's fine. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Now, with regard to this reference, brother, I have listened to you for last so many, many, many hours now. This is one of those topics which we have answered so many times. Hazrat Masih Salam in all his writings, and I challenge you for that, he has not insulted Quranic personality. Now, what you try to do, you guys try to do is you try to indulge with names. No, 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 no. Name can be is similar, can is you similar? Masih, Isa alayhi salam, all their names. Christian use same names, we use same names, Jews, uh, they use same names. But the muqam, the status of the personality, everyone gives different. Hazrat Masih Maud don't play game with names. Hazrat Masih Maud has refuted the personality of Injil in this reference of page 1110. He has he's talking about Injil se sabat hai. Proves my point. He is talking about Hazrat Isa Islam, that personality. You call it Isa, you call it Masih. That personality which is according to Injil, which is the personality with personality, which is God of Christian, with Christian, with you guys, you guys claim that they are the one who brought Mirza Sahib. So Mirza Sahib is, he's talking about that personality who was God of uh, British government and, and 
he is refuting in daily personality. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Don't bring the British government into this conversation. It's already. Uh, so what I, what I was asked, uh, brother uh, MTRs. So if you just read the read the uh, reference again, or however you want to do this, because what brother Yahya is saying is this is referring to the Isa of the Bible, uh, the Jesus of the Bible. Doesn't matter about the name. Um, and you're misrepresenting this. So your your uh, response to uh, Brother Yahya, please. I'll just put your time on. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So Dr. Yahya, with regard to the email, as Yahya knows that we are both uh, we both have messages uh, with each uh, with each other on I believe on the on Twitter. So Inshallah, Yahya, I will send you my email on the Twitter. No problem at all. After that, Yahya said that in this reference, it is all about the Isa al-Islam of Injil. I obviously uh, Yahya would not understand this uh, for the sake of audience and the viewers. Point number one. Look at the this first thing. It says that mubahisat or takriro or tariro me aapke dawa ke mutalik jo etarazat ya sawalat kiye gaye the. Inke jawabat aapne zala hua me diye. They are saying that whatever objections Muslim scholars raise against Mirza Sahib, Mirza Sahib is responding to all of the allegations and. Amongst those allegations was harsh or abusive language. So Mirza is considering what has what Bible has said about Isa. Mirza take that on face value, agreed with that, and used that to justify his abusive language. So people need to understand this. There's no game, yeah, yeah, here. We don't want to play a game. Okay. And next point is, yeah, yeah, you need to tell us in your turn what gospel or injil. Or Anajil, the four gospels, what they have told us about Isa alayhi salam, is that reliable or not according to Ahmadiyya? What gospels have told us about Isa alayhi salam, is that reliable or not? This is the only question I'm asking you and that's it. I'm done. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. Just one second, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just reset your timer. Go ahead, please. Okay. Okay. Brother, the thing is, that's why people get confused because we have to agree on standards first. We have to agree, like, if so-and-so is said by somebody, what is, what is the, how do we, uh, what's the status of, the, uh, the, uh, of that person? For example, Similar in your program, so many references we have presented, Razi presented, other brother presented. Similar things have been said by Muslim scholars about Injili personality. Now, what you guys do? Your standard is everyone who doesn't agree with you, you throw him in the bus, throw him under the bus, throw under the bus. Now, people know. Kiran Saab, they don't know Adran Rashid, they don't know Imtiaz. If you throw Kiran Saab under the bus, you throw Muslim scholars under the bus, who accept you? Nobody knows you. Nobody know, knows me. Number th then, thirdly, your references about Azalaham, very sorry to say, brother, your references one after the other, I have proven that you misquote them. So okay, brother, yeah, sorry, brother, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, brother, I'm going to stop you. You you have not even mentioned even a single one of the references yet. In the previous time that you came and you came now, you have not even mentioned a single one of them, and now you are saying very just openly that I've I've responded to I've refuted every single one of them, and I don't know. Then you've also started by say saying that. we responded say to a hundred. So you what what, we, what would I would like you to do, brother? One second, rather than quoting Muslim scholars and what you think they may have said, this is a quote from. Uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, please clarify us, look at this specific quote and explain this specific quote so the Ahmadi brothers and sisters who are watching can understand what your response to this specific uh, statement is. This is what we want to know. So there's a statement Brother Imtiaz is putting it up for you. This specific one, tell us how it's misrepresenting, tell us why it's out of context, give us the, you know, some information we can understand. Yeah, please. please thank you. Yeah. This, this, uh, uh, it says, it's very clear. It says, according to Anjil, Anjil se sabat hai. 
کہ اس سخت کلامی کی وجہ سے کئی مرتبہ یہودیوں نے حضرت مسیح کے مارنے کے لیے پتھر اٹھائے ہیز ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ انجیلی مسایا ایگزیکٹلی بتا ہم سنگ ہی از ناٹ ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ قران ایک مسایا مسیح علیہ السلام اوکے سو ائی ائی تھنک ائی ہیو گیون یو دی انسر وت دی گاڈ ٹو از گاڈ گاسپل ریلایبل اینڈ ناٹ برادر گاسپل از ناٹ ریلایبل فار اس اف اٹ از اگینسٹ دی ہولی قران نمبر 1 سیکنڈلی وی ہیو ٹو یوز دی گاسپل اور مسلم اسکالرز ہیو یوز دی گاسپل whenever christian try to abuse our beloved prophet holy prophet thank muhammad you. mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam yeah yeah to use gospel brother we appreciate that thank you so i don't know why you're going to whether the gospel is reliable or not because that was not the question and uh, brother i'm just i'm going to want you to really That's just said, brother he uh, asked me that question listen. Sorry, one second, brother. Yeah, yeah. Where your time is up. So we want to discuss the reference, brother Imtiaz. Please, you clarify further because what brother Imtiaz is saying is that's uh, what brother Yahya is saying is. Look, this is saying about this is from the the Bible. What are your thoughts, please? Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, for the sake of audio, obviously, again, Yahya has a problem in comprehending these uh, technical things. But for the sake of the viewers, I want to point out one thing. For example, Mirza Ghulam believed. pay attention to the world believed mirza ghulam believed the isa al islam was arrested ridiculed mocked trialed and they put on the cross all of that is mentioned here in the gospel so mirza believed in the gospel narrative despite the fact it goes against the quran in the quran there is no such thing that all of this thing happened so the the reason i mentioned this that Yahya wanted to hide behind this thing. Ah, oh, it is Injili. Mirza Ghulam believe in the Injil, in the gospel narrative. Yahya, after this, I'm going to quote 16 things from the books of Mirza Ghulam. He said that these 16 things are about Isa alayhi salam in the gospel. Guess what? The things I mentioned, what you are trying to hide, that is also the 16 things. So get ready in the next turn. After that, you said that, oh, Razi presented other. We have already exposed Razi. and we clearly said that razi was lying on the islamic scholarship nobody believed the isa alayhi salam used to drink alcohol or used to be with the prostitute or he has a, no none of them believed this they really quoted from the bible to criticize and to defend the honor of isa alayhi salam this was not the case with mirza and we have exposed when razi was quoting other scholars so don't bring razi razi is not here talk about yourself and then he said that you know as as ibran my point is i i have proven yeah yeah you have not even dealt with one reference how can you say you have proven so basically don't hide behind the injil or the gospel reference mirza ghulam believed in the gospel narrative even if it goes against the quran i gave you the example of crucifixion uh, brother in, in just correct just before brother yeah could you just read this reference again and translate it for the viewers so that we yes. can get in- yes yes yeah. So this is basically Ruhani Khazain, Volume Three, Page One Hundred and Ten, and everybody is more than welcome to read the context. Mirza is justifying his own abusive language. He says, "Hazrat Masih ki zuban, ki sakhat zubani, tamam nabiyon se bani hui hai." First of all, he is saying that all the prophets have harsh language, but Isa Al Islam, the Messiah, he was way ahead of all of them. Or in Jil se sabit hai, and it is proven from the Gospel. کہ اس کی سخت کلامی کی وجہ سے that because of his harsh language کئی مرتبہ یہودیوں نے حضرت مسیح کے مارنے کے لیے پتھر اٹھائے many a time Jews they picked up the stones to stone uh, Isa علیہ السلام اور سردار کاہن کی بے عدد سے and because of disrespecting one of the elders of the Jews حضرت مسیح نے اپنے موہ پہ تماشے بھی کھائے the Messiah was hit and strike at his face he was slapped on his face all of that is I am saying it again I either Yahya want to go through the world. Anjil se sabit hai. Mirza Ghulam believed in the Anjil narrative. Number one. Number two. The context is clear. Mirza Ghulam is justifying his abusive language by pointing out the same thing in Isa alayhi salam. This is not called Ilzami Jawab. This is he is using something as evidence to prove his own claim. So that, that's the reference brother Dr. Yahya. Please, uh, please engage with that please. What are your thoughts on? Okay, now it's 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 a shame that brother Imtiaz, you have lied again. This reference, which we you you have just translated, 
Hazrat Mirza Sahib is talking about Injili personality. And my claim is Hazrat Mirza Sahib has never ever insulted the Jesus or Messiah of the Holy Quran. Listen again. Concentrate. Hazrat Mirza Sahib never ever insulted the Jesus or Messiah of the Holy Quran. This reference that you're referring to, he is using Injil against Christians. Like other people did. Like Malvi Sanaullah Amra Sari Sahib did in, in, in Ali Hadith. He said, Saaf malum hota hai ke Masih khud apne ikrar ke mutabak koi nek insan na thai. This is nothing. Harsh language. Sanaullah Amra Sari Sahib is saying, according to Masih Allah Islam, he was not a naked person. He was not a pious person. You talk about prophethood. Now give fatwa against him then. Then you said Mirza Sahib, he believes things which are against, against the Quran. No. Mirza Sahib, whatever he is written about Hazrat, about, about Masih al-Islam, whenever he talked about Quranic Masih, he has given him respect. Whenever he talked about that Masih with people at that time, British government and his followers, they were talking about, they were making him God. Yes, he did use Injil as other peoples did. Then you said Hazrat Isa alayhi salam shrab pita te, Mirza sahab believed in that. No, you have misunderstood the reference. I challenge you, you have misunderstood the reference. Mirza sahab didn't believe in that. You said Mirza sahab believed that he was, he used to, God forbid, with prostitutes. You lied about that reference. I uh, challenge you. Okay. It's, it's over. Thank you very much. So um, I'm going to be popping off just for a few minutes. Um, what what you're doing, uh, Dr. Yahya, is you're just quoting the reference and saying it's a lie. And then you're quoting the next reference and saying you misquoted. If and it's a lie, I will say it's a lie. But without, <laughs> but without demonstrating this, this is what I've I want to that. point out to you. I've done that. So, no, by making the statement, you listen to when the person speak. Just saying that you said this, it's a liar. You said this is misquoted. This does not, uh, it's not a response. So I'm going to be off for a few minutes, brothers. So I'll let you guys carry on. Um, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, Imran, bhai, uh, inshallah, uh, look forward to see you again. Adnan, bhai, inshallah, you can uh, maybe play the role of Imran, bhai, and of yourself as well. May Allah bless you and reward you. So, Adnan, bhai, I just want to give you the context because you just joined us. So, basically, uh, Adnan, bhai, Dr. Yahya is taking again that, you know, cliche defense that, oh, he was talking about the fictitious uh, Yesu of the Bible. I have given him two evidence, two pieces of evidence. Number one, that in this one, he is comparing Isa a.s. with the other prophet, number one. Number two, he is justifying. Yahya is completely missing the point that he is justifying, Mirza Ghulam is justifying his own abusive language by pointing out the abusive language of Isa a.s. That is one point. Second point is, he is saying that, oh, it says that Injil is a Yeah, Yahya, wait. Inshallah, we'll take two minutes, no problem. He said that yeah, Injil we're timing, we're timing. Yeah. He said that oh it says Injil says Sabbath. It was about the Injili Messiah. I I have told uh, I have told Yahya that Mirza Ghulam accepted the gospel narrative. I gave the example of crucifixion. The whole passion narrative is admitted, acknowledged, and considered by Mirza. I can give you many examples. So basically, just by pointing out this one word, Injil says Sabbath. It is not helping you, Mr. Yahya, because, because Mirza Ghulam believes in the gospel narrative, even in those cases where the gospel narrative goes against the Quran. Two examples, the marriage with the uh, Maryam Islam hanging around with Yusuf without nikah. This is against Quran, but Mirza still accepted it. And secondly, the second is crucifixion. I gave you these two examples where Mirza Ghulam not only accepted the gospel narrative, but he accepted even it was against the Quran. So don't hide behind the Injil Sabbath. Mirza believes in the Injil narrative. I'm done. I'm done. Yes. So now the first thing we want to do now very quickly, Dr. Yahya, to make the conversation fruitfully. Do you accept, Dr. Yahya, without making it too long and painful, do you accept that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani accepted, agreed with the gospel's narrative on Jesus Christ? And his life. Right. 
Uh, that's a very open question. That is a very open question. Hazrat Mirza Sahib has accepted those things from Gospels which are not against the Holy Quran. For example, he said the Gospels narrative of, uh, you know, the, 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 the crucifixion. Brother, looks like you have not even read books of Mirza Sahib. Mirza Sahib in Masih in India, he has used the Quranic words, Walakin Shubbihalahum. And he said that this, because Allah says, Walakin Shubbihalahum, so maybe this has happened. And whatever Mirza Sahib has said, that is not against the Holy Quran. Who told you that that's against the Holy Quran? That's not. Going up in the sky, physically, bodily, is against the Holy Quran, I challenge you. But going to Kashmir is not. People go to Kashmir. How can you say it's against the Holy Quran? So your claim is wrong. 100% wrong. Hazrat Mirza Sahib, I'm, I'm reiterating myself. Hazrat Mirza Sahib has always respected Quranic Masih, Islam, whatever name you, you give it to him. But whenever he's refuted, he said it. Whenever I use Drushd al he said, I'm using, I'm saying those things against Injili personality. So that's the rule. Wherever in Mirza Sahib book, you see a Durusht loves, if you think that's Durusht, that's against Injili personality, not Quranic. That's the law. That's the law you have to agree. And that's the law when you read from Islam writings, 100% brothers. He has respected Quranic Messiah like anything. And that's why he said, there's another reason we, we told you. He respected because he himself called himself a promised Messiah. How can he insult Hazrat Isa Alayhi Salaam, Quranic Isa Alayhi Salaam, and think with you twist and say that he insulted? He has not insulted. Those are only Injili Personality, personality he is talking about and same thing has been done by all Muslim scholars. I respect them. I salute them. Why? Because it was Christian at that time. Under Christian government, those scholars, great scholars, they, they, they not only they, uh, they respected, they brought the respect of Islam in people's eyes and people's heart, they tried their best to defend Islam and defend my beloved Prophet, Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We should salute them. We should say thank you very much. And look at this stream. You guys, rather than saluting him, rather than saying that he, he said he did something good. And exactly, I'm not just saying myself. Look, your, your scholars at, of that time, he saluted Hazrat Mirza Sahib. This is Mir Shah Rafiuddin Sahib. And go to page 30. He has saluted Hazrat Mirza Sahib for his great work against Christianity. And look at you guys. I feel ashamed when I see these people. Okay, yeah, yeah. We gave you four minutes. I think it's enough time for you. For now, inshallah, let me respond to what you have just said in the four minutes. So I, I request you to be just quiet now. So. Basically, uh, you said, uh, and obviously after this, I don't want to go uh, in circle because people can, inshallah, see, you know, you said two things. One thing you said is that accept this as a rule, as a law, that whenever Mirza Ghulam says this one, it is not the Messiah. Basically, you are saying that the lie and the deny of Mirza Ghulam in the face of all of this evidence can be taken as law. Use some sense, Mr. Yahya. And second point is, I'm telling you, Yahya, you're saying that how can Mirza Ghulam insult Isa alayhi salam and his mother when he himself claimed? This is precisely our point that the writings of Mirza Ghulam are filled with contradictions. Whatever he says in one place, he says completely opposite of that in the other place. Okay, this is exactly our claim. You are not responding anything by saying that. You are only acknowledging the claim. And that is the reason Till today, Lahori and, uh, and Kadiani group, they are not able to understand that was Mirza Prophet or not because of the contradictory writings of Mirza Ghulam. And the next point you raised, and by the way, I'm timing myself for two minutes now. 
So a next point you raised after Yahya is this. You said that, you know, uh, this was about the Anjili. Mirza Ghulam accepted gospel narrative, even go beyond the gospel narrative to accept and believe in the things which are clearly against the Quran. Now I'm giving you one example, okay? Mirza Ghulam believes that Sayyidah Maryam alayhi salam, she used to move around with Yusuf without nikah. This is his own writing, okay? And this is absolutely a blasphemy and against the Quran. And he accepted that. So don't tell us that, oh, he only accepted the Quranic one. So my time is finished. So I'm going to time you as well for two minutes. Please go ahead. Your mic is muted, Yahya. Your mic is muted, Yahya. Sorry. Okay. Jazakallah. Now, I'm not going in circle. I'm trying to bring you to the right path. Sirat e Mustaqim. Now, you Dr. Said... Yaya, sorry, sorry, Dr. Yaya, one second. Uh, before we start your two minutes here, can you specifically respond to the point raised by Brother Imtiaz that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani believed that Maryam salam, used to hang around with Joseph the car carpenter before marriage? Before marriage. Do you accept that? In my two minutes. Yes. Can you please respond to that now in two minutes? Sure, sure. That's that's very important for us. Okay. Now, I will respond to that first. Al-Hakam, 24th of July, 1902. But that's the problem. You haven't even read about books. Hazur has said, Iske mukabal par, jo injilo mein ye bayan hai, کہ گویا مریم صدیقہ مریم صدیقہ کا معمولی طور پر جیسا کہ دنیا جہان میں دستور ہے یوسف سے ناتا ہوا تھا یہ بالکل دروغ اور بناوٹ ہے یہ بالکل دروغ گو اور بناوٹ ہے read it yourself read it and apologize to public you have lied too much about Hazrat Mirza Sahib. Answered. Now, you said Mirza Sahib things are filled with contradiction. Brother, same allegation people bring against that book, Holy Quran, which Allah says there is no contradiction. They say, on one hand, Allah says, Laisa Kamishla Yisayun. Another one, other, in other words, He says in Surah Nur, Allah's Misal is like a, like a talk, like a chirach. So these games people have always used against all religion, even against my beloved religion, Islam. So that's not a new game. Doesn't affect me. Okay, two, two minutes up. No, I don't think so, brother. Adnan Bhai, I want to, inshallah, discuss this point of the uh, about Yusuf's uh, hanging with the Yusuf. Yes, please. Uh, okay, finish, Dr. Yaya. 30 seconds, go ahead. Okay, now again, you bring up again, again, just a claim, Mirza Sahib, he has accepted narrative which was in uh, gospel and not in, against Quran. Complete lie. You give an example, two examples. I have proven you wrong. I have proven you wrong about Salib, about Hazrat Maryam al -Islam. So please okay. go back Time and up. read other books. Time up. So now, uh, Dr. Yahya, we will request from you to start to uh, stop quoting from Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's books where he's praising Maryam alayhi salam, where he's saying all those good things about Maryam alayhi salam. We are aware of them, where he has said good things about Isa alayhi salam. He has said good things about Maryam alayhi salam. We are concerned with the kufriyat. We are concerned with the kufr he uttered in his books. And these books are published by you. Yo, Jamaat. Rouhani Khazain is there on the screen and he's claiming that Maryam salam used to hang around with Joseph the carpenter before nikah, before marriage. So I want to, uh, uh, I want you to address that. I'm just going over to you and if you want to take up this point, inshallah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So inshallah, I will only use the leftover of one minute because inshallah, we want to be fair with Yahya, inshallah, two minutes each. So basically, Yahya, uh, in your turn, I don't want anything from you. I will give my time to you as well. You take two and a half minutes. Read this reference 
and translate for the people. That's it. Okay, good. Zakala. Now, uh, first of all, brother Adnan, you said you are very about Mirza Sab. You 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 agree that Mirza Sab has praised praise Hazrat Masim Allah. Yes, we do. We we, we agree. Yes, yes. That's, that's good. That's good. Yes. At least we're getting at least we're getting somewhere. Yes. Okay, Zakala. And you agree that Mirza Sahib has praised Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam, but there are some kufriyat in your mind. You know, you you know Salman, Salman Rushdie wrote good books as well. Is it he my wrote, two minutes, brother? Yes, yeah, yeah, Salman Rushdie wrote good things as well. He wrote, it, uh, not everything he wrote was evil. He wrote some good stuff as well. We have a problem with the evil stuff. Don't you get it? Don't you? No, no, stop, no, I get it. Stop. Yeah. So, I'm giving so, you a solution, so with the, I'm giving you a solution brother. I'm yes. giving you a solution. So now so read and translate, as, as Brother Imtiaz requested, read the quote there, black and white, from Mirza, from your books, and translate it. Let, yeah, let the course. public decide. No, no, let, let the public yeah, Of course, I'm, I'm coming there. I got, I got four minutes, he said. Now, thing is, you worried about Kufriyat. That's why we are very humbly requesting for last three or four hours. Brothers, let's agree on standards. Let's see what is Kufriyat. And whoever has written those kufriyat, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, your uh, uh, Karanmi sahab, whether it's now Lamra Sari sahab, that's a kuf. Give fatwa kuf. We've already wow. said that. How Any, come? Okay, let me, let me say now. Anyone who believes that Maryam alayhi salam was hanging around with a non-mahram man before nikah is a kafir. Is a kafir. We believe that. Now, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Yeah, I will. I will. I will end my turn. I will tell. No, you. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. No, you no. have to repeat as well. Repeat, 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 because repeat. No, don't play. Don't it play. Didn't, these didn't say hang listen, around. You listen. have mistranslated. Hello, it says hang pirna, around. Pir, what? Where pirna. is? You're gonna make me. You're gonna waste our time. You're gonna waste our time. Yeah. What does pirna mean? Hang around. P what, what does pirna mean? Tell me. Tell me, pirna. Himself, brother. In this reference, he explained what does it mean. Okay, read what does Pirna? What does this is word of the Prophet of God? Read it with respect. What does Pirna mean? I will tell you what it means. He explained okay, it. Just be quick, just be quick. He Pirna. explained it. Brother, you tell he me what Pirna it. means. You tell I me. He Forget explained it. What does he Pirna mean? Apne se bila milti hai aur hai. That's what it means. Uh, we are saying, we are saying anyone who claims. That Mar Maryam alayhi salam was hanging around or pairing, pairing, okay, with a non mahram before nikah. Anyone who says that is a kafir. Yeah, that's can fine. You, can you, do you agree? Do you agree? Listen, you Do you agree or not? I'm giving you my answer. Brother, you just say, Pirna? okay, do you agree? Okay, you, I'm listening. You, like, look, 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 look. Pirna, Pirna. If you you are saying in a way like sexual way, Mr. Brother, say that. brother, okay, Mr. wait, wait. Let me repeat. Let you me repeat. Lying, you are lying. I did not you mention. I, Mirza said about sex. Mirza actually in this very quote is making a sexual reference. Now, if you're not going to you're read lying. it, I'll read it. I Show will read it. it. Wait, 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 wait. I will read, read it. it. I will read it. Rohani Khazain, yeah, volume fourteen, yeah, page three hundred. Mirza yeah. writes. Mm -hmm. karina unke wo rasoom hai. The yeah. fifth, the fifth reason is basically those traditions jo yahudiyo se bhot milte hai, yep. that are very similar to the Jewish traditions. Maslan, yep. inke baas kabail, some of their tribes, for example, nata aur nikah mein kuch chanda farak nahi karte. They don't differentiate between relationship and marriage. Nikah. And women meet their fiancés or people they are engaged with without any uh, obstacles. And they talk to them. Hazrat Maryam Siddiqa ka apne mansub Yusuf ke saath kabl nikah ke pherna is Israeli rasam par pukhta shahadat hai. Hazrat Mary, Mary, Maryam alayhi salam's hanging around with her fiancé, Joseph, before nikah is a testimony 
to that Israelite tradition. مگر خوانین سرحدی کے بعض قبائل میں یہ مماثلت عورتوں کی اپنی منصوبہ سے حد سے زیادہ ہوتی ہے افغانستان افغان ٹرائبس ان دم دس انٹریکشن بٹوین ویمن and the fiancés is basically a, 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 level, a level beyond. It goes a level beyond. Hatta ke baad o kaad nikah se pehle hamal bhi ho jata hai. And sometimes these girls get pregnant by these men before marriage, before nikah. Jisko bura nahi maante, balki hasi thate mein baat ko taal dete hain. And they don't think this is a bad thing and they just laugh about it. کیونکہ یہود کی طرح یہ لوگ ناتا کو ایک قسم کا نکاح ہی جانتے ہیں بیکاز جسٹ لائک دا جوش پیپل دیز افغان ٹرائبس دے کنسیڈر اے ریلیشن شپ اے ٹائپ آف نکاح جس میں پہلے مہر بھی مقرر ہو جاتا ہے اینڈ دے اسٹیبلش اور دے اگری ٹو اے ڈاوری بفور ہینڈ سو وٹ مرزا از سینگ ان دس کوٹ دیٹ افغان ٹرائبس الاؤ دے ویمن to hang around with the fiancés, which is a lie, by the way, which is a lie. Afghan tribes don't do that. Afghan tribes allow their women to hang around with the fiancés before nikah, and sometimes these girls get pregnant, right? And Israelites used to do the same thing. And Mary's hanging around with Joseph the carpenter before marriage is a testimony to this Israelite tradition. Now, now, you wasted our time for no reason. Mirza is saying that Mary used to hang around with Joseph the carpenter. We cannot hear you. You're muted. Yeah, you, you're muted, Dr. Yaya. You're muted. And Tazbai, can, can, can you hear me? Now? Can I speak now? Yeah, you can speak now, but can you respond to this question of mine? Of course, did, of course. Okay, did Mirza write that Mary was hanging around with Joseph before marriage? Her fiancé. Okay. It's yes or no? Not... Dr. Yahya, yes I'm, or no? I'm, I'm going to respond. Of you course have, you will respond. You but have can misrosted we... it. You have Brother, I did... and added lie to this, this, this quotation. That's what I'm going to prove now. Okay, okay. You said, okay. You said that Mirza Sahib Nauz Billah, he wrote that Hazrat Maryam had... You're muted again. You're muted again. Who is muting me? That's... Who, who's muting him? Uh, Imtiaz Bhai, you're muted. You're muted. Who is muting us? Yeah. I'm not muting myself. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Again. Adnan, Adnan asked you, yeah, yeah. Adnan asked you a specific question. After that, I'm, I'm every... answering him. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. First, you, first you need to respond directly. After that, you have every right to explain. The question yes. of Adnan Bhai is, do you believe that Sayyida Maryam Siddiqa Salamun Alaiha, she used to have Pirna, you, you are welcome to translate Pirna as you want. She used to have Pirna with Yusuf the, Joseph the Carpenter without any marriage. Do you believe in this? After that, you have every right to explain that. Please understand the question before you speak. Can yes. I talk now? Yes. Answer the okay. question. No. Thing is, uh, you have made an allegation against Mirza Saab as, as if Pirna here means sexual relationship. No. Brother, 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 no. f- forget, forget sexual relationship. Can you explain? Can you explain? Do you believe that Mary was with Joseph the carpenter, whatever Pirna means to you before Nikah? Yes or no? Do you believe that? Okay. Mirza Sahib is not the only one who believed that. Your oh, scholars brother, have written I am that. asking you a question. Your scholars you're not have written that. that. What Give kind? it a against them. Oh, yeah. Give By it a John, can you answer the question now? And I, I want every single Qadiani, every single Ahmadi to watch this out there. See the, look, see the behavior look, of these people. See the behavior of these people. They don't answer straight questions. Look at their behavior. Okay. They're muting me uh, now. Uh, ask me about a verse of the Quran or a hadith. Do I believe in I'm it? I'm giving Absolutely. you right answer. Any hadith, any hadith, I believe in I'm it. I'm giving you answer, brother. 
Okay. I'm giving you answers. Any authentic hadith from the Prophet, I believe in it. What kind okay. of seam is this? Okay, brother. So tell me, do Let you me, believe? Yes. Do you believe Mary was with Joseph the carpenter, her fiance, according to Mirza, according to Mirza, before nikah? Yeah. Um, now let me explain now. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that Mirza or not? Sahib, First, yes, Mirza Sam explain it there. Okay. Mirza okay. So, you, it. so you believe if in you it? Don't know how you so, don't understand Urdu. It's not okay. your problem, brother. It's your problem. Paijan, I sp do, I will read Mirza Ghalib's poetry right now, and it will go beyond you. Okay, I don't know Urdu. I'm going to teach you don't Urdu worry. now. No, no, My no. Urdu is... Translate, translate this poetry to me. Translate this poetry to me. Naqsh faryadi hai kiski shokhi ye tahreer ka. Kaagzi hai pairahan har pair tasveer ka. Kaave kaave sakht jani. Haye tanhai na pooch. Subh karna sham ka lana hai juwe shir ka. Go on, tell me. What does it mean? This is Urdu, by the way. Go on. You're telling me I don't know Urdu? Go on, tell me. What does it mean? No, no, you're not muted. Speak. No, you, Unmute no, yourself. You, someone is yeah. muting me. Who is was that Urdu? Me? What I just read there was that Urdu. Brother, I can translate that. No problem. Okay. Go on. I can translate it. No, 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 Naks, no, 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 no. You, me you made an allegation against Mirza Sahib. I'm going to prove that you, you don't know Urdu. You you're a Punjabi. You're a Punjabi. You, you don't know Urdu. You know Punjabi. You know Punjabi. What kind of joke is this? And, why you and not I know like Punjabi as well, by the way. No, why are you meeting me? Who is meeting me again again? That's not Khasandi gal ama again. Nay Manasib Karna. Mitti Kir Paka Mama Kutya Gedarna. Well, I, I I don't know who is who is Kutta. I don't know what can say. Uh, it's poetry, at, Punjabi your, poetry. I'm not look I'm at not your <laughs> look at your uh, you know the you know level. Listen. Yeah? Listen, Dr. Yaya, Dr. Yaya, don't stop, stop using rhetoric That's and true. tell me, do you do you believe Maryam a.s. was with Joseph the carpenter without nikah? I've given you reference. Have you forgotten? Have you got short memory? As yeah. far as sexual relationship is concerned, Mirza Sahib has denied oh, Yaya that. Sahib, oh, Yaya Sahib, Adnan we're not by, talking Adnan about by, sexual. Adnan by, Adnan by, sorry, Let I have to interrupt you. It's not Let going down. anywhere, Adnan by. It's not no, 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 because Adnan is none. Adnan brought this allegation. He he has lied. There is no allegation. No, Adnan is a clear what? reference that Maryam was hanging around with, with Joseph the carpenter without any nikah. Where's the allegation? Let me here? read. Let me read. Let me read. You, well, you can read whatever you, you want. First respond why to the direct question. The, why are you not letting me read? You First know you know you about acknowledge it. that you believe in this. I told you, whatever Mirza Sahib has written, I believe in that, but you have, you, your translation is wrong. Good, 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 good. So now, very good. Okay. Now we're getting now somewhere. Let me, let me translate. Yeah, yeah. Let me so, translate. Let, so you can translate, no problem. Yep. Our, yeah. our question is, our question is, so clearly now you have acknowledged, you have acknowledged that Maryam alayhi salam was with a non-mahram, Joseph the carpenter, before marriage. You have now acknowledged it. And we believe that is Kufar Akbar. It takes you out of Islam. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're, 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 you're and, 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 and clearly, clearly Mirza, Mirza was a kafir. So are you for believing in this. Okay. If you don't make Toba, if you don't make Toba, you are. Now you can go ahead and explain what it means to us. Okay. Go that's on. fine. Yeah. Now, now, please listen now. First of all, brothers, whoever is listening, these people, they always bring from the middle somewhere. Hazrat Masim is proving historically that Afghan, they have similar traditions, they have similar qualities as Jews of Hazrat Isa time. And this is the fifth quality he's written. Fifth. He said that under that, he said, he said their tradition who are very similar to Jews, Afghani tradition. For example, he said, Unke Bas Kabail Nata or Nikame Kuchenda Farkni Samite, Afghan, some Afghan tribes, they don't differentiate between Nika and Nata. He said, Now here he is explaining what is mean by Pirna. What is Pirna? Or Orte, Apne Mansub say, Bilat a Kalaf Miltiha or Bate Gartiha. 
What's wrong with that? Carry on. मिलती हैं और बातें करती हैं और कैरी ऑन फिर उन बातों के बाद फिर उन बातों के बाद क्या होता है हां वो आप आपके होता होगा हजरत मैं आगे पढ़ो लिखी ब्रीडिंग हमारे हमारे यहां हमारे यहां गैर मैरम के साथ मर्द को नहीं मिलने देते औरत को नहीं मिलने देते ये आपके यहां होगा क्योंकि आपका नबी ये लिख रहा है आप योर प्रॉफिट इज राइटिंग दिस दिस माइट बी अ ट्रेडिशन अमंग यू योर ओलमा इज रिटन दैट ओके एनीवे He said that Hazrat Maryam Siddiqa, how he with with love he's he's written that Siddiqa, Hazrat Maryam Siddiqa. You know when with Quran we you said he said Hazrat Isa Alai Salam. Ah, Janab. Ah, Janab. He जी. said Maryam Siddiqa. अच्छा उसके बाद he did not say Alai Salam. He did not say Alai Salam. Hazrat Maryam Siddiqa ka apne mansub Yusuf ke saath. कबल निकाह के फिर ना इस इसराइली रस्म पर पुख्ता शहादत है नाउ वंस ही इज एक्सप्लेन इट व्हाट इज मीन बाय फिर ना द मीटिंग दैट पर्सन हिज हिज मंसूब एंड टॉकिंग टू हिम ही सेड हजरत मरियम अपने मंसूब यूसुफ के साथ यू नो वाज रिटन दैट दैट इज आल्सो द सेम थिंग व्हिच इज इन इन अफगान अफगान पीपल ही सेड मगर मगर नहीं व्हाट व्हाट इज फिरना मीन फिरना ही टोल्ड यू बिला तकल बातें करना और बातें बातें करना और मिलना फिरना अच्छा बिलाई पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू फेयर विद एनी फीमेल फैमिली में फीमेल फैमिली फ्रॉम योर कैन आई कैन आई कैन आई फेयर विद हर लुक डॉक्टर 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 डू यू डॉक्टर Do you have daughters? Yes, I have daughters. Do you? Would you allow your daughters to pair? Pair. The word is pair with any non-Muslim man. In our tribe, it is not the. the it's not the tradition. It's not the tradition. Um, Acha. Your tribe. Your tribe, at, 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 your tribe is better than Maryam al Islam's tribe. Listen. Your tribe is better than Maryam al Islam's tribe. Subhanallah. This is the kufr. This is the kufr we're pointing out. Look, people. Now Listen, they so, have so gone away from the statement. Okay, okay. So they wait. have li- they have lied. They you have gone away confirm. from the statement. Allah, Subhanallah. Uh, brother, brothers, if I can, uh, I rest sorry. my case. I rest, I rest my case. One, 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 in his tribe, what happened to this reference? Brother, uh, brother Yahya, please one second, please. Um, oh, sorry, I was away for a bit. That's not fair. I'm back now. So what what I want to understand because I was away that it looks like we're discussing the statement about uh, hanging around. Uh, attributed uh, by Mirza Ghulam Asad to um, Maryam Al Islam. Uh, In his tribe, it's is, not allowed. It's it's not allowed. It's completely uh, heinous thing to suggest that a woman would do that with anyone. Um, Imran Bai, uh, Imran, Imran Bai, Imran Bai. Because Imran Bai, Imran Bai one, one second, brother Yahya, one second. We're just trying to we're trying to just reestablish yeah, the brother, just, just one we just one second, Tuesday. brother. Jews. Brother Yahya, please. I'm just muting you for a second because we're trying to. Uh, brother Imtiaz, please. Uh, It's just just uh, bring me up the speed so we can restart. Yeah, yeah. So basically, Imran, my first I want to summarize because you were not in the stream and obviously need to moderate it now. So just want to give you a quick summary. The point we are discussing is that Mirza Ghulam not only accepted the biblical and extra biblical sources, not only accepted them, he preferred them over Quran. Hmm. And we are giving That's one true. example that according to Quran. There is no way to attribute any any male person to Sayyida Maryam Salamun Alaiha, and and Mirza Ghulam not only attributed Yusuf or Joseph the Carpenter to Maryam Alaiha Salam, he also he also said that she used to be with Joseph the Carpenter without nikah. Now I go I'm going to bring something new here for Yahya as a gift. This book is called Ayyamu Sula. Ayyamu Sula was produced. Simultaneously in two languages, in the Persian language and in the Urdu language. The Persian was was produced by Mirza Ghulam. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, the Urdu was put, uh, by Mirza Ghulam, and the Persian translation was give, done by Abdul Karim Syal Koti. Both of them are published from the Qadian. Both of them are acceptable, authentic source for them. And Inshallah, I can show uh, to you if you want the actual text as well. Now, basically, the whole discussion is that Mirza Ghulam. See, 
that Sayyida Maryam used to be with Joseph the carpenter. What actually it mean? Now, there's a principle that you interpret a text through an other supporting text. Our primary text is what Mirza wrote. Now, we are going to explain that primary text from the text of Abdul Karim Sialkoti, which is an authentic exception. In, in that one, in the Persian language, I'm going to quote uh, inshallah here as well so people can see let me just uh, bring on the screen so basically uh, can you see it now okay now yes. this is the this is the actual person this is the actual person and i have copied the clip from the actual book so nobody can say that i have done any tahrif this is the actual person text and this person text yeah yeah is more than welcome to translate the person i went to one of the person who knows the Persian language and he translated this for me in the following word. But yeah, he has more than welcome to translate as well. Now, Pachma Karina in Kirasumar or Adat. The fifth proof that Afghani are the descendant of Jews is that, that there are similar customs between the Afghanis and the Jews. And it says that Afghan be Yehudiyo Kitara Nisbat Onika same like the Jews, Afghan also do not distinguish between the marriage and relationship. They have no problem in their women in mulakat, meeting and ikhtilat and mixing. Mixing. Ikhtilat is the word here. As, as you can see here, ikhtilat is a word used in the actual text. Ikhtilat and mulakat mein Oh, sorry, they have no problem. Now, Yahya was trying to give a deception that Mirza was saying it is only bate karna. They were only talking to each other. Here, the Abdul Karim Sialkoti is explaining that it means that they used to be with them in the private. Ikhtilat. They used to be in the, in the private and they used to meet with them. So, this is the interpretation of bate karna. And obviously after that, it is the same quote, but one thing very interesting, very, very interesting. I want people to pay attention. In the, in the Mirza's writing, Mirza says that sometimes the women may get pregnant as a result of this relationship. But in Abdul Karim Chalkoti, he said that Aksar Okat, Ghalib Okat, most of the time they get pregnant. Now, I want Yaya to tell us, what did Mirza say? Sometimes they get pregnant. Or most of the time they get pregnant because Abdul Kareem is saying something else. Mirza saying something else. Anyhow, my point was my point was this to explain for the audience that the deception Yahya is trying to give. No, no, no. Abdul Kareem is explaining for us. It used to be mulakat or ikhtilat. It used to be be with them, to meet with them, and to mix with them. Ikhtilat or mulakat. Now, Yahya, over to you. Over to you, Akhil. Okay, I'm speaking now. <clears throat> Subhanallah. So that was. Uh, You're muted. Yeah, so this, uh, yeah. go am on. Am I muted? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. No, no, okay, Tayaz Bhai was muted. Uh, so, brother Imtiaz, uh, so, sometimes so, so you're. So, just, me to out. just to quickly contextualize, Imtiaz yeah. Bhai has read from a Qadiani translation of the same passage written by Mirza in the Persian language and another Qadiani translation in the Urdu language. Which actually not only endorses the point we're making, it strengthens it. It uses stronger language. It mm. uses the word ikhtalat. Okay? Ikhtalat is worse than pirna. Because ikhtalat means mixing. It means mixing. And then there are references to pregnancies. What the hell is Mirza talking about? What is he, what is he saying about Marim al-Islam? What is he saying about Afghans? Are Afghans giving the daughters away to men? Without marriage? Which Afghan tribe does that? Which Afghan tribe does that? Where they give their daughters away for marriage? Or, I mean, even if, let's say, even if Audu Billah, Thumma Audu Billah, uh, all the tribes were doing it. How can we say that about Marim alayhi salam? How can you even imagine that? So now Dr. Yahya can waffle okay. away. Go ahead. Jazakallah. Now, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, same reference which you guys brought in last time of Hazrat Mirza Sahib, you have run away from the reference. You've gone to Abdul Majid Sialkoti Sahib. This person said, 
we talk about this reference and on top of that see brother mtias the problem is you don't read jamaat books al hakam sorry brother yahya 24 july 24 brother yahya one second um you what you uh, it's really important i want you to do this that you were given a reference which corroborates and further in, uh, further clarifies the previous reference and now what uh, what you're doing is your the claim even you're making that you're running away is is the opposite of the case in fact what they're doing is they're standing on top of the reference and building another house on top of that reference with another reference for you that not only emphasizes but further clarifies the same point that this 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 uh, pirna this mixing that can lead to pregnancies now the, what we would like you to do is to address this point please brother please address this point brother, because brother, you're not addressing this i don't want you to talk brother, i don't want you to talk about running brother, away brother, clarify brother, this please brother Imran, is brother, 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 brother yeah yeah when when did you when did you see someone getting pregnant pregnant last time by talking do people get pregnant by talking dr yeah yeah do people did, get did pregnant Azur by talking got pregnant? in your part of the world did Azur Maryam got pregnant by talking or by Jan did he said that he, he that she got pregnant what are you talking about brother okay, in the same making... quote in the same quote in the same the context what is the context the context is that he they said, mix with that's wrong they... thing you don't even know urdu he says magar brother yeah magar please magar you know what magar I'm going to pause you because you're you're getting very agitated and animated. Brother, I want you to be. I want you to. Talk, I want you to be calm. I want you to be calm. Take some breaths because no one can hear you at the moment. It's very important that you understand the context of what's going on. We're talking about um, Maryam al Islam, who the Quran describes as pure and chaste, and who had never been touched by any man. And the scenario being painted by Guam Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is he's. putting her in a position where she is in seclusion with another man and the type of seclusion is that it can lead to pregnancies and this is actually a it would appear to be a stain on the character by any reckoning now what what you need to do is to deal with this how, explain this and explain how this can fit in with the chronic description of Maryam alayhi salam it would be really really useful to hear that from me because this is what we need please now he's going to talk whenever is my turn someone else wants to talk now are you are you uh, are you being upset do you want no, to respond to the question and we can let brother mt asked uh, we can let brother mt asked we can let brother mt asked talk in my time but then, then nobody talks in the middle no, please it doesn't work like this brother you're here if you're going to address the point if you're going to address the point then no one will interrupt that's why they worried okay, about it told you because you're still talking over me which is not respectful if you don't if you rest, address the point then no one will stop you no 100% a few go okay, if you deviate fine. if fine. you deviate from the point and you start talking about other things and then we'll kindly stop you to get, bring you back on track okay yeah we promise we promise yeah. yes please go ahead no okay now whatever meaning you guys wanted to give to this paragraph hasn't happened on top of that that's what i'm saying read jamaat books before you bring allegations brothers al hakam 24th of July 1902 Hazur says Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani Lahaza ye khayal ke Maryam ka Yusuf se nata ho gaya tha aur uske baad Yusuf se hamal ho gaya ho gaya tha nahayat jahilana khayal aur nasse sari Quran ke mukhalif hai Then he says after talking about injil whatever he talks about uh, uh, this incident iske muqabal par jo injilon mein ye bayan hai ke goya maryam siddiqa maryam siddiqa ka maamuli taur par jaisa ke duniya jahan mein dastoor hai yusuf se nata hua tha ye bilkul durogh aur banavat hai now going back to this reference whatever meaning you try to add into this by mis translating the word phirna has been refuted alhamdulillah you should be apologizing to public last stream and today's stream 
you try to do something against whatever Mirza Sahib believed in. Okay, thank you very much for your... Yeah, uh, Dr. Yaya, yeah, what do you smoke, man? Okay, over to you, Mtiaz Bhai. <laughs> okay, okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amran Bhai, this is my concluding, inshallah, turn on this one. We don't need to, you know, go any further. No. I For, for the sake of viewers, point number one. Dr. Yaya, yeah, again, I'm sorry to say that please uh, have some skills to understand the text. Something is called the primary text and the secondary text. I am presenting that this book in which this text is found, this was published simultaneously from Qadian, by the Qadianis in two languages, Persian edition and Urdu edition. Urdu edition by Mirza himself and Persian edition by Abdul Karim Sialkoti. They published both of them. Now, our whole discussion was that what is the meaning of uh, before nikah, phirna, baate karna, we provided a secondary text of the same book produced by Qadianis in the Persian language. They said they, they interpret this phirna by two words, mulakat and ikhtilat. Mulakat means meeting and ikhtilat means that to mix with someone. Okay, now he is saying this thing about Maryam alayhi salam that she used to meet and she used to mix before nikah with who? With Yusuf or Joseph the carpenter. That is one point everybody need to We did not give any interpretation. We quoted their own secondary text to interpret that. That point number two. Adnan, when Adnan Bhai was saying that Mirza is eluding, listen people, Mirza is eluding that Maryam could have got pregnant through this thing. At that time, Adnan did not say that Mirza said this in black and white. Understand people why, why very carefully. In four lines, only in four lines, he first talked about Maryam and he mixing and being with Joseph the carpenter. Immediately after that, he talks about the Afghan and the Yuhu, that they having this mixing thing and as a result of that, they getting pregnant. So what problem is Mirza is solving here? We did not say, by the way, again, I want to highlight this, but we have to be just and honest. We are saying there are two ways of proving something. One is called Idala Nas. Other is called Ishara Nas, which means that sometimes the text itself proves something in black and white, and sometimes there is Ishara, indication in the text that help you understand the text. So we are proving this through Ishara Nas, not Dalala Nas. So I hope that uh, uh, Yahya knows this term. Now, just to conclude my turn, this is my last on this one. If Dr. Yahya has no problem in Sayyida Maryam alayhi salam meeting and mixing with Joseph the carpenter without nikah and Mirza saying that, if Yahya has no problem in that, what we can do? And people have seen already, he has problem if his own daughters does this. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Who is more noble? Your daughter of Maryam alayhi salam. I'm done, Anand uh, Okay. So just before uh, you start, uh, Dr. Yahya, so the, it's very important that you clarify the, what would be the reason for quoting the mixing and the this pirna, this mixing, and the pregnancies in relation to Maryam alayhi salam. What would be the point of that? Yeah, and yeah, then uh, address, that. address Brother uh, uh, bro brother Imtiaz's point, please. Okay. I will, I will uh, before I go, go into that, Brother Imtiaz, uh, just quickly... I thought you know this, but I'm really sorry to have to say it, that we, Alhamdulillah, Muslims, we follow whatever has been taught to us through the Holy Quran. Our nikah is completely different. Our, our whatever Allah has told us is completely different as compared to Jews' time. At that time, you have to understand that the teaching from God wasn't complete at that time. Okay? So and don't, it, don't... And, and it is the Holy Quran that tells us that Maryam was not touched by any man and she was not a loose woman. It is the Quran that tells us that. Can I and finish? That's why, that's why we have brother a problem with this Quran. Quran. What's happening here? Yes. What's happening here, brother, uh, brother Yahya, is that you're, you're starting in the wrong place. The references were given to you. And what you're doing is you're making a claim about a different well, time. Did ask me, ask me that question about my family? What, Which, what, what are you saying? That's not fair. Then he asked the question. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. 
Yahya, my question was not Yahya, Yahya. If you want to me whether I answer first or second. No, no, one, it's not, this is no, no. Sorry, brother, one second, please. If you want to address my question, my question is that you cannot allow your daughter to be with a man without but you have no problem in accepting Sayyida Maryam Siddiqa being with a man without nikah. This was my question. Against the Quran. Yes. I I, I have given you the answer, but I, I will re reset as uh, said that. Please, so I've now, restarted your time, so you can go go. Please respond okay. to the question. Okay. Now, first of all, in this reference, it is very important that Hazur is comparing Jewish tribes with Afghan tribes. But this reference, which I quoted from Al Hakam, is specifically talking about Hazrat Maryam al Islam. And in that reference, I have how many times I have to read it to you guys? He said, Lahaza ye khayal ke Maryam ka Yusuf se nata ho gaya tha, aur uske baad Yusuf se hamal ho gaya tha, <clears throat> nahayat jahil anna khayal aur nasse sirikh e Quran ke mukhalif hai. Number one. Then he says, Translate, translate what you're saying. Oh, sorry. He said, therefore, uh, thanks for reminding you, brother. He, he's repeating. Look, look, wait, wait. He said it already very clearly in his last turn. We want him to address the point that would Maryam mix with a non mahram before Nikah, brother, before marriage. I can, we, I can we, say what I have We, on. we agree, we, we agree, agree that Mirza, Mirza is not categorically, explicitly saying that in this quote. We agree. What we want you to address is that the fact that Maryam was mixing with Joseph the carpenter without marriage. Brother, get your brain cells working. I think I can say the same thing. I think your brain cells are not working. How many times have we have we to read the same uh, reference? So answer our so question. Yeah, Do, so if, you, if, if you would not allow your daughter to mix with a man without marriage, why would you consider that for Maryam alayhi salam? Because Maryam and Islam on this earth were before Holy Quran and before Islam. And the Quran tells us no man has touched her and she was a good woman. Mirza have believed the same thing. So how, understand how, you so talking then, about my brain okay. cells. Understand, I I read it so many times, brother. Lam yes, lam yes, nas, What's the word? The, the word in the Quran. Yam sasni. Lam, lam yes, yamsasni bashar. Lam yamsasni bash. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I believe the in Quran, that. Doctor Yaya, put the paper down. Let us see your face. Let us see your beautiful face. Lam yes, lam yam yam sasni. The Quran says, never did anyone touch me. Never did any man touch me. This is, when is she saying this? When she's getting pregnant. The Quran is, so you are, Mirza is saying she was mixing with Joseph the carpenter before marriage. Okay. Now I'm going to. You understand answer. the problem, Dr. Yahya? Yeah, 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 I know, I know. So what? So I, can you before you start, before you start, I want you to explain to us from our perspective what you think we think the problem is. So yes. what is our what is our problem with this statement? Tell us so that I understand we because you don't seem to be answering. That we both believe that Hazrat Maryam al Islamabad masoom, no man touched her. We both believe so in is, that. What is our problem with the statement of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed? About no the problem, the problem is that this is statement by Mirza Saab. When the same statement no, is given Dr. by, by Kurtubi, yeah, yeah. no. same statement by Kurtubi, yeah, there's no yeah. problem from Dr. you guys. Listen, Dr. Yahya, what is the problem with for us with this position of free of mixing before marriage for Maryam al-Islam? What is the problem do you think we have with it? What is it? Okay, let me read Kurtubi and then I you want you to, I want you to, oh, one second, one second. I want you to tell, because you're not defending Kurtubi here. You're defending Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. And Gurtubi didn't problem. say it. Every Ahmed time, didn't every, say it. He's lying. Every, he's lying. Of course he's lying. The, every, the, point, the point here, Dr. Yahya, is every time we ask you about Ghulam Mirza Ahmed, you, you know, you point over there, you go, look, there's a moon. And this is a problem because we never get to the point. So we want to know, from our perspective, what you think the problem is and why we have a problem with Mirza Ghulam Ahmed saying this. You cannot defend Mr. Ghulam Ahmed by quoting anyone else other than him. Because then no, it's no, not a defense. I, I, of this course. Is not if, a defense. You can, if you can so quote we, we would like you to, I can quote your so scholars. 
We would we would like you to, no because it's your you said of someone who you regard as a prophet. What, what kind of what, what, how can you say I can't quote your scholars? It's good to be not your scholars. No, one second. Uh, who are you defending? I am. Uh, what do you mean? Who am I defending? Who are you defending? I am. I am. I am. I am proving to you guys that your standard is wrong. Who are you? Can I come to your scholar? You have different standards. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want you to listen to very carefully. Which personality are you defending here today? Which personality I'm, I'm defending here? I am defending at this time and moment Hazrat Mirza Sahib, Hakma Adal Hazrat Mirza Sahib. Okay, no problem. Who are we defending here today? You. You're defending it yourself. No. Because whenever, whenever no, we no, no, bring no, any no, no, any scholar, no, no. you put that scholar into no, no. the past. We, no, you, we are defending Maryam alayhi salam. We are defending we, we, Maryam alayhi salam. I want you to understand this because I want to explain to you yeah, our yeah, yeah. Our, our, we, I'm explaining to you our perspective. Yeah. We are defending the honor of Maryam alayhi salam. Why? Because the Quran specifically states some qualities about her. Yes. Now, the, the qualities are she was never touched by any man and she was a chaste woman. Okay. Now, what by bringing Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's statement that she was traveling around, appearing around, however you want to put it. I mean, peering in Urdu language is a very negative term for her. If you said that to even a man, let alone a, a woman. Yeah. If I said to you, no, wait, wait, wait. If I said to Dr. Yahya, your wife was peering with a man she is not related to. Dr. Yahya would, if he had any honor, and I'm sure he does. Okay. He would take me by the neck. What the hell are you talking about? How can you say that about my wife? That she was How many time I have to And give here, you we have here we have Maryam salam. Here we have Maryam How many time I have to give you answer? You said Brother, you, you added something lie again in the same context, in the same reference. By so John, how many time I have to explain to you? So you guys know, gonna, uh, you Dr. Guys know wants, that you... I'm going to pause you because you're not <laughs> answering. So because you're going around in circle, uh, what we would like you to do... I think Adnan is, is going in circle. You guys are going in circle. I understand how you feel. So because we're going around in circles with this information, it's very important that we deal with this issue of how a woman can be travel pitting around, mixing with another man before marriage and still remain untouched and chaste. Just even the principle of it. This is what you need to explain to us. A, a really... Uh, a really good point is actually okay. That's fine. That's fine. A really now, good I'm point is actually to deal with deal with the references that are being put to you. So, brother, okay. brother MTR has given you two references about the same uh, um, uh, event, and he's described them to you. One and one is translated for you. Deal with those references, please, and explain to us why why were they quoted in the way they are with reference to pregnancy as well in this context. What was the reason for that? So we can understand your perspective. Okay. Right, so nobody disturb me, please. I'm, I will be on the topic, okay? Now, he says, I'm reading this from Kurtabi. He says, I say that according to the Egyptian history, which I have seen, and it is also in the gospel, that Hazrat Isa Islam was born in Bethlehem, and at that time, Herod was the king. Allah showed Yusuf and Najjar a dream and revealed to him that get up and take this child and her mother to Egypt and stay there till I tell you. Now you tell me, Yusuf Najjar, according to the Sira Kurtubi, took Hazrat Maryam to Egypt. What was he doing with Hazrat Maryam according to your standards then? I will answer. Firstly, Kurtubi is quoting from the Israeli art. He our tafsir literature is filled with reports that come from Judeo-Christian tradition, Israeliyat, and they don't believe in it. They are quoting it for the purpose of information. According to the hadith of Rasulullah, that do not reject that information and do not accept it. Okay, so nakle kufar kufar nabashul. This is a very, very beautiful principle in Islam that putting down kufr in your book does not make you a kafir. <laughs> okay, quoting so kufr. But Mirza, Mirza, Mirza is not quoting. Mirza is making a statement Again, himself. Yemen. Okay, so finish, you finish first. Go ahead. Again, I told you, brother, that you, you guys don't even understand simple Urdu. 
हजूर एज रिटर्न इन दिस रेफरेंस उनके बाद कबायल नाता और निकाह में कुछ चंदा फर्क नहीं समझते सो दे कंसीडर निकाह एंड नाता सेम सो इवन वेन हजूर सेट दैट ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हजरत मरियम अगर इफ इफ शी फिर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू वॉज आफ्टर हर निकाह विद यूसुफ दिस इज सिंपल उर्दू ब्रदर्स You want me to read it again? He says, "Your time is up. It's in Tiaz by now." Yeah. yeah. So Go ahead, in Tiaz by. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. <clears throat> so, inshallah, we will not let any deception happen today, Yahya. Don't worry. So, first of all, our whole point of discussion is Sayyida Maryam Salamun Alaiha being with a unrelated man without marriage, and this is written. in black and white and then when he says that baate karte hain etc we did not give our own interpretation we interpreted by the sahabi quote and quote sahabi of mirza gulam abdul karim sial ko t explained for us that this means that they have mulaqat and istilat that they have meeting and mixing this baate karna is not our interpretation alhamdulillah this is called the the true academics we interpreted your primary text by your own secondary text So people need to focus on this point now after that here is a challenge and i was waiting for the right time here is a challenge for mr yahya produced to us that it ever happened that afghan they considered relationship and marriage the same thing you have Every to tell day. us and in wait, wait 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 in the next stream guess what I am. I, I have. Already, I already spoken to the Afghan leader of the Australian community, Australian Afghan community leader. I have spoken to him already. Whatever you are going to say today, please don't just don't just say it out. Use your words very carefully. This Afghan leader is coming in the next stream to, inshallah, have a friendly discussion with you. That Mr. Yahya. Let's have a cup of coffee or tea, and let's discuss that which one of our tribes they do they consider nikah and relationship as one thing, and which of our women get pregnant without nikah. So you have two things now. You need to use your words very carefully because this Afghan leader will be disturbed if you use something you know uh, of the or something like filthy. <clears throat> Why don't we send Dr. Yahya to Afghanistan and uh, find out? Brothers, we have some mercy, please. So, um, I, I think, uh, uh, Dr. Yahya, this is your opportunity. I think if we're going to go around in circles, then okay, uh, that's fine. I think it's okay. clear for everyone to see already what what the point is. But please make your defence. Okay. Now, once again, everyone has seen that simple Urdu. You guys can't even understand. Hazur has written nata nikah, no difference, and you have misunderstood it. Simple Urdu can't even understand. Where they got to? You saying that you going to? I have to prove, brother. Okay, you don't read Jamaat's book for God's sake. At least read your Ahle Hadis. Ahle Hadis. I will send you the reference. I will bring it next time. They have written exactly the same thing. What Mirza Sahib has written similarities between Afghan and Yehud. Okay. And In what? That. In Now, what? No. What? 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 I will bring that. I will. Because when I read it, when I Ali read, these have written that Afghans allow their daughters to mix with people without before marriage. Let me read it first. No, I will, no, no. I will bring no, it no. next time. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Ali Hadis have they written that Afghans allow their daughters to mix with men before marriage? Have they written this? Listen. What is I your claim? Have, one second. One second. One second. One second. You know, standard of you guys is I. Gave you Kurtubi example, you threw Kurtubi under the bus. No, we didn't. Will it make one second, one second, we one second? Not. Will it make any difference to you if Ali Adis has written it? You're going to throw Ali Adis under the bus. He has problems. He has comprehension, <laughs> comprehension you issues. You guys, you guys don't believe any anyone except Intiaz and Adnan. Everyone is is wrong in this stream. Look, so you're here now. You're just being. This is being facetious. So look, um, when when do you understand what Sariyata? Yes. Sorry. 
Do you understand Israeli art? Do you understand what this is? Of course I do. Do you understand if it's quoted that what sort of type of evidence is regarded as? It's very simple. Do you, just to do say you understand? Do you, you understand when it's quoted? Very simple what, to Israeli art, do you, brother. Do you understand what is quoted? What type of evidence this is? Thing is, your your you know. No, I, the, no, you're I know, missing I know, the I know. point. Because what you say, any of us that wrote that, no, show me I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna because you're not listening to the. You're not listening. You're getting emotional. You're getting emotional. So the whole point here is, if you know that this is Israeli art being quoted by the the scholar, you know that it's not something that they're they bind in or they believe in. You know this already. You know this. The point here is, is that you're you're putting this forward as a, a as a belief for that particular scholar that you're quoting, erroneously, deceptively. Now I, I know you're better than this. I know that you are better than this, because it still doesn't take away from the fact that you have to explain the statements made by Mizrahul Muhammad in the two references that you were given. You still have to explain how this is. But why would why would you mention? Uh, this mixing and this pregnancy in the context of Maryam al-Islam, why would you mention it? You're not, none, you're not actually responding to the point. You're, all you're saying is, look look over there, this person said this in their book. How does that help Muzaghla Ahmed in, in this quote? So please respond specifically to the point, otherwise I think okay. what's happened now, this is the third or fourth time, and I think okay. if I see you do this with a paper that no one can read, then I think we might ask you to move on, uh, uh, Doctor, because it's not going to be useful. Yeah, so please respond because, to those specific okay. points, please. Okay, now, first of all, I think you guys haven't even, um, you know, the listen my quotation properly. Kurtubi said, I say, he said about himself, I say, I say what? I say he what? Said, I say that according to the Egyptian history, which I have seen, and, yes. it, and it is also in the gospel, yes. So, so he's saying he's saying he's agreeing with that. So he is saying he no, he's not agreeing with it. He's quoting I, an what Egyptian. Is I history. He is quoting an Egyptian history and the gospels. What does I say? And he knows I, mean, I know he, you don't you guys go, don't understand Urdu, but this is English. Brother, like brother, you have not Urdu. read this. Have you read the tafsir? Have you read I it? I'm giving you this quotation. Wait, and wait, I've wait. That. Have I'm you read you that quotation? Do you know the Arabic language? Can you read it? I'm reading English. I'm not reading Arabic. Okay. So what you how, you, how, do you, how do you say? How do you say I say in Arabic? Are you going to now compete with, with me with with Arabic? No, I'm not. No. I know you don't know it. If that's your standard, if that's your standard, then all is, the don't, Egyptian Christians don't, they, don't, they know better English and, uh, Arabic don't than you. Clutch, don't clutch onto straws. Don't clutch. Try to tell us what Mirza means here when he says Maryam alayhi salam. Hey, he's got the tafsir yeah, there. No he's going right. to yeah. read it now. It now you're, minutes, you, you are stuck now. You have, you have a bigger problem. You but have a bigger problem now. It's there. The tafsir is there. The tafsir is there on the screen. You have a bigger problem now. Which this passage is, are you reading this from? This is the tafsir title. Okay, which passage are you no, reading no, no, from? No, 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 no. This is the original tafsir kurtubi complete. Three volumes, complete. Okay. Okay. Which passage are you reading from? We're going to read it now. One second. And you already said that he believes this. You said that yeah. he believes this. Yeah, and if I show, if we show you he doesn't believe in it, then what's going to happen? You're going to waste... They believe Ahmadiyya. You're going to waste, they 10, believe Ahmadiyya. You're gonna wa waste 10 or 20 minutes of our time. Go to Surah gonna... Maryam. Go to Surah yeah. Maryam, verse 35. Surah Maryam, verse 35. Yeah. And read to public doesn't he say kulto? Yes. Please read it. Bring it. Yeah. Show it. Show to the public. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to read it. No problem. But you first clarify that what did you say about Kurtubi? Please make a clear statement. Are, did you say that Kurtubi believes that Maryam salam was moving around with Yusuf without Nikah? Is that what you're saying? I have told you whatever he said. Brother, he brother. said not just not just Pirna. He's taken okay. her to Egypt, Egypt in another country. Oh, after the another birth country. of Jesus, after the birth of Isa alayhi salam. No, 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 no. You did. simple English, you can't understand, brother. Let yeah. me read it. Okay. 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 
in one word. Says, for the sake of audience, says, yeah, 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 yeah. Allah for the sake of audience, for the sake of audience, Imran Bhai, let's keep the discussion pinpointed. I want you to ask Yahya because this is the whole discussion. In Yahya saying that Imam Qurtubi Rahimahullah, he believed that Maryam Salamun Alayha was moving around with Joseph the Ka Enter without nikah because this is the point of discussion so if he yeah. says that yes he said this then he need then no problem we are, we have inshallah the arabic book as well and we have the online copy as well no problem at all but first we need to clarify yeah clarify that dr yahya so do no you problem. is that what you believe that, uh, please clarify that good point he says good i'm reading from good we know the zero good to be yeah what are we, what brother one second yeah dr yahya what we want to know is what your what are you are you saying that could to be believes about is, is it this is his belief or are you simply quoting something that he references in his book? This is the there is a difference between these two things. Give me the says, Are you I making said, the claim that this is this is the belief of Imam Qurtubi? Is this what you're saying? He said, I'm reading you what he's, he's written. No, I, I say to... it's very simple. I say that according to Egyptian history, which yeah. I have seen, and it is also in the gospel that Hazrat Isa Islam was born in Bethlehem, and at that time. Herod was the king. Okay, then one second, here. Yeah, pause. I'm pausing you. So, if I, so the point here is, is that what you're saying is is not not an evidence in any way. So I'll give you an example. I, I, I say, say I, say, I, I, I say, know that. Listen to me, Doctor Yahya. Listen to me. Calm, to be evidence for I you. you to, I want you to calm down and not get emotional. No, but that's I'm, not I'm fair. Demon I'm, I'm demonstrating. No, I haven't, to even, you. I haven't even finished my statement yet. I know because you're because the first sentence is the problem. The first, and I'll explain to you why. I will, I will explain to you. I say that according to the history of the Mormons, that uh, Joseph Smith had an angel visit him and he wrote things in gold on a gold uh, uh, book, on a gold uh, tablets. Because I, because I said this, are you saying that I now believe this? Is this your claim that you're making? Do you understand I, the problem I, here? Yes, by yes, saying I, that I by say by Imam to be saying I say that according to the books of the Egyptian historians, this is a this is a statement of some reference to some information that he has come across. You're making it a claim of belief. Now we're clarifying this. Either you're saying he quoted someone, no problem, or you're saying he believes it. Now we need to know what your position is so that we can respond to you with the reference itself so please clarify okay. that specific point do you believe that it's the belief well, i'm saying or do you believe I it's a quote he said, he said i say the i and say then, does not give you an, is not an answer to the question when number when somebody says i say that according to this 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 unless that person in that quotation says i don't believe in that then no, obviously is, there's a reason why he's writing in his seat doctor you're here you're doing your many and all quote problem again yeah because the when you say I say according to this historian, this is the beliefs. This is not to say that you believe that. Do you understand? And you're, um, this is the problem of interpretation. You are bringing a claim about belief when there isn't one. Uh, Doctor, uh, he's brother, not brother, denying that, brother. He was supposed to deny it if he didn't believe no, in no, that. No, one second. But the, but you can't argue, from silence, no. Doctor Doctor Yahya, because now you're arguing from silence. You're arguing from silence. You understand this? Yeah. But uh, uh, brother Intiaz, you please make your point before we continue. Okay, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I want to make a very clear statement. Imam Qurtubi Rahimahullah does not believe in any such thing that Sayyida Maryam Salamun Alayha, without marriage, she was moving around with Joseph the carpenter. Because there is the point of Discussion. As Imran Bai is trying to repeatedly point out to Dr. Yahya, and maybe he's not able to follow uh, along with all of the understanding of that uh, discussion, that when an author, for example, either Qurtubi or Tabri, Alhamdulillah, I have Tabri, inshallah, as well, my, my chef, inshallah, all of them, they quote many things that, for example, this was said by this community in this time on this issue. It does not prove Yahya anything. When it comes to what we believe and why we believe those books and those quotations does not constitute that. In the case of Mirza Ghulam, as people have seen, and let me make it a very clear statement, Mirza Ghulam believes 
that Mary, because Mirza Gulab is proving a theory. The theory is that Afghan are descendant of the last tribes of Jews. In order to prove his theory, he brought the example of Maryam Salamun Alayha. Okay. So Mirza Ghulam believes in this one. And let me make a very clear statement with the best of my knowledge. Either Kurtubi or Rahmatullah Kairanvi or Ibn Taymiyyah or any of the names that have been dropped so far in the discussion. None of them believes that Maryam alayhi salam was moving around or be having a iftilat with mixing or meeting with a non mahram None of them said this. If you still want to say, all we want from you is make a clear statement that you are claiming, Yahya, you are claiming that Imam Qurtubi believes that Maryam alayhi salam was with Joseph the carpenter without nikah. If you are saying this, make this clear statement, so shall I expose that? So just quote something from a book does not prove anything. Please understand the simple academics. So just to clarify, yeah, that, is, it, is it a belief or is it a, a statement? I think whatever I wanted to say, starting from this reference to this reference of a hakam and I've proven you wrong. Okay. I have given you Kutubi statement. Now, just by saying I got Kutubi, I got this, I got that, doesn't prove nothing. I've read Kutubi statement. I told you it's under Surah Maryam, verse 35. If you have the courage, bring it up. If you haven't got it, this fine. As far as this is concerned, it doesn't. I, it doesn't one agree one with Mirza. It doesn't brother, agree with Mirza. Brother, 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 one second, brother, one second. Whatever I say, you guys are not going to accept it anyway. Okay. We started in my discussion, Alhamdulillah, starting with three references and all those references that they given you. Whatever my capacity was, I have showed you. If you don't want to accept it, it's up to you. Okay. Okay. We really appreciate your. Well, that's fine. That's fine. You, uh, with sure. regard to Kurtubi, I also got in Urdu now. He said, "Main kehta hu, Misr ki tarikh mein waqe hai, jo maine dekhi hai, aur Rangeel mein bhi aaya hai ki Hazrat Isa Lai Salam ki vladat Baitul Lah pe hui thi. Aur us vakat Herodes baacha tha." Allah Ta'ala ne Yusuf Najjar ko khwab mein wahi farmai aur usse farmaya uth aur is bacche aur uski walda ko lekar Misr ki taraf chala ja aur wo wahan rahe hatta ke main tujhe kahun kyunke Herodes ne Hazrat Isa Alaihi Salam ko talash karne ka pukhta irada kiya hua tha taaki wo ise hala taaki ise hala kar de tab Yusuf could you translate that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can explain to you guys. Yeah, yeah, keep reading. Yeah, keep reading. Keep reading forward. Keep going. Keep going. Or no, ne. Or no, ne. Hazrat Maryam, Hazrat Masih Islam, or Maryam, or unki walda ko saal diya or Misr mein aa gaya. Okay, keep reading. Misr aate, wo. Bilsan ke kuwe pa utra jo kahara ke zameen mein tha. And that okay. page is finished. Okay. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep, keep reading. reading. I haven't got any more page. Acha. <laughs> okay. So you're, so you're reading a cut. I'm reading a cut. Yes. Good. But okay. It's not like MTR. It's not there. Even, even in I that have cut. I there. Listen. My, my, whatever I'm, I, I wanted to prove is there. Could you, could you translate to, the first line? Could you translate the first line? Me, Dr. Yahya. According to Dr. Yahya, Dr. 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 Yahya, can you translate the first line, please? No problem. Okay, let me find it now. One second, I'm just just going through that. Verse 30, yeah? 35, I think. It's not Is it verse 35, Surah Maryam, or verse 30? Tafsir. Okay. Next page. Next page. Which, 
मैं कहता हूं आई से आई से मिस्र की तारीख में वाक है इट इज रिटर्न इन इन इजिप्शियन हिस्ट्री जो मैंने देखी है विच आई है so i want people to understand one thing here if you go to dr yahya's channel or anywhere dr yahya is saying quran is hukam quran is the judge based quran today today he is getting his hand on anything he could no quran today we have not seen any quran today because quran denies any of such slanders that sayyida maryam salamun alayha our mother You remember, I am saying it always. She is our mother. Alhamdulillah, mother for the believers. That's why we feel the pain. How can doctor or anybody feel the pain because she is mother to the believers? People need to understand this now. And then at the end, he tried to create a, a deception about Qurtubi. I swear by Allah. I ask people to go and read. Qurtubi has never written under any ayah that Maryam alayhi salam. without nikah she was be, she was moving around with joseph the carpenter and this is his belief that's the main thing different people authors quoting different things is one thing but obviously yeah you can understand these these differences people quoting something and people believing in something our whole discussion yeah yeah is mirza gulam is proving a point by quoting all of that he believes in this that maryam alayhi salam she was moving around with yusuf she was mixing and having meeting with yusuf without nikah and i am making a categorical statement no muslim scholar of a prominent you can say owner we know of be it qurtubi ibn taymiyah or anybody we do not know any scholar who believes this that's the key point who believes this people quoting things in their books does not prove anything and and last point i want to make inshallah because we are just going in circles that uh, in the next stream inshallah our afghan leader is also joining and i invite dr ya ya inshallah to have a friendly discussion with the afghan community leader of australian community of the afghan and to present to him this beautiful quotation of mirza gulam that the afghan women are getting pregnant without nikah and they don't take any you know they they don't they're not bothered about this so inshallah yahya will have a friendly discussion with our beloved afghan leader in the next stream inshallah 
Okay, uh, Dr. Yahya, this is your last uh, uh, round, so please say whatever you need to say. Uh, if you can stick to the topic, we really appreciate that. Uh, let me unmute you. Can you unmute is concerned. I have not only I have can show you this is Kutubi where I'm reading from. Okay, you can go and check it. Okay, now don't say unless you bring a reference where say Kutubi denies that. Otherwise, my thing is accepted. Number one. Number two, they said there is no reference of Quran. How many times I have to show you, brother, al Hakam reference of 24th of July, 1902, where Hazur said that this is Jahilana Khayal and this is against Nase Quran. Okay? How many times I have to say to you? Thirdly, you guys, I'm telling you again and again, Hazur has said in this reference that some tribes, they don't distinguish between Nata and Nika. So he is talking about after nikah. You still carry on doing the same thing. Of course, nata or nikah may chanda farakni samajte. Okay? And then exactly, you know, I have whatever the, as far as this reference is concerned, which you brought last time, I have tried my best to explain to you. I have given you this reference. I have given you Kurtubi reference. And as far as I'm concerned, I have covered, covered, Alhamdulillah. You want to bring somebody from Afghanistan? It's up to you. It's your uh, We really appreciate your time, uh, Doctor. Yeah. So thank you for coming. Okay, I have, I have a gift. I have a gift for Doctor Yahya. I received the gift before from, you. From Kurtabi. From Kurtabi. Imam Kurtabi in his tafsir states, and I'm quoting, okay, um, that the book which is in the hands of the Christians and which they call the Injil is not that of which God says and he has sent down the Torah and Injil. Okay? So Imam Kurtabi in his tafsir makes it very clear that the Gospels are corrupted. Okay? So Dr. Yahya... That doesn't mean anything, brother. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Relax, 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 relax. I have quotes from Kurtabi here in front of me. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking at Kurtubi's views on the Gospels and the Christian tradition. Kurtubi believes the Christian tradition is corrupted. So when he quotes from it, he knows well that he's quoting a corrupted source. And why is he quoting it? Because it is from the Israeliyat. This is Judeo-Christian literature, which the Tafsir uh, scholars uh, narrated for context, for information. Now your game didn't work. Again, you failed miserably. Mirza believed in the gospel narrative. He believed in it. He quoted it as evidence in his writings repeatedly. And in this place, he made such a huge blunder, not realizing that he will, he will land his followers in a ditch that they will not be able to climb out of. He here <laughs> accused Mary of hanging around with a non-mahram before nikah. Because before nikah, a man is non-mahram. A man is non-mahram. And your claim that Mary was not following the same sharia or same law is false. Because Allah clarifies in Surah Maryam here that she followed the same moral traditions as we do today. In fact, Allah makes her a model of morality for us. For our women, Allah okay. makes her a model of morality and shame. And haya, what we call haya, okay? That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, she said specifically, lam yamsasni bashara. Lam, yas, lam, yas, lam yasnas, yamsasni bashara. No man has touched me. No man, and I am not from the from the bagaya. I'm not from loose women. So Mirza Saab drowns in his own, you know, whatever. Uh, Jasma, you wanted to say something very quickly. I yes. just want to say one thing yeah, yeah, before you go. One thing very quickly. I want people to read this quotation. Inshallah, you can take a screenshot. Look at this one. Or not, but look at this one. Mirza Ulam, because he says that Afghan women and some Jewish people, they are their women are getting pregnant without nikah. And he is proving this through who? Through Maryam. Look at the filth. Look at the film. He is bringing Maryam as the evidence for these customs. Yeah, yeah. You go home, read this. And I am surprised. I am surprised that yeah, yeah, when you said, yeah, yeah, that you don't expect this from, for, you don't accept this for your daughter. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. You're accepting this 
for us Muslims, Maryam is one of the four noble women. Sayyida Khatija, Sayyida Fatima, Sayyida Maryam, and Sayyida Asiya. These are the four women who are role models. And for you, for Mirza, as Narma said before, if you want to go with Mirza, go with Mirza. We want to go with our mother. Alhamdulillah. One, one, one thing, brother. You know this, I have said it so many times. Mirza Sahib has written that they didn't, they didn't, didn't distinguish between nikah and that, that, and that. And same word you're using again and again. You, you, why don't you understand? Hazur has written nata and nikah. So he's talking about after nikah. Brother, what for Maryam, he said kable nikah. For Maryam, no, he, he didn't said say that. didn't say that. Put up the quote again. Put up yes. the quote again. Egg minute, egg minute, egg minute, egg minute, yeah. egg minute. Sabar karo, ruko zara, as they say, you know. Egg minute. Yeah, yeah. The quote is coming. Shall up. I bring up the reference? about Maryam? He said she was with Joseph before Nikah. There yeah. you go. There you go. It says yeah. on the on the third line. On the third line, apne mansub Yusuf ke saath kabale nikah ke phirna. Yeah, yeah. And read Israeli rasam pe shahadat hai. Maryam Siddiqa ka. He said before, they don't distinguish between Nata and Nikah. Brother, I just told you about Maryam alayhi salam. He says, Kable Nikah. No, she they was, don't distinguish. She, no, Kable Nikah means no, before marriage. Kable Nikah, what Mirza is saying, she was... Okay. So, Dr. Yahya, one second, please, uh, guys. So, Dr. Yahya, what you're saying is that the term Nikah and Nata is the same. This he is your claim. One second, yes. If they don't, they, absolutely. You're saying the term Nata and Nikah is the same. They yes? said they don't, they don't distinguish. Yes. So they are the same. They have they the same effect. Between them. Yes, you're, not, you're avoiding the answer to the question. You're saying that there is no difference between them. They yes? don't distinguish between them, he said. I'm, exactly I'm, what I'm saying to you. This is, uh, you have to don't run from the point that you are saying that there is no difference between them. Yes? Now, in the quote, you give, uh, Dr. Yahya, listen to me, please. You're saying that Nata and Nikah is the same, isn't it? That's what you're saying. Yeah, there's no difference they see between Nata them. Nata as Nikah. They see yes, Nata there is no Nikah. difference between them. Even so, if you, Doctor Yahya, listen to me, please. I'm going to mute you. Otherwise, you're just saying that the Nata and Nikah is the same. They don't distinguish between them. Nata the quote given to you, and Nata Nikah. They don't distinguish between Nata and Nikah. You're Nikah. just repeating what I'm saying to you. So, yeah. so listen to me now. The next part, the next step is in the quote being given to you. It's clearly that this is before the nikah. Now you're saying nata and nikah is the same. Because they so don't before any, before any nata, before any nikah, they were traveling around. Now you have to deal with this problem. Yeah, Kurtbi said the same thing. He Kurtbi didn't say the same thing. He didn't say the same he thing. Didn't say the same he said the same thing. thing. What he did didn't say, say the same thing. thing. He did not say the same thing. Dr. Imran, Dr. Imran, Dr. Imran, Dr. Imran, by Wallahi. Imran Bhai, Imran Bhai, Wallahi, I really want to appreciate the point you made. Second, one second. That if, if, because, because Mirza, Mirza Gulam is saying A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. Nata and Nikah are same for Mirza. It means that if, if he says that she was moving around without, without Nikah, it means that she was moving around without Nata. Because both are same. Dr. Yai, I can't understand these simple things because the, Imran Bhai, the point you made is very profound and I don't think the Yai is able to follow along. Not uh, able to follow. Uh, Dr. Yai, we really appreciate your time. Um, uh, thank you very much for attending. Yeah. Sorry, I think we've got a bit of stream on. So uh, we wish you all the best and please, if you can uh, just um, yeah. but engage with our... Brother in Imran Bhai, uh, we, Imran Bhai, is it yes. is it is it okay if, if is it okay if I connect the Afghan leader directly with Yahya so he can deal with him directly? I I don't want to be in this whole uh, you know meeting. They can deal with that directly. Uh, I yeah, think what I would say is, is it okay, uh, Yahya? One second. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, no, okay, I, I, I will give him your Twitter account. Inshallah, he will deal with you. Inshallah, I I don't want to be in this one. That's fine. Okay, sorry, uh, Doctor. Uh, I will, uh, I will sorry, deal with no problem. Sorry, Dr. Yahya, no problem. Uh, yeah. Please uh, just be careful how you interact, uh, Dr. Yahya. Um, I, I wish you all the best. Okay? Don't you worry about that. Don't worry Thank about you very that. much, everyone. I, know, I, know the... I think it's been six hours. Yeah. And we can continue next week, inshallah, with the same screen. Brother Tiaz, 
three references challenge. And after that, we have to delete your account. Don't forget. Wait before you go. Wait before you go. Wait before you go. One of the three has been discussed already. One of them was the yes. Nika and not the. No, 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 no. This is fourth one. Marvel, tell you. This is the first one. Okay, so uh, uh, Dr. Yeah. Mahia, please uh, interact with this on uh, email, by email, by Twitter. We'll go from there. You're telling me now. Thank you very this much. I'm muting you because you're wasting time talking about a challenge we've already discussed. Yeah. Okay, it's been six hours, guys, and I've been traveling even today. So let's uh, end the stream today, and we continue with the same topic, part three, next week. It doesn't matter how long it takes us to cover this. I know it's a painful exercise, but inshallah, I am sure many sincere Ahmadis out there are listening, and they will uh, find the way. They will find the way Allah will guide them through this effort and through this work. I know it's, it's going on for too long, but you see there are innocent people out there who are just victims uh, of this, you know, cult. You know, they are just stuck and they just don't know how to get out of it. And they need reasons to get out. And the reasons are being provided here that this is just falsehood. This is pure lies and, and deception and contradictions and confusions and, and, and outright opposition to Quran outright opposition to Quran and the prophets of Allah. And this is not even decent. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani was not even a decent man, uh, let, alone, let alone a prophet of Allah. Audu Billah, Audu Billah, Audu Billah, Thumma Audu Billah. How can this person be even a decent man, let alone a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is claiming that one of the most noble person. I don't, you know, having read all these quotes, I don't think Mirza even believed in Islam. Mirza did not believe in the Quran. Mirza you know, had his own ideas. I don't know why he wanted to be a prophet. What benefit he was trying to get out of this, uh, in this world, uh, because he didn't get much benefit anyway. You know, he probably got few followers uh, in Qadian, and pretty much that's it. So... And Arnan, why don't, you, Arnan, why don't you read what Mirza said about Isa? Please read this one on the screen. Okay, uh, this one. Um, this is Rohani Kazain. Volume 11, page 293. So he is saying that we cannot consider such a person, that we cannot consider such a person, such an impure person, an arrogant person, uh, and someone who is an enemy of uh, good people. Okay, We cannot even consider such a person uh, uh, a decent man, let alone a prophet of Allah. He's talking about Jesus. He's talking about Isa alayhi salam mirza here. Okay. So... And we say, uh, we, we basically, we don't want to use our uh, tongue. We're going to say the same thing. May Allah have the same thing against Mirza. What he tried to say about a noble prophet, let it be with Mirza. Because he, look at this one. They say that he was talking to the Christian missionaries. Brothers and sisters, he is saying that che ko nabi karar de. the Christian missionaries, their claim is that Isa was divine being. Okay, This nabi position is a Muslim position. Understand these little things here. They will help you understand the filth of Mirza. Okay, May be the curse of Allah upon Mirza when he was writing all of that about the nobleman. I mean, uh, I mean, and he was cursed, no doubt. He was cursed and he's still a curse. Uh, upon many people, may Allah relieve you or release you from this curse and guide you to Islam. Uh, Ahmadi brothers and sisters in humanity out there, you know what? We have nothing but compassion and mercy and we want to continue so that you can see light, inshallah ta'ala, and on the day of judgment, even testify that we did our best to reach out to you. Okay. May Allah accept from us. May Allah purify our, uh, our intentions and give us uh, strength to continue doing this. Guys, I think we should end now and inshallah let's continue next Saturday. Imran Bhai, if you want uh, Imran Bhai, if you want to address the Muslim audience, they they they, are, they wanted to join the stream. If you can inshallah talk to them and inshallah request them, they are more than welcome to come next. Uh, Nan Bhai is super tired, and well, the same is the case with Nan Bhai and myself as well. So please have mercy on us, inshallah. We promise you next team, no matter how long we go, inshallah, we'll give you time. Inshallah. I hope you brothers uh, understand. I'm going to reward you for your patience. 
Uh, just want to thank all of the mods who are helping out, uh, people in the back that we don't see who make these things possible. Uh, brother Imtiaz and uh, bro uh, brother Adnan for all of their hard work. Inshallah, may Allah bless them. If if you can thank brother Fazil Nazim, he was a moderator in the chat. Brother Fazil Nazim. Brother Fazil Nazim, Allah bless you, man. Amen. Allah accept from you, and Allah put you uh, among those people who have upheld the truth and have Amen. facilitated the work of Dawah. May Allah bless you. Amen. You know, this is a struggle. Amen. We will continue with this, inshallah. I mean, like, except from all the team, all the unsung heroes, all the unknown heroes of these streams, people who are sitting behind the scenes, making thumbnails and, you know, doing all the good work, putting information through. May Allah bless you all. Jazakumullah khairan. Thank you so much. And may Allah, may Allah bless the Dawah Wise team. MashaAllah. I mean, they are the one who made the thumbnails. I mean, Ya Rab. Jazakumullah khairan. Everyone. Alhamdulillah. Just to finish off, anything uh, good is from Allah. Any mistakes and errors from ourselves, may Allah forgive our shortcomings. And, uh, Absolutely. Uh, Amen. Inshallah. Um, Please, brother. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu alayk. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakumullah khairan everyone. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My beloved brother Imran Bhai, may Allah bless you and reward you for your great work. I do not have the words, Imran Bhai, to appreciate, mashallah, the amazing moderation. The amazing moderation you Absolutely. give every single time. Absolutely. Allah, may Allah bless you. Allah, I do not have the word even to praise you. May Allah bless you and reward Imran Bhai. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ex excellent moderation and may Allah bless you. And we hope we can have you again whenever you're free next Saturday, please. Most most welcome to join us again, Imran Bhai. InshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum.